surrounded on a ship of fools. Sail away across the water, set the taste, then discover every ocean, every sea. Wasted on a ship of fools Take my hand, just remember You don't have to surrender to the ocean and the sea There's forever and a day for you and me Here's to the future Hey guys, welcome to the stream. It is indeed the Friday stream day, in case you were wondering. Uh, yeah, we're playing uh, Cosmetia today. I was wondering about what to play. I was like, do you want to play multi multiplayer Euro Truck Simulator, Minecraft? And the last, literally the last seconds I went, Cosmetia, our YouTube series came to an end because this ship here died. So I thought we'll play this. Not this ship, we'll start a new one. I should leave it on screen so you kind of, you remembered. But there we go. Ha! It's a Friday! Woohoo! <laughs> Hello, Captain Kors! Ollie! Mr. Washington Toad! How are you all doing today? Have you had a good day? Have you had a good week? Has it been interesting? Has it? Okay, so let me just take this and we'll pop this back into a new game so we're ready! What's the volume level like for you, uh, Bounty Hunter? I don't want unlimited money, but I don't want to learn to play either because I already know how to play. Hopefully, the volume levels are okay, but it has fairly quiet sections. We might put some music in the background if we really like it. But before we then. We get rid of the old ship. Do, 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 do. Oh, we go we want to delete certain things straight away. I see the message. I'm just deleting the old ship so we can get started on stuff. Very busy, glad it's over and you. Yeah, it's been a very easy week this week. Um <clears throat> I've had a bit I've had the ability to sort of do PC repair or not PC in the office and do Little bits here, little bits there. Nothing overly uh, strenuous. It's been a pretty decent slow week for me, which has been good because it's let me actually sort of recoup a little bit in the process as well. But there we go. It's been a good week. I'm, I'm glad your week is over if it's been that busy as well, though. Hey, almost. <coughs> du -du 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 -du. Right. So, our previous ship was Laser Base. I think initially we start with Laser Base just to get some, get, until we get the first tier off from him because a laser's 2,000. A cannon is 2,000 plus. 5,000 for the factory to make ammo. So we'll start off with lasers and we'll build up from there. So let's go two lasers and give me a, where's my 
piety stuff. The control room can go back here out of the way a little bit. We have to move some stuff around, but we'll figure it out. Um, I see you don't need FTL drive just yet. We've got a starting sector to kill things in first, so let's go with people. People are important. Let's drop one of the big groups of people down. Put them at the front, the very front, because they, we don't need to armor that area. Well, we will be doing it, don't worry, but we don't need to armor that area. Give me a power reactor just behind there. If that goes, we're dead anyway, so if any of these two go, we're out of the water. But we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Uh, we'll need something to move us around, so a couple of standard thrusters at the bottom. I mean, you can't have one. So, yes, place uh, there and there, a couple of standard thrusters, and we only need a couple of small thrusters for, for navigation. For turning, don't we? So we can put those back there. We can put the four back ones back here. Keep all the engines in one place? Yeah. Also, I noticed mirror mode's not turned on. So we'll do that as well. Mirror mode. Thank you. So we're doing... Okay, that's going to cost us a little bit, but nothing major. Okay, we're good with that. Give me corridors. There we go. Actually, it's pretty good. Put uh, doors in the wrong place. There. And remove, 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 those side ones there, they don't need to be there. In, out, in, out, in, out. Nice little basic ship to get us through the first level. Yeah, should do us nicely. These are going to get killed, aren't they? We're going to approach too fast. Ah, it's fine. We'll just wrap a place in armour. We'll be fine. Boom. Boom. Can't put it there. Oh, yeah. Ah, don't keep putting stuff down. Armour. So you can't put the armor there because the engine will melt. So we can't have armor on the side directly. But what we can do, if you can afford this, and we might actually be able to afford this. Wow. Uh, put that there. Okay, so, so Captain Cross, have you had a chance to play this, Ollie? Anybody else had a chance to play uh, Cosmatia? I kind of like, I like the game. Let's go, some chat, let's go some deeper angles there. And there, so they can have a better firing act. In fact, you. There. They get a better firing act out for the lasers. We've got good armor. Our engines are protected. I think we might be okay. And we've still got quite a lot of cash left. Okay, unpause it. Get this ship powered up. It's only the very basic ship to get started, but uh, it might do as well. Might actually be able to put more lasers on to get started with. Uh, nope, been busy on Cisco. <laughs> no one played it still. Alright, so those that don't know, those that do know, it's fine. This is your ship we just built. You tilt it over there, it turns, it flies. It's pretty simple. Do we have lasers on the front? And red dots on the radar are the bad, bad things that will try to kill us all. Although, I'm thinking of the extra cash we've got. We actually invest immediately in another. Uh, Another laser turret. I don't want it in the middle though, so I might have to move these engines out. Well, we have a fair amount. Hang on, we've got, we've got, we've got, we've got, we've got, we've got the engine. Now, if we pull the engines back a bit further, we could put them in the center. Put the engines in the center, and it will reduce our turning. I want them on the outside because it'll help us with turning. Right. So here's my plan. Get rid of that moment. That can go away. Right. So I want to put an extra laser turret on each one if I can. Just to help out, like that, right? So, so we've got a lot more weaponry to fire with. That's the plan. Then, if we have the engine for reversing thrusters uh, back here, there, turning thrusters can be back here still. And my normal engines for forward thrust can be there, same as it was before, basically. I'm um, actually being that thruster back a bit as well. Yeah, being that thruster back a bit more. I like to be. Then just to be sort of pulled back out of the way if possible. Then we can have a corridor just there so you can actually get into that. Armor plating down the sides. Just to sort of help out with that. Uh, I don't want to go too far because it will constrain that laser. But what we can do then is put that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Give me a single block. Then the sharper block. Okay, yeah, I like that. And then. Here, we can just put that like that. So it's a bit of a, an unusual shape, isn't it? And we can say, put one there. We have a two-piece armor. 
No, a one piece armor there, there, and a corner piece there. It's saying we have less people we need now because of the extra laser turret, but I'm okay with it. But what we could, if we can afford, if we can afford it, give me another two bunk back there. How about another four bunk? Can we get a four bunk in there? We can afford a four bunk in there. Okay, good, 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 good. And then just so we don't get it on the on the back and killed, let's put an armor wedge like that <laughs> for no reason. There we go. The ship is up and running. So the front of the ship is a bit facing down right now. So there we go. So we've got all the armor. We've got the all the all the weapons. We've got engines for navigation. We've got laser turrets. We're not actually going to fight some issues, and I don't want to get a fire in this ship and not have a way to put it out. So, boom. Fight some issues. All right, let's go into our first combat and see how badly we can do. <laughs> uh, how did the crew get there? I hired them with cloning vats. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, approach them. Let's increase speed, four times speed, and let's see how we uh, we deal. Now we lost out last time round in the in the YouTube series because my ship had shields and had lasers and had all the stuff in the front, and they just had a load of energy draining stuff. They had the ion weapon, and that's just OP. It just destroyed us. So, first tag is going to be take out the weapon because that's a ammo factory. That's the ammo store. We can't get to that straight away unless it turns around. But we can get to the cannon directly, and there are no other weapons. So kill that, then kill the reactor. So we can see our ship here, their ship there. If we unpause it, that one time speed. We're moving in. Actually, can we make sure we don't get too close to them as well? So the red, that red arc is our uh, is our actual oop, control. The red arrow is actually our uh, weapons range. Okay, go. There we go. Firing. Boom, 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 boom. Ooh, try to turn out of the way. And weapons have gone. That's it. They are harmless to us now. It's just a matter of basically pounding them until they're gone. In that case, we can actually get ourselves... I'll keep a bit of distance. We get ourselves to this side where the reactor is actually kept. So if we can get near where the reactor is, we can deal with that. He just went back in time in the original GTA and stole a bunch of people. <laughs> okay, so keep destroying the ship piece by piece. And when it blows up eventually in a second... There we go. We get 13,506 credits back for for destroying them. It's a bounty hunting game. 13,000 credits. It's, we took 200 damage. Now those two are very close together. So don't want to get too close to them as a whole. So we'll figure that one out. Fairs. <laughs> if they stay too close together, we have to fight two ships at once. And that could end badly for us. Because actually we have no armor in this area right now. Because weapon on weapon, if they go down, it's straight into the ship. So, uh, take that one first. We don't want to hit, we don't want to hit them together until we have a ship capable of dealing with it. Hey, DJ, how are you doing? This ship has two laser weapons. Let's just target the that one, and we'll see which one. Do they actually have a command post? Kill the command post. Auto save. Thank you. Here we go. So coming in, we'll shoot them as hard as we can, and whichever side they put towards us first is the side we'll go with first. Come on, we can do it. Blast with the armor. Yes, kill that. Okay, they cannot turn anymore. So what we'll do, because they have no control of their vehicle anymore, we'll put ourselves on this side of the vehicle for now. I'll just target that laser. How are they turning? They have no control room. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, they're just purely spinning right now. Okay. In that case, kill the reactor. Reactor's the last thing they have, so there we go. Do, 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 DJ! How are you doing, DJ? How's things? Do, 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 Kill it. There we go. 12,000 for that ship. And our repair costs are 616, and it's actually... The armor that's taking the hits, apart from these two guns, they take a hit as well. But like I said those guns are a little bit on the uh, vulnerable side, so we're gonna have to armor those up. But we'll do that after we kill this guy. We'll kill this guy over here, 
Then a quick redesign, because we need to put an FTL drive on here anyway to move to the next sector. So we'll also make our weapons a little bit more protected in the process as well. Dun, 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 missions are underway. Heading there at four times speed. We are quite weak in the engine front as well. I mean, just look at them. Three normal engines on the back. Two. So we can't outrun this guy if we try to anyway. Kill the only weapon he has is laser. He also has missile defences. So kill the laser. Kill the reactor core. Do, 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 Ooh, okay. They dodged our first shots. We were quite nimble, weren't they? Dun, 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 dun. There we go. One down. Blow it. Kill it. And... 12,000. We now have 40,000, which is roughly what we started off with, actually. And we took... 200 damage to this area. Repair it and build mode. And DJ came back for the mission. DJ, did you kill people again? Right, so let's uh, take off this wing. I like the uh, I like the sort of basic design right now, but I want to make sure we're a bit more capable in some areas. So, first thing I'll do is I place down a single block of armor there. As just some weapon fire getting in. Then I'm going to put down a another laser turret. Back there. Like that. And then another laser turret. There. Like that. So I'll have extra laser turrets on the side. This might be too expensive for us. We'll find out. Thrusters wide. I'll just put another thruster here. It doesn't matter if it comes off the end of the uh, weapon because it's not going to be used that much as far as. Uh, Actual engine power goes. Well, that's a shame. It's one square off to be able to just place it there. But that's fine. Um, I wish actually what we could do. Put the reverse thrust there. Put a turning thruster on its side there. But we don't need that reverse thruster. On top we have, we have our reverse thrusters on the inside. Okay. Um, can't do that because we need to get those in place. So you've got to be able to pay attention all the time. Give me a reverse thruster there. And then we can pull the weapons forward, maybe? To there. And the, then this one here can just sit back there. Destroy that one. Then we can put a corridor in there. It's a bit of a windy place. But for now, I feel like it might do us okay. It's not going to do us okay. I don't like that engine be there at all. Let's... I still want these thrusters back here, though. Yeah, that'll be fine. Put that there. Boom. Corridor. We've got that. Give me the corridor to there. It's only an engine. It doesn't require much on the lines of access. And we can arm up the area. It may may not work at all where I want it to work. But you never know. We can try it. Um, boop. To there. Then a standard armor block system will do just nicely. Then these guys. I want that there. I want that armoured. Because it's the side of our ship. And then a triangle piece. That'll do really nice for the front of our ship. It looks kind of weird as a ship. But it'll do us for at least our first jump. Give me an FTL drive. Back there. It's just stuck on the back because we don't have anywhere else we need to put it. Which is kind of a weird thing to say about the engine. But it's fine. It'll do us okay. Power's okay. People are okay. Next sector. Do a lot of damage and then we'll upgrade the ship massively. Okay, so, uh, what are we looking for next? What are they? Oh, they're uh, sensors. Well, they're big. I thought they seemed to be a little smaller than that. I hate the fact that it's a 3x3, three three, though. We can't put it central. Hey, Ryan, it's Ian. How's it going? Ship is armoured at the front pretty well. And the side's got a double armour. The back doesn't really have much on the flight. There's no armour on the engine. Ooh. One second. There's no armour on the engine. FTL drive is unarmoured as well. Airfield's got a bit of armor now, and the square right there. That'll do us fine. If we did that, we just put a square one there, and no one would even know it was wrong. I would know it was wrong. Boom! There we go. 21,000. It's still seeming low on crew for this ship, because it's quite a big ship now. But what we could do then is go drop a couple of bunks. We could put a bunk right there. It would be expensive. Because the, crew, the extra crew might need to do this. 
Okay, and then turn that way. Okay, turning's not too bad. We have apparently engines I didn't press. We couldn't power. We can't, get, we can't get power to these engines. Oops. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. He's killing, but I'm eating fish pie, which makes everything better. How are you? I'm doing very good, thank you. This unfortunately, this reverse engine can't get power uh, because it, there's no way doing it. So let's push that main engine back a little bit more to there, and that'll make it. It can get power then. Now we're just drifting because we have no reverse thrust, which is fine because there we go. This ship's a little weird. I've never tried this design before. It's kind of, but well, kind of weird. It's sort of very weird. Um, I got a feeling that can't fight forward because I think it's, these armors might be stopping it. So let's. I'm thinking about stripping that level of armor off the side. Like that, so it can, it can see up the edge there. So these act as forward facing weapons as well as sideways for when we're maneuvering. Give me, in that case, give me the triangle one for that corner because it looks really weird if it's a straight edge. That'll do us. We only have one reactor which is not good enough to all these weapons, but it'll, I think it'll do us okay initially. But we're going to need, definitely need to upgrade this ship with more stuff. Ooh, loads of friendlies nearby. Can you ram this game? You can ram. There is damage taken for ramming, from what I remember, but it doesn't do as much damage as you'd want it to do for ramming. So, uh, yes, I know, that's a professional. We don't want to do professionals. Not yet. We're not amateur. I'm saying we need to at least get some more uh, resource before we move to uh, another professional area. FTL jump, please. Here they go. We need to take all the power from the reactor into our FTL drive and prepare to jump. And jump. <clears throat> they have no spiky ships then. Personally, I think that if you did a spiky ship, you'd probably end up doing more damage to the spikes than you would them because these are taking them more damage. Camera wise, it's a bit weird as well. If you uh, move the cursor, it flies off. If you scroll wheel click, it resenters the camera and locks onto whatever you scroll wheel clicked onto. Also, we can name the ships. This one's currently called the Model 1. If you would like your name, well, not this ship, this ship's going to be replaced, but if you'd like to have your name for the next ship, let me know. And we can uh, head in there and name that ship as we're building it. Or we can build it uh, as things happen as well. So that's the thing. Can we zoom out, please? Thank you. So we have an enemy over here. And we're going to just make sure we can keep our, to our maximum range the best we can. And if we can just zoom in. Do, 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 do. Weapons. Okay, he's got two lasers. And a control room, and then a reactor. That's what we're going to target. We're going to go for that. Um, actually, their ship's a little bit how ours started, but we didn't have the hollow pieces. Uh, Peter, you should make it round and have it surrounded by guns and engines. That is something you can do. You can... Thank you. That is something you can definitely do. You can definitely uh, have it set as a uh, a ship. You know that you want to, to fight that way. Okay, our ship's now firing a low. Look at that. We're just, we're just destroying the front of their ship. We are massively superior in the firepower there. We didn't even take any damage. Look. Nothing real. Just a bit of armor there, but nothing. The components are all okay. No, actually, they did much damage to that. I didn't think they did. But they managed to damage that one weapon. Oh, that one. He's done nothing. No damage. <clears throat> Head down there. When we finish this area off, we should hopefully have enough to. Build up a little bit more stuff in the ship, and then uh, we'll head out and do stuff with that. Call the next ship Bob. Bob, not Ranna C and Mark One or all that then. Just Bob, okay. Da, 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 da. Can, can we call the ship the Mac, the Model T? <laughs> we can, um, but technically Model T would have been the first one. Boop. Faster. Here we go. All right, so the game has different types of weapons in the ship. It's got the lasers, which we're firing right now. It's got well, the pulse lasers. It's got the stun gun. If this hit, if this hits anything, it just drains power from it. If you have a shield, it basically drops the shields. If it's a weapon or an engine, it just shuts the weapon engine down for a few moments. 
So these are really, really useful engine, uh, weapons to have. The other one that they have, which this ship doesn't currently have on it, is a um, cannon. There's two types of cannons and missile launchers. They're kind of doomable. <laughs> da, 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 da. Model T is hilarious. Or the Model PT. Well, if Model T is hilarious, we'll go with Model T then. It makes a lot of sense. Okay, that weapon there has to go first. That's just a pure evil weapon. And then we we'll remove these and we we'll take the reactor. We don't have to worry about these guys. They're point defense. They only shoot down missiles. We're not firing missiles, so they're of nothing for us, no interest to us. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, 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 go. We are firing. And Okay, look right now. <clears throat> that for those who haven't seen the series, this gun here fired this random line of goo. And it hit here. And these two guns are now completely out of action. Not damaged, just waiting for... They need to be repowered before they can do this. If it can hit us here, it can basically us offline. If we make missile launchers, maybe we should put doors on them so they can be accessed from the fabricator sections less than three. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, Mr. Washington. And yes, in my series on our ship that kind of died, I may have forgot to put doors on the missile launcher so the missiles couldn't be loaded. But you know, everyone's done it at least once, haven't they? Everyone's got to put doors on their missile room. <laughs> Here we go, just dig a hole. Missile launcher sword, resubscribe, second one, thank you. Two man. And a lot of bangs and explosions at the same time, so perfect! <laughs> thank you, Mr. Washington, for the, uh, for the resub. It means, it actually means a hell of a lot. Uh, we took a little bit of damage, but nothing major. We can just clear this area out before we do an upgrade, I think. Woop woop two more. Smudge Bert! Yes, we have smudge notes! Since the last stream, because they, they, they came in authorised by Twitch about three or four days ago, maybe five days ago. So yeah, we have a, we have we have Twitch emotes now. We, well, it's a, it was obvious when I was asking people what do you want the moat to be, there was like no real cons no consensus on what people wanted. And then he realised Smudge. He turns up to every live stream, doesn't he? I mean, right now he's outside playing, but uh, he turns up to every live stream, so it makes sense. Okay, this is got the cannons. These guys are painful. Destroy them as fast as possible, please. Is that the cannons? Ammo. 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 Okay. Now, when this ship's destroyed, when we've completed this area. <coughs> okay. Ow. That is zoomed to. That is blown through. Immediately, they have destroyed one of our guns and one of our uh, an armor blocks. Showing you, show you just how uh, powerful the guns can be. That's the only ship to ever have damaged us. To get that, it costs two grand worth of repairs. So I'm thinking next when we upgrade, should we upgrade to a cannon? Or a, uh, a missile base system. Or stay with the lasers. What do you think? Uh, and, I, and I saw not disappointed at the United Combat December Child. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> Full speed, lowering. And. Boop. Thank you. Right, what do you have? You, oh, we beat you before. One cannon right there. Cannon storage, we can get to it because sometimes it exposes his uh, rear to us and then go for the reactor. Go and shoot it. Shoot it. Well, okay, it's pointing at us already, so we'll just go straight for the weapon instead. Oh, there we go. Bumble weapon. Always set weapons up first if you can because the weapons are the things that's going to cause the problem to the long run. Oh, a little person running around. Look. And we took 19 damage to that one corner there. He must have really just got one hit on as well. Okay, so we can, we can, we can, we can, we can, we can. 60,000? How much does it cost us for a cannon? Right, so for a cannon, it would be 2,000 plus at least another 5,000. So, an ammo storage. Yeah, we're going to want them as well. So, we're looking about, you know, for two cannons wise, we're looking about 10 grand um, costs. If we go missiles, it's 12 grand out of the box, and we need to have the storage of 15, so we can't do missiles just yet. 
But should we put cannons on this? It's a question I'm really going for. Let's jump first, and you guys decide, should we put cannons on this ship? Right, is there an amateur area we can jump into? Thank you. Boom, ba -doom. Amateur gives us a chance to uh, test our systems before we uh, upgrade and run into somewhere dangerous. Engage. All right, we are here, and we can start deleting stuff. So, stay with lasers, go to cannons. What do you think? But I want to rebuild parts of the ship anyway, so I'm going to tie the whole ship down, make the new ship, and as we said, the new ship will be called the Model T. So, <clears throat> uh, da -da 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 -da. did you get ED? And uh, Miss Washington, just no. <laughs> yep, you've learned. You, you know exactly who he is now. <laughs> I feel we're a shield generator to start off with, just to help remove that little bit of damage we keep getting. Uh, am I the only one who just heard Snapchat go off through the stream? You would be the only person to hear that, so I don't have Snapchat. So, yes, you're definitely the only person to have heard that. Right, so in the event power fails, give me that. I'd like to have a little buff around my uh, shield generator. And then weapons. So <clears throat> how are we looking on uh, on the weapon front, guys? Are we going missiles? Are we going cannons? Well, I at least want an electro bolt. That's, that's a given anyway. Go electro bolts to the sides and cannons above, maybe. Hmm. Sorry, I saw my name appear. It's actually the Robo Pete. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's actually your thing. It's more, I think it's also because my phone doesn't do a lot of the apps and stuff because the Windows phone is going to get ignored by the developers and they just haven't got a replacement, get a replacement yet. So there's also that kind of thing as well. Also, social stuff is just not my thing. Right, we get two of these anti, anti uh, shield weapons just there next to our shield so we can take theirs down. <clears throat> then we armor up and then we put two big cannons. No. Cannons in the middle because Captain Carl says cannons. So cannons it'll be. Give me a cannon there. Actually, I like the edge of it being pulled back a little bit. Give me a cannon there. Then we'll have a cannon ammunition room right behind it. Because that feels like a good place to put the ammunition right behind the cannon itself. And if it does explode, this armor should hopefully protect everything behind it. Hopefully. Now, I don't know if this is going to be enough, but one cannon supply room uh, right about there just to supply uh, ammo, will it be enough to supply both cannons? Hmm. <clears throat> Wait, you can do torpedoes. You can do uh, missiles. Miss they are technically missiles. Uh, you can. They're much more expensive to build, so we'll be putting those in later when we've completed a couple more areas. But uh, they're, 15, they're 12 grand per missile launcher. And you need they need a missile factory to make them spare missiles, and then a missile storage if you want to store extras ready to go. So you can definitely have uh, missiles. Although I would I would prefer them to be called torpedoes because it's you know space. But anyway, should we, I don't want to go for a large cannon just yet. I don't think we've got the uh, manufacturing ability for a large cannon. But that being said, give me my armor block. I want. Give me the armor block right there. Give me the pointy bit on the front. Can I look at there actually? Pointy bit. Pointy bit. Stop flashing like you something's wrong. It's fine. Boom. See, told you. And then we put an electro bolt sticking out the side of the ship. Like that. Or we can just put this here. I don't want the ship to be too wide though, that's the thing. So if we put the electro bolt there, then you can fight up and we can just armor that side and we'll be fine. <clears throat> Give me armor plating, slopes, boom, armor sheet, boom. That'll cover us nicely there. I'm not overly fond of that, so... You know what? Give me that there. There and... There. Big armoured pointy front. And it means that nothing can pass our shield. Haha! <laughs> Tem temporarily at least, uh, that one shield will hold. We probably need to open it to two shields at some point in the future. 
But uh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh, hey, a physical, a planet colony builder instead. Oh, pre -ordered, I pre-ordered the game. Ah, okay. Um, from what I've seen, Avon Colony looks like it's a pretty decent game. Uh, you're in, you're into the colony builders at the moment, aren't you, Hennessy? City and space games. Colony builder games are great. I like colony, colony, good colony building games. Give me a single block of armor there, just to help protect the ship from side attacks. I will be putting something here just to nice tidy off the uh, the side piece in a moment or two. Right, power. We're going to need reactors to power the uh, electro bolts. And I feel just two reactors on either side would be really nice. Because it'll power those, and if we if they blow up, it blows up. That's all we just <laughs> pull it back one. Give me a armor block directly in front. So if we do get penetrated by anything, it won't hit the reactors very easily. I'll be happy with that. Give me corridors for those things. That should keep those guys happy. There we go. That should keep them fairly happy. It says we have no power. I don't know yet. <clears throat> uh, da, 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 da. I haven't had time to play Avon yet. I so want to play. Also, um, is it, have we got our keys yet? Mm, it should be coming out soon. Is it being released yet? Could be. I bought my key um, on the pre-order as well ages, ages ago. All right. So we have that, 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 that. We have that. Okay. So now we need to put engines in place. Engines, engines, engines. Again, some standard reverse thrusters on the inside would be really nice. Just there. I like having reverse thrusters on the inside because it means you don't have to have uh, exposed engines. The, the, the. I think it came out last week, 26. Ah, okay. In that case, yes. Ooh, I wonder if we had uh, like nacelles to get outside of it. We haven't got the cash route yet, but if we had like nacelles, like a Star Trek ship, ooh, that'd be nice. Okay, so give me reverse thrusters there. Turning thrusters there. Yes, because what I'm planning on doing here is linking that up and putting the armor down this side. Right, so we may have to move these in a moment. I don't know yet where we're going to put them. Might put them on the inside here. I'm sure we'll figure it out at some point. Flame this reactor is okay, right? <laughs> uh, let's put another one down just for uh, safety. If we put another one inside, it'll be there instead. We can take these ones out. Probably just get rid of those ones anyway. Um, turning fusses, forward fusses, let's go large this time round, so we can get in there quicker and we can always run away if we need to run away, because running away is a good part of any strategy. Boom. Give me a corridor. And... Straight corridor either side, straight cut across there, and we've got double gap there, double gap there. Yeah, I'll do it quite nicely. Uh, here for accessing that. I don't see any reason we can't just do that for now. Okay, we have a lot of cash. I mean, we have a lot more upgrades we could do on this ship. Hmm. <coughs> we'll come back to it. We'll, we'll, we'll be upgrading this ship very, very shortly. Armour down the side here. Um, it's going to do quite nicely for us. We can cut that off there, like that. Boom. We've got a lot of space for crew quarters back here, hopefully. So that's going to be good. FTL drive. Because I'll forget otherwise. Uh, I kind of like the FTL drive to be at the back. It's less efficient, because if you actually look at the uh, colouring, it gets less efficient as it goes back. But... Thank you, mouse. But I prefer it to be back a bit. Put the FTL drive there. We can... What have we got cash wise? We've got loads of cash left. Give me a power storage there, then. So we have an extra storage of excess power for now. And then um, just put the crew quarters in, hopefully. So crew quarter there, crew quarter there, maybe. Yeah, and it's a little piece of not armoured there, but that's fine. The engines, next to it. it'll just help bake that one bed in the corner. It'll be fine. And then a little rear piece of armour because I don't like being shot in the, in the back. There we go. Now, I did say I would tidy the front piece up, didn't I? So, if we go boop, boop, like, oops, boop, there we go. Let's make it so. Unpause, let's see how this uh, how this does. So, initially there's a slow move when they'll come out the quarters, that's fine, because they'll get there eventually. And then everything powers up. And I didn't build, oh, I know, 
Uh, no, sorry, I thought I haven't built it, but it's there. It's just hasn't got power in yet. Start making ammo. Ammo goes moves into the ammo stores and into the guns. Load up the guns. Do, 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 do. Right, let's let these uh, fill up all our ammo stores. There we go. Alright, so before going any further, let's rename the ship. And as the Captain Cross said, it's the Model T. Let's see if the Model T is any good. Actually, let's uh, save the design just in case it's a really good design as well. Save. Alright, two energy stun weapons. A shield array at the front and two cannons. Let's go test it out, shall we? You know what would be good? I think the one room I can't kind of forget to put in place. I put in the last. A control room. Put the control room there. Put the FTL drive there. Give me the armor on the back. Just two triangles will do just nicely. There we go. Control room. It needs spikes. It has spikes. Spike, spike, spike. And a shield. <laughs> Kill it! Here we go. So we have very, very weak breaking thrusters right now. It's something we have to be very aware aware of. But here we go. So it should hopefully be able to fight the engines <clears throat> ahead of time. But let's move in and find out. Okay. Now this guy's got two lasers. So let's take the laser, take the laser, take the reactor. I'm going to go straight for the reactor, possibly. But fire! Come on, fire! Cannons are there. And there we go. We're firing. There we go. No, too close. Destroy. Yes. And boom, boom, boom. Oh, come on. There we go. And the take that. And... Did some damage. Nice. Now, what did we take damage-wise? We took no damage from that shield. Ha-ha! The shield's working perfectly fine for us there. Now, I have a feeling that uh, <clears throat> some of our armour here got in the way a little bit. So, let's change these guys over to be more sharp like that. And... Yeah, let's just blunt the edge there. I think that will work out better. These guys just basically lost firing arc at some point. We'll figure out if that works out. Might have to strip this back a bit more. Move the cannons forward per square, maybe. We'll, we'll, we'll find out. When we kill the next one, what we might actually do is put two cannons on the front either side. And we can always double the shields, but we have the ability to double the shields and double the, uh, the other stuff. Also, we can change that to a reactor and get ourselves more power generation if we need it as well. Let's go in, see how this ship does. Rich cannons. This time around I'm going to keep a focus on this ship itself. And we'll see how uh, the crew behaves themselves. But first, target the weapon, the weapon, the reactor. In fact, just go for the reactor because if we can kill the reactor, it kills the ship and uh, it'll save us a lot of hassle in the future. Alright, so focus there, go. Cannon fire! Definitely do a lot of damage to the hammer there. And our uh, energy weapons are. Okay. Are they even firing us? No, they're not. Good. <clears throat> well, I'm happy with them not firing us, to tell you the truth. There we go. 12,000. We took a little bit of damage there on that one little edge. And that weapon there. It might have been friendly fire as well. I've seen that happen before a few times. <laughs> Okay, let's try something. Can we try... Now we've got a bit more cash in the bank. Can we put in... Should we, should we go two lots of cannons? Like... Well, not that. Like that. Put my armor back in place. Two cannons? Or one large cannon you can either take. We have two cannons. Or we can go a large cannon. I'm feeling the large cannon myself. <laughs> Because it should do a lot of damage. So that there. Spike that way on. The last cannon. The last cannon takes four shells per round that it fires. Means it'll drop out. It'll actually uh, drain these resources 
very, very quickly. Oh. We might even need to get an extra uh, ammo, pro uh, ammo factory up and running just to supply this. Oh, it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna double shield this as well. Actually, we can double shield it now. We have the cash for that. Ooh. Double shield it there. Remove that. We have been told we're running low on crew and power. Which is true. But I feel we can deal with it for now and we'll get some more crew quarters up in a moment or two. Two shields over our uh, weapons array. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Go and kill that. Two shields, big cannons. Oh, this is going to be fun. Big cannons are kind of scary. They have beaten me a couple of times, so hopefully us using them will help We get our advantage for once. <laughs> here we go and here we go this guy actually has a cannon but he's only a small cannon so there we go let's see how much damage a, a big cannon can do shall we and cannon lock boom 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 yeah, they do a lot of damage when they hit. One shot kill the engines. Wow. But we have indeed run out of ammo. <clears throat> so we have to watch out for that. Yeah, we ran out of ammo back here entirely because this can of fire so many shells. Right, so we're definitely going to need an a second ammo process of one for each of these. And a uh, yeah, second ammo cost each, <clears throat> just to do this. Okay, no problem with that. We can deal with that. We also we don't need we need another power reactor. We need another ammo processor each. We, okay, we're gonna be good. I can we can deal with that. We have to move these engines, I think, though, to, for that to work. 14,000. We took no damage ourselves. Okay. Actually, we need another reactor. There's no two ways about that. We ran out of power. So that was always going to become a reactor at some point. There we go. And we need more crew members. So, crew. I personally feel we can just place them on the outside here. Give me more crew there. Like that. We can arm around them. Make them feel, make them feel nice and safe and secure. Like that. There we go. Everyone feels happy, right? <clears throat> oh, uh, fire extinguishers. Give me a fire extinguisher. I didn't put a fire extinguisher down before. That could have ended really badly for us without a fire extinguisher in the ship. Um, boom. Fire extinguisher there. Either side. Yep, yeah, fine. <clears throat> okay. Insufficient funds. We're now over our balance because of the extra crew members, most likely. So if we can bring the crew members down... So we don't need that many crew, we just need more crew. That'll do us a crew at 35. How much does a ammo factory cost us? Five. So if I were to move the ammo factory to there, back here, that only cost us a lot of money, which we don't have. So let's go kill a couple of ships and come back with a, a new ammo factory, right? We have the extra power reactor, we have the extra crew members to keep us supplied faster. Because one of the problems was this was running out of power, so hopefully that'll uh, keep us running. Once we're done, we kill that one ship. Hopefully, we have the cash to build the extra thing we need. Haha, <laughs> hopefully. Hey, Captain Koss. He won a gamble. He won a bet. Alright, take us in. You can be reloading that as we're on the way in, so don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Here we go. <clears throat> <laughs> And they've been supplying the ammo. Great. What we could do with this is maybe put another ammo store somewhere else nearby. So we have a, a stop. We have to extend the ship out. Make it longer to mix work, which I wouldn't mind doing. It's a bit of a stubby ship right now, so that would actually be a good thing to do. I'm looking forward to playing Avon. Hey, excellent. Take out the cannon, take out the reactor. Let's see how we deal with the ammo levels here. 
Shoot! Shoot it! Not that close! Back off a bit! <laughs> okay, they are firing! And crew comes in. They are resupplying pretty quickly, but then these run out really quickly as well. Here they go. And the crew are continuously feeding new ammo in. Barely fast enough, but it's there. They are doing it. We took some damage to that. Where? The cannon there, okay. Right, we took the damage of 17,000. <clears> now, if we can cost us 17,000. Could we do something? We could put the ship a bit longer by pulling back this section. Hmm. But yeah, that would work. Hey, smudge. It's smudge. Smudge, smudge. Hang on. Camera. Boop. Smudge, smudge. And the boat time. <laughs> Hello, smudge. If you look at his uh, head, and he's, uh, he, got, he got in a fight. Probably when he started knowing him. Whoop. There we go, camera froze. Smudge butt. And then the smudge cam. Smudge. Hello, Smudge. So, yeah, he uh, got himself in a little fight a couple of days ago and has, uh, has scratches all over his head. Nothing major, just superficial, but he uh, still managed to do it to himself. Didn't you? Yes. Okay, camera go there. Smudge. Where's your feet? There we are. Hutch! Hutch! And... There he goes! Boop! Yay! Hey, chameleon! Bloop! Just in time to see Smudge. Ooh, chameleon almost fell off then as well. How are you doing, chameleon? How, is, how are things going? So, <clears throat> as we were saying about the ship, anyway... Um, we could push the bottom half of it back and gain some more room because we need another ammo processor. It's just not big enough for one ammo processor right there. Da, 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 da. Yay! Good to hear you going good, Chameleon. And we did get two lines of, uh, of smudge emotes. <laughs> it's just been a very alien place, if you know what I mean. I do indeed know what you mean. I know I do. And here's one for you. <laughs> I do indeed, Chameleon. <clears throat> Now, would it be cheaper to pull the reactors back or push the engines forward? Probably cheaper to move everything forward. Because the thing is, you lose some of the value in, after you've been in combat with the ship. So, uh, yeah. Da, 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 da. Mr. Marshall is almost back. He needs to grab some lunch now. Okay, Mr. Marshall, get yourself some good foods. We well, can't push those forward because they'll, they'll conflict there. So, I feel we just pull that back. Actually, what we could do... Yeah. Give me another ammo factory, put them side on so they're facing each other, like that. Give me doors on the side of the shield generators there. Okay, like that. So they can get from here to there to there through this one. It's a small gap there. It might be problematic in the long run, but for now it should keep us going. And hopefully it'll work out. We'll find out in a moment. Because that's two weapons factories <clears throat> that'll be operating, producing ammo, which can go straight into these guys here then. Yeah, I think it's going to go well. I think it's going to go well. And a mission as well, last second, for, for food. Now, we're going to, I think we're going to need to put in a second um, ammo store somewhere. Honestly, I could put it there. Would that be a stupid idea? That would be entirely stupid, wouldn't it? If I were to say, put an ammo block, oop, an ammo block, put a, an ammo store there with ammo plating on the front of it, like that, to really make sure it's secure, that'd be, that'd be kind of horrifically stupid, wouldn't it? That'd, that'd be, it would be weird and you know, no one would do something like that. That'd be, that'd be a stupid thing to do, which is why we can't do it. I mean, to do it with no ammo would be even worse. With no uh, ammo, so that'd be that'd be just even worse, even more stupid, wouldn't it? Da, 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 da. <clears throat> if that we'll play, by the way, if they go, they go. Then they probably go. And then they probably go. It's a chain reaction to waiting to happen, basically, right now. 
all of this is problematic because of our fusses being there. We need to move these fusses to the outside somewhere, or, like I said before, build some kind of cells back for the engines, which I'm really liking the idea of still. Either way, let's go jump to a new sector. Amateur! Let's test out a new ship! Here we go! People grab all the power! Grab, 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 grab! Engage! <coughs> Shields up! Target the weapon over there. Now, this might be a little bit on the vulnerable side. We'll see how badly it will go. <laughs> so, what is this game and what is the goal? <coughs> okay, this game is called Cosmeteer. It is a free game you can download now. It's uh, the developer said as long as it's in uh, alpha, it will be free. The story basically is you are a ship, or you're a bounty hunter. So you start with a small ship, you're given a handful of credits, and said, hey, you're a bounty hunter, go out there and uh, deal with the rebel problem. These ships are rebel ships, you're a bounty hunter, for every ship you destroy you get a, you get a bounty, and as you make more money you can upgrade the ship. So now, boom, 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 and watch this. Hopefully, there you go, the shot's just slipping by. And... There we go, do some major damage to that ship there. There we go, look at that. Major damage. On the plus side, our upgrade has kind of worked partially. We've got to keep both guns firing. Yes. Both guns are firing almost continuously, actually. No, actually, they're continuous so far. I mean, they've not been as good as uh, our lasers were, but I kind of like the cannons. They do a lot of damage. So, yeah, we did that damage. We took. The little thing up there said we made about about between twelve and fourteen thousand bounty for destroying that ship, <clears throat> and we took no damage, and we build up our, we can increase that ship now. That thirteen thousand damage is going to go into the damage reward is going to go into placing us some armor up in front of this uh, stockpile we've got there, because that was a bit dangerous having no uh, armor in front of the ammo store. But we're okay, we're fine, it's fine. There's no problem with that. Everyone says there's a problem with that. Wrong. <clears throat> I really want to move these engines though, they're in a really horrible place. We need nacelles. We need nacelles and we will build them in a moment or two. Let's swing us around and let's go kill that guy over there. Four times speed. Getting over. Those two are getting very close to each other. I don't like it when they get close because you can end up fighting two in one go. Oh, that's not good. Um, Go up there. There we go, okay. We've, we've, we've got the attention of one of them. It's a little closer than I'd like it to be. I need a new mouse, it's really not doing scrolling very well. It's also coming from our side, which is not a good thing. Alright, let's kill this fast. Kill the cannon, kill the laser, kill the reactor. Oh, also, one time speed. Uh, oh, it's not on Steam. No, no, it's a, it will be on Steam when the guys... When they finish making it, it's going to put it on Steam. But for now, it's a free-to-play game you download from their website directly. Here we go. And... Ooh, whatever that was, so I didn't want hit. <clears throat> yeah, those cannons are damn lethal. They just destroy whatever the hell they hit. I mean, they kill engines in one, whack, one hit, so... 14,600 reward, our uh, damage was that weapon there took some hits for 50 credits. So we're taking like 50 damage and they're taking like 14,000. So we're doing, doing pretty good. Pom poms, yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, Bram, how are you doing? How about you away this week? Oh, you were last week, weren't you? You had a holiday. How was your holiday? Boop. Let's go. Bum, 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 ba, da, bum. So we, what we have in the ship, by the way, if anybody doesn't know, we have two large cannons, we have ammo stores either side, we have shield generators just to really keep us from being destroyed, we have ammo producers there, we have stun guns here, these spinny things are reactors, producing power for everything, we have our crew quarters over here, we have fire extinguishers, because, you know, fires, 
thrusters at the back and an FTR drive in the control room there. All the good stuff basically. Kill that. Let's see how our uh, team do <clears throat> when they open the first salvo. There they go. Boom, boom, boom. Now they're shooting at us and hitting our shield quite happily. Unfortunately for them, we're doing quite well. We're only hitting that laser though right now, which is annoying. There he goes. And we kill the control room as well. <clears throat> and 12,000. And no damage. Isn't that very nice for us? Resupply the weapons and we'll go straight into the battle. Ha ha! I see. I'm still here. <laughs> I'm pretty easily keen. Hmm. Probably not a good idea. Not a good thing for that one, Brandon. I'm good to you, Brandon. <coughs> Come on, closing in, and we'll get this ship dealt with. Ba, 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 ba. Ooh, we are, uh, you're one we've dealt with in the past, I think. So, cannon goes first, then the lasers, then the reactor. Keep an eye on that. I want to see how our ammo uh, supply holds up for something a bit more longer term. What are you shoot? What are you angling at? Seems... That's fine. Keep shooting. Yeah, look at that. It hit our shields quite bad there, but our shields are holding. Oh, she's going down. Oh, just in time. So you see these little yellow markers there. Those are the energy levels. They were down to one. If you get down to zero, the shield drops. Okay, this is a longer term battle. We are running at low in ammo. It's not running out of the guns, though. That's the most important part. If the guns themselves don't run out, then it's good. So having these two uh, sal these two caches allow enough time for the crew to get to there and start picking out ammo. We're doing all right. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm good. Going to a mutant park tomorrow. Yes, I uh, hear. That is uh, indeed an interesting thing. So, Charming for a new mouse. Thank you, Mr. Washington, for the bits. Uh, well, a thousand bits. Thank you, Mr. Washington, for the bits. That is, yeah, thank you. I will indeed um, go and get myself a new mouse. I like this mouse. This is a vertical mouse that uh, I've had for a while now, and it's I like the I like the use of it. So, yeah, I will definitely go get another one of those. <clears throat> so Chameleon, what's, what are you doing in the amusement park tomorrow? Are you uh, roller coasters or spinny rides or what? What type of rides do you, do you go on? Not, not a veteran. Let's not go to veteran just yet. A professional, not yet. Professional, not yet. Veteran. Not... Can we have something that's not going to kill us immediately if I'm entering the system? Well, you're just going to tell me no, aren't you? Next sector. I need a few more amateurs just to... Uh, Build up that weapon a bit because I, I think our weapons are a little bit underwhelmed right now. <coughs> Here we go. If they'll jump. Uh, da, 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 da. Where are we? Ah. Uh, oh, which one, Chameleon? Roller coasters, of course. I thought you might do, but you never know. You can't always uh, say for people. Not everyone likes roller coasters. Basically, everything. Everything. It's an amusement pack based on fairy tales. Nice, fairy tale ones are always themed very nicely. Okay, take us to that one there, we'll go deal with them. Oh look, it's a flashing red dot, unknown contact. <clears throat> so hopefully it doesn't get us killed in the first run, but uh, we'll find out. Actually, well, what we'll do is we'll save the Model T over the original Model T design. So if we have to rebuild it, we can rebuild it better. We need 192,000 to rebuild it, but we can rebuild it, potentially. Hmm. I hope it will be better soon, Rani. <laughs> many took quite a, often. Many leaks quite often after a bang. Still doesn't seem right though, somehow. Da, 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 da. Oh! Okay, you got two cannons. Cannon! <clears throat> okay, you got two cannons. Which is. And, well, and a large cannon. Okay, you have a lot of cannons. But right there. And there. An unprotected ca uh, cannon ammo factory. And an unprotected reactor. The reactor, please! Shoot at the reactor! Shoot at the reactor! Shoot fast, you hard! Okay, well... Kill that big gun on the front at least. Thank you! Oh, that was a mistake on your side. Why would you put your reactor facing me? There you go! I don't care if you've got ammo in your guns. If you have no reactor to keep your ship alive, you're pretty much dead anyway. 
and we're still trying to slow down. All right, we need to. We got the seventy thousand. I think we can probably use that to build the engine bit room to sell at the back for that. I'm, I'm sure. Uh, so there. <coughs> uh, there are also relaxing attractions. There, are, there is a fairy tale forest, some water attractions, some fancy relaxed rides, and the great views in Dakar, and so on. Excellent. So it's like an all-rounder park, which is actually the best, like I said. Turns around. And I feel this ship definitely now needs a little retrofit on the engine side of things right now. So let's delete the engines we have. And build a little learner cell system out. So give me the wireframe stuff. Is that a planning tool? No, select tool. Right, wireframes. <coughs> we build out a wireframe system. I'll be replacing this with corridors in a bit, maybe. Like this. And then we build corridors all the way down with that, right? Then here, if we have the engines pointing forward like that, or better yet, backwards like that, forward like that, big big engines for for braking basically, turning thrusters like that. So these are all at the back end of the ship basically for safety. Maybe move that big engine over one. Yeah, okay, we can always move it to there instead. There instead's better because armor will go there, there, and there with corner pieces on it. Boom, 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 like that. We'll keep these uh, sort of hedge pieces in place just to make it look like it's a bit more uh, protected. And then what we're going to do, if we can, we've got the cast for it, we're going to put an energy battery on either side back here so there's energy nearby the actual uh, engines for refueling them. And that should give us a bit more manoeuvring and keep us out of damage, keep our engines out of the way. And, 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 and it means we opens this area up here for extra stuff. So we can say, okay, I need. Uh, Another reactor. So two reactors in the middle there. I don't actually need more reactor, but I can put two reactors there and like, hey, we can do stuff like that. What we could do then is we could then put in an ammo factory back here. Uh, this side. So we have an extra ammo factory helping out. Yes. In fact, if we can afford it, two ammo factories, move our... Uh, Control room to the right hand side, put the reactor we just deleted on the left hand side, move the FTL, we need to be this, move the FTL drive back one notch, put a corridor going across it, there we go, and give me some doors, there we go, and I think that will do us quite nicely. Yeah, okay. I honestly think that will do us quite nicely. It's expensive. Our FTL efficiency is only 50%, but that's fine for now. We're currently spinning out of control because there's no power to any of our engines, but the crew will, will solve that out. Go, 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 go. Stop spinning. Yeah, because firing those engines will stop spinning. <laughs> and we need power to that one thruster there just to stop it from spinning. I suppose that one could do it. Ah, uh, okay. Well, they all power back there. There we go. And now we're trying to manoeuvre into this. <clears throat> I like these nacelles. Not that they're the best looking nacelles. Um, for later on, I'm going to push them out a bit more. But for now, I like the sort of jankiness of them set back there. They <laughs> look kind of cool. And there we go. But it's actually uh, holding up quite nicely for us. Perfect. All right, what have we got? Da, 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 da. Of course you didn't. They don't run anywhere. <laughs> Kill that. <clears throat> so I want to push it back even further and make it completely weird. But uh, ooh, what we could do as we get some more cash, push these back even further and put missile launchers shooting out the sides. Missile launchers, that'd be fun. Uh, sorry, I call you RJ from that one. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we have Rennie Sian, or RJ, or Rennie. 
Renny J. <laughs> also, uh, Cannibal comes to mind as well at some point. But uh, that's something you have to ask Miss Washington about. <laughs> Alright, close in. Let's get this guy. Probably need more forward thrusters because we, we're not catching up to this guy right now. Okay. What do we have to deal with? Normal cannon, normal cannon, main reactor. Let's see how they uh, can keep up with the supply this time around. Open fire! Boom, boom, boom! Okay. Our shields are weakening. You can see that. We're holding up our own. Ammo store one is low. And back out again. So we're not actually getting close, not losing a minute of ammo on all the things that we did last time. Last time around we were running out on, on ammo and pretty much everything. Right now we appear to be holding our own. Excellent. We need some better weapons though, because two big cans are just not enough to do all the damage. Not Renny J, never Renny J, ever. <laughs> okay. Uh, you keep it so it's fine, we're just going to kill another one. And I think if we can get ourselves a few more of these laser ones, maybe something down here, that'll make us a bit more powerful, because right now, um, <clears throat> if we have a ship with, with, we with energy weapons, that's going to kind of screw us over. Hello, bit of debris. Part of the ship called Relentable. Really, really hmm. Okay, here we go. There it is. You know what? Just shoot it. I'm not going to give you targets this time around. See how you do by your own targeting. Ooh, took like that weapon out in one hit. And with energy that were, yeah, <clears throat> they basically have no weapons right now. At the end, now I don't have weapons at all. Aha! And. Ooh. Their control room is out basically right now. And. Gone! Now they're just a reactor with a couple of engines. Spin it! Spin it! Spin, 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 spin. <laughs> 10,000 reward for killing that one off. And that ship didn't uh, run out of ammo in any of the supplies. Excellent. Excellent. Right. So my opinion is we need another laser weapon. Another energy bolt one. Just to replace sort of there so you can shoot up. Boom. With a little bit more armour down the side just to... Uh... Or... We could put it there. Like that. It's dead. Uh, where's my armour going? Armour! Just armour up like that. Damn it! I the uh, thing turned off. Boop. And in the weapon, I had the uh, mirror mode turned off for the other thing earlier. Boom, there we go. And the fight simulator still sat there keeping us nice and safe. And I will actually pop down another fight simulator back here on our nacelles. We have, I think we might need them. Okay. With that being done, we can. We have 53 in the bank. Let's uh, move on to kill the last ship. And then, if everything goes well. Hopefully, we can start putting some missile launchers on this thing. Hey, wifey, how are you doing today? Could we also turn the ship around? I'd rather not drive towards the enemy. There we go. <clears throat> We're driving towards the enemy backwards with our FTL drive and our engines facing them and our uh, cannons and shields not facing them. That was probably not a good combination. <laughs> How is everyone doing today? I'm doing very good, thank you. How are you doing? Let's also... Have we got the opportunity to put extra engines on the back here? We could... Oh. <clears throat> Let's take the opportunity to put bigger thrusters on the back here. Bigger thrusters? Yeah, it's fine. Give me some doors. That's fine. Give me some armour because I feel like my engines exploding is not the best thing for them. You know what? Let's uh, wing the uh, the engines, eh? There we go. Nice little, nice little pods for them. So when they get power to them, <clears throat> which will be very shortly, there we go. We go much faster. Yes. 
Hey, wife is good. Excellent. I think Chameleon is probably shook up from his alien encounters. <laughs> Are we going to close in? Come on, let's close in. <coughs> Faster. How are they able to evade us? We have four big engines. They have one big engine and two small engines, but they also are much, much lighter than we are. Um, Kill the weapons and then the engine. Here they go. Fire in the hold. Ooh, killed an engine though. And... There they go, and now for the remaining reactor. And this bounty will be ours. Bam, 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 bam. And. Missed. Missed. Yeah, those cannons are very powerful when they hit. <coughs> you can see why I wanted the extra energy draining guns. Can we, I wish we could rescue the crew. It would be really nice if we could rescue them. Okay. Free supply. And then we start looking at uh, 48 Falcons. We can't really afford much of a missile barrage. But we can afford some of a missile barrage. So first of all, let's save the Model T again. That one. <clears throat> it's time to upgrade it. With missiles, we'll push the engines back a bit as well. So we'll delete the engines first of all. So they're gone for us to be able to uh, put back in in a few moments. Missile times! Right. Missiles. So missiles are going to require multiple things. First thing they're going to require is a missile launcher. Now our plan is to have these back here out of the way where no one's ever going to see them. So, four missile tubes. We're not going to put four down. They're just placeholders. They'll be removed. Don't worry about that. Then they're going to need missile factories. They're going to have to be what actually provides the missiles to the system. So it's going to be like that. And then probably another one there or something. Missile storage would also be very useful. Um, could put them there, but that would take out an FTL drive. So right now they're going to have to stay where they are and do that. So that's going to be my plan, long-term plan. is missile launchers and missile generators, maybe. But to, for now... We're going to try and sit with just ooh, too many. Just two launches either side. Corridors. We may need to have it limited to one either side. Yep. One either side for now. Boop. <coughs> then we need the engine nacelles. So, engine nacelles. Uh, back in again. Where's my engine nacelles gone? Engine nacelles. Uh, can you protrude once more? I'd love to have more of a uh, walkway there. I'm about to get some lunch. So I'm about to get some lunch. Launch some fighting robots in Fallout 4. What can go wrong? <laughs> I've never played Fallout, so I assume everything. All right. So next up, two missile storage spots on top under the FTL drive. Then a fabricator. Okay. Two missile storage, like that, under the FTL, like that, under the FTL drive. Then a single factory. In fact, the problem is it's not. Uh, it's a three by three. It 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 it. it. Symmetry mode off. It'll hurt everyone, but it's Miss Washington's fault. <laughs> All right, corridors coming down there, and then if we can fit it in, we're going to put our uh, engine bays here. So engine bays <coughs> will be. Two factories. I know what you meant. Thank you anyway. Thank you for the bits. Thank you for all the things. All the things. You do a hell of a lot for me. I'm supposed to just keep saying it over and over again. Four forward en engines. Uh, don't really want them to go that far back because I don't want to build more missile tubes here. We have to move the reverse thrusters at some point. A single reverse thruster in the middle, maybe. Um, no. How? Yeah, you have much smaller thrust uh, problems. For now, I'll be fine with one of the big thrusts either side and a standard thruster. No, a small thruster. I like the small ones. They're good for manoeuvring. Like that either side. And then I want a 
power storage there to deliver power to the engines and then we armor the area up they're actually no they're the, they're the closer center aren't they oh everything's off by one square um because i want the armor to be there so yeah that goes there then the engine goes well, we've got the we haven't got the cash for this anyway there we're at 49 we're just a little bit too uh expensive right now so if we just remove some of the crap we don't need like that we're at 41 we can armor up and then we can always upgrade it in a few moments okay armor god i don't want to lose an engine because of this i can definitely want to lose that piece there so we'll armor that section up as well and that made it too expensive i thought it might do that's why i went to sort of try it but uh Hopefully we never have the back of our ship facing the enemy anyway, but these are just more to catch any rogue shots that are going to come through. Sloped armor. There we go. Damn it. Too expensive. Okay. 48. We're so close on the price. Give me a single piece of armor. Um, which can we remove? We can remove that top one. It's not really needed. It that's just saying in case someone gets in make it so so hopefully they'll start uh, producing missiles <clears throat> and for now unfortunately there's only one factory it's on one side they have to do a long walk around it's not a major issue but it's just something that's short term the ship looks really horrible but uh, once we FTL jump out of here we'll be fine now let's let them stock up with, with missile shells and then we're good to uh, Start supplying missile. I thought I told you it's on nothing. Be supply and done. Okay. Don't FTL jump. Uh, let's see. Maybe more efficient with storage on top of a section. Probably more effective for the short term, but once you uh, fire your initial volley, you don't have anything to fire back with. Then it's just more about how fast can you get stuff to them. I don't know what amateurs in this area. I've got a brand new weapon system I'd like to test out. I don't want to go into professionals just yet. There. Let's test out a new weapon in an amateur area. <clears throat> then we go pro. Do, 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 do. I won't get this done up properly before we go into a pro area. And. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Thank you. Engage. Let's see. Oh my god. So if I buy 100 bits and it's pending, for fuck's sake. Okay, let's target this guy over here. He's out of the way. So those who don't know, the bit system, it's... The way bits work is that uh, it's basically like little mini micro donations. One bit is one US cent. Um, and if you're in anywhere in the world, you have to pay for them. But if you're in the US, you get them for free if you're in certain areas. Um, turns out, all sorts of VPNs. So if you uh, have yourself a nice VPN, you can uh, do that as well. Here we go. Coming in. Right. Now, I've never seen the missiles fire from a ship that's actually capable of firing them properly. So we'll target all the dangerous places and then we go watch our ship. Okay. I'm going to get it down to half speed. See how these missiles work. Do, 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 do. Cannons are getting ready. Missiles are, should be ready. Missiles launching. There they go. Oop, zoom out. Let's see how these missiles properly go. There they go. And they swing on the back of the ship. <coughs> Now we take damage to our front shield, luckily, and then boom. Ooh, okay. They wiped them out pretty good. Maybe we'd have a better chance in the other series if uh, we had two missile launches instead of one. <laughs> That's 12,000. I think one of these is 15,000, so we'll, uh, we'll head up there and do that. And, ooh, hello. I didn't see my unique 
turns you here back to us again because I want to see the missile factories operate. I don't four times speed. On the plus side, we crash into that. Do some minor damage from it. 27,000. Okay, we should now be able to afford the extra uh, missile manufacturer. Symmetry off. Oh, we already have one. Boom. There we go. Oh, and a door to the top. I think we can put a door to the top because that will help with uh, resupplying those. And take that door out because it doesn't need to have a door there. Okay, that will help us there. We need more crew, of course. I want to see this thing explode. Leaves it at 4x speed. Now there. Did everyone catch that? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, see this thing explode. Where's it gone? <laughs> okay. We got a bit of cash. Let's drop a fight machine down here because I couldn't afford one earlier. Boom. And put the armor in place because this looks really bad without the armor in place. Wedge. There, there, there. It's a bit shorter than I'd like it to be right now, but it'll be expanded later. But it'll be moved when these get expanded again. It does need more crew. That is a thing we are definitely in need of as well. In fact, <clears throat> I get more crew now. We have the cash hanging around, I believe, for another crew bay. 25,000 we need, okay. Can't do it just yet. But there's some money over here, so we'll go get that instead. <laughs> Four times speed. Hunting! They're getting very close to each other, which makes it very, very awkward. And... One time speed this time. Kill the energy draining weapon, kill the two lasers, then kill everything. And again... I'll see how these guys react. We're at one time speed, so here we go. They will fire, fire. <clears throat> yeah, they're firing a burst, don't they? Wow. Don't get that close to it. Also, don't shoot ourselves with our own missiles. I saw them going behind us. Yeah, this ship has um, anti missile technology built in. See? Rendering the missiles, for the most part, useless. Because we're pretty damn good at taking out missiles. They're just circling them. <laughs> okay, so for the most part, our missiles were counted there. That's why we have the cannons still. But we need more crew. And look at that, 26,000. We can probably get some of those crew. Hey, look, extra crew. Who would have knew? Do we have enough crew now? If we have enough crew. It's saying we could do more power, though. That's fine. Here they go. Crew, 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 crew. <clears throat> get all the things. And we should hopefully not have a problem with our missile uh, values anymore. This game looks really cool. It is cool. I like this game. I kind of spent most of last weekend in this game. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, <clears throat> we got clips. Quote ad. I want to see this thing explode. Leaves it at 14 speed. Now everyone <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Washington. Toad. <laughs> yeah, the game's really cool. It's got expandability on it. Definitely has. Um, I want to see other weapons added, but the uh, developer has a Discord, and it looks like it's pretty uh, good on there. You know what? Focus on the focus on the enemy vessel. Zoom us out, out. Let's see how those missiles actually track it. Here we go. How close are we going to get to that thing, though? Anyway? Get within, yeah. We're going to get within cannon range, but those missiles have much bigger range, as you can see. Go. Here we go! Missiles away! Missiles away! Ooh, they missed. No, my side armor! Well, goodbye! <laughs> and we took damage to that side armor here. All 82 cents worth of it. Ah! Not 82 cents worth of damage! Can we eat free as well? Can we eat free? Yes! <clears throat> free will in Alpha, then it will get a price and it goes on Steam. Indeed, that's what the devil said. 11,000. Just that cute. How much was a missile launcher? 12,000 each. So we need uh, 24,000 to build an extra missile launcher each. And then we're good. Well, I feel <clears throat> that this ship is now capable of going to non-amateur areas. 
So let's find a pro area and see how bad we are. Professional! Here we go! Jump me! Jump, 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 I am also very aware one miss out of this spot here will kill the ship. Well, kill the incels. Save. Good point. Save the ship design, first of all. Model T M. It's not only got missiles, it's also trademarked. <laughs> Stream. And engage. Yep, get those shields up. Thank you. And target the guy all by himself over there. <coughs> do, 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 do. By the way, our ship currently weighs 449.1 tons. It has 72 souls on board and costs 321,000 to replace if we lose this ship. We can't afford a replacement ship. So we need to uh, start saving or spend more money on weapons. Your choice. <laughs> <coughs> But here we go. Ah, the Model T M. Ah, because it not only has missiles, it's also trademarked. <laughs> Kill this thing as fast as we can. This is a probe-based ship, so we're going to focus our power on. Hmm, what's that? You put your camera am cannon ammunition exposed like that. All right. Missiles away! Come in soon, out please. Thank you. Boom. And... No! You missiles, you! One down. Kill the ammo store. There we go. 24,000. We did some damage though. We took a lot of damage from the side pieces. I'm guessing our own missiles hit us. Damn it. <laughs> uh... Okay, 24,000 is a lot of money. We're 35 in the bank right now. That means another missile launch each. Now, I do need more crew to supply these extra missile launchers, but uh, for now, I feel we're okay. Why did not put Dorian automatically? No, it does. Go, load her up. All right, let's go target the one down here. <coughs> So that we don't get uh, ambushed by two. Hi, debris. See <laughs> the debris, by the way. <laughs> We're taking the flanks like escort with us. <laughs> Once those thrusters start firing, it's going to pull away from us, that debris. Normal speed. And thrusters are firing. And goodbye, debris! <laughs> okay, shields are down. Thank you, this <clears throat> I didn't even get to see that battle. But uh, you can see there, our shields are down and they haven't even restocked them yet. I didn't even get to see what caused in that. Ah. <laughs> Thank you, Wifey, for, for uh, doing the YouTube channel link. Thank you. That one little bit of debris just there. That. Kill it! <laughs> Foiled by a piece of debris. <laughs> it's just two bits of armour, nothing else. And off it goes, never to be seen again. Go that way. <clears throat> Swing us around. Okay, so we definitely need more crew to keep that ship going. Because we saw there, we took a lot of stuff. Also, we took some damage there, because both of our shields went offline. Now, I don't know if they went offline because of energy draining weapons, or if they went offline because we just got massively overwhelmed and didn't have crew to replace them. Both are entirely possible options, <clears throat> so uh, that's something we're going to work out. Might build the crew out a bit more here and just sort of build this piece out a bit more like a little crew pod, side. 
We have the cash for it. Let's do it. Give me some more crew. Um. Like that. And we'll armor that section again because the crew are the most important part of a ship. Yeah, after it's guns. Like that. And then give me a wedge. There. I can't afford that. I know, but it's only crew I can't afford. So I can always just not hire the full amount. 33,000. There we go. We need more power. But that's something we can put in in a few moments. So we have the extra crew. <clears throat> Two bunks not used right now. But uh, we can buy more crew the moment we go through the uh, the actual thing. Hello, so much welcome back. Do, 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 do. You know we have to do it. Smudge is back. Smudge is back. <laughs> Straight into the camera, Smudge, aren't you? Oh, hello, Smudge, Smudge. Yeah, though, I love you too. Bye, Smudge. Can you um, not go under the microphone? Thank you. I know, come on. I'm making the camera freak out. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Smudge, smudge, smudge. Oh. How about your treat? Okay, another treat. <coughs> and then... You know what, give me the, uh, the biscuits this time around, shall we? Biscuits! Biscuits! There you go. Have some biscuits, smudge. Da, 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 da. <clears throat> so yeah, he's uh, come back for his uh, his treat. He knows he can get more treats out of me during stream time. So uh... <laughs> okay, where were we? Please. <laughs> that was actually the first ever quote in the system. That one, trees. <clears throat> this is the end. Hash number one. <laughs> hey, hey, cutie. He is, isn't he? <laughs> right. Take us in faster. We have more crew. We have hopefully things we can do. And we're going to target them. Weapons again. We may need some shields back here at some point. Look at this. Ooh. Okay, what is this one called? The spread wing. <clears throat> right, it has energy draining weapons, which will drain our shields. And then it has big cannons, which we can just kill there. And then we go for a reactor. Excellent. One time speed. Take us in. Miss us away. <coughs> Ooh. That used to be a part of a ship. Can we just take that? Thank you. <laughs> oh, this guy carrying power to the engine still. Oh. There's a fire on board the ship. Just slowly spreading and destroying the ship. Oh. Put him out there, misery. But about the misery. Just ask them to get closer and fire. Here we go, missiles! There we go, you see? It wasn't that hard to uh, help out the, the, the crew crew members that were, you know, just waiting for help, basically. Take us, get us ready. <laughs> I like the blueprints of the, the cameras lit up. Restock, rearm, and let's get ready to go again. Too bad we can't get <coughs> closer and salvage components that don't get destroyed. Thank you for this, Mr. Washington. Yeah, it's, that's one of my big things about the game. I'd love to be able to. Uh, even to the point where, for example, now, build. I'm hiring 12 crew members because we're 12 crew members short. They had crew members there we could have uh, potentially have uh, taken. So I'd also like to rescue the crew. You know, rescue the crew of a ship that we uh, that we fight. <laughs> <coughs> Bye, debris. <laughs> okay, here we go. Get closer. 23,000. So we need... We're still at the point where we want another missile launcher. Possibly even two more. Um, yeah, two more either side, maybe one more either side. Not sure which yet. Um, and then we're at the point where we need to uh, 
Look at upgrading the ship a bit in a different way. Because this ship's the weirdest ship design I have made. Here we go. Cannons are up. Missiles away. And... Yep. Yeah, Anti-missile weapons are firing. But they're doing absolutely nothing against the fact that we have uh, everything else in them. <clears throat> we have a lot of different weapons right now. We can't beat against one. It needs to be a crew member on that ship and it's spinning, wouldn't you? Can we hit the reactor, please? Thank you! <laughs> oh, That just kept going and going and going. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so we definitely drained the energy from these. So we definitely need more reactors. With 38,000 though, we can definitely afford new reactors. Ship's a bit tight right now, that's the problem. <clears throat> so if we were to place another reactor, hmm, where would you put another reactor? Back here? Then we'd lose some crew in that process, so we'd have to move crew back somewhere else. You know what we could just do? Put another of these things down. Thirteen grand, we can afford a reactor as well. Reactors! Maybe back here by the engines themselves. Nope, can't afford the reactor, so we'll have to hold off on the reactor for now. And we'll come back to that in a little while. So, FTL jump. Take us to another professional area. <coughs> do, 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 do. Missions are on the way. Boom. 75, 85, and... Can we get some power into there? Thank you. Jump. How do we get that fuel? Do we have to buy it or is it just so we charge over time? Here we are! Thank you! Shields up! Take us to attack that guy! And take us in. We have a lot more missiles this time round, so we can... We could just hold our distance anyway and not actually get close. That guy's getting really close to us right now. We're sort of in the middle of a group right now, which is not good for us. We only have shields on the front. We may need more shielding, which we need from our rectors for. Take us in, take it out. <clears throat> Not sure. There is a bisection next to the FDL fuel. Yeah, there's a buy button there, but we never seem to actually have to press it. Unless it auto buys it, maybe. Okay, they've got two normal cannons, two big cannons. We've got two shields, which are not going to be enough to defend against that. But hopefully, our extra missiles and energy draining weapons. The engine drainers are useless against cannons. So, target the big cannons, then the little cannons, and then the reactor. Zoom out a little bit. I want to see those missiles do their job. Here we go. Keep a big eye on that shield there at the front. Oh, engine gone. No! Don't put their hammer towards them. Point that shield at them. Small cannons. It was indeed the ammo between those small cannons. Why give it to Washington? It was, but those big cannons are so dangerous. Okay, what kind of uh, damage did we get? We took 128 from the cannon blast down their armor pieces. That's fine by me at the moment. Don't want to overdo it though, because that can be what kills you if you're not careful. Take us in for another run. <clears throat> this ship needs tearing down and rebuilding though. We've got to the point now. Well, we can't get things in there that we need, and it needs a whole rebuild. But uh, I want about a hundred thousand before we do a rebuild. I think. What do you think? Hundred thousand? Hundred fifty? If we get that far. Coming in. And they want to have cannons and lasers. We've got now and missiles back here, but in a much nicer layout. Ooh. On the other side, this thing here. Kill it, please. Kill it, kill it, kill it fast. Thank you. This weapon is an ion beam. It just, it'll hit the front of our ship, and it'll just drain the hell out of our shields, and then it'll just tear through the ship. So, hopefully, see that with that. <clears throat> Luckily for us, we killed the ship first. <laughs> There we go. And then kill the reactor so it's done. And 
dusted. Right, yep. Yeah. 20,000, we took damage across the front here just because it's a sweeping glance and it's our shields. They are powerful, those things. They are powerful. Oh, lol. <laughs> yep, that's from the. Uh, yep, they are. I think they exploded. <coughs> Best defense of reactor core ever. Yep. Put this here, big laser gun. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> that just me for Like that piece of ammo we tried to kill earlier. It did the same basic thing, didn't it? Right, 57,000. At the very least, let's armor up some bits now that are just not properly armored up. Like that. That. Uh, might as well put a bit of armor there just to help it out. Triangle wedge piece. There. I'm um, happy with that piece, happy with that piece. Would like some armor here. Just in case something gets through. But generally we can't do much more with that. We've got enough power <coughs> for these two reactors. I would prefer a storage device somewhere, but we don't actually need a, a power storage anywhere right now. Our FTL coverage, however, is 50%. So we need an extra FTL drive. There we go. For FTL efficiency. <coughs> it basically makes it cheaper to run the ship that way. Take us in. Let's see what we can do. Da, 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 da. We should look at getting side shields soon. Or rear facing shields. I think we get to the point where we want to tear the ship down and rebuild it. But I want to get to about 100,000 credits so we can build, we can dismantle the ship, get 200k for the ship, plus 100k extra, and then build up. Or maybe go bigger. Stop running away from us. We have four engines. we got to chase you down. Oh, you again. Ah, kill it, please. Goodbye. Tag the reactor. Boom, 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 boom. And gone. And then straight to the one without letting them reload, just for the fun of it. Just for the fun of it. <clears throat> Can we actually tag it our own ship? Goodbye! Don't forget about us! <laughs> yeah, we definitely want uh, a shield about here somewhere pointing forward to help sit the side, and maybe something here to the side. But like I said, we really want to be. This ship's getting a bit squished in now. <clears throat> it wants. I want to make the ship longer. I like the width, but I want to pull this section back maybe and get a bit more room inside. So maybe we won't destroy all of the ship, but we definitely want to get more of the ship run. I also want to put these ammo stores here, behind the gun instead of the side of the gun. But uh, there's no real reason why we have to do that. Here we go. Ooh, hello. What do you got? Small guns? Two large cannons? Um, and two normal lasers? Point defense weapons on the sides? You give me quite a knife for my for my other things, but uh, you know what? I don't overall envision this being bad. Kill it! Missiles away! <clears throat> Ooh, that engine! Kill those big guns! Do they have a shield or something in there? No. We are doing okay actually. We're not out of ammo. We did lose a shield for a second though, so uh, that's a problem. It's just that there's no reactors nearby. Uh, can we kill that? Thank you. <laughs> Go get him, Peter. Thank you, Wifey. <coughs> and done. 27,000. We did take some damage as well, though. Yeah, we lost that shield for a few seconds and they managed to damage that. Whoa, badly damaged that gun. Wow. Okay, well, the thing I wanted to do, and I'm going to do it now then because we can. We've got money for it. Give me the electro gun. Move it forward one square. The other gun, move it forward one square. Um, we can move the fight simulation out of here in a minute. Give me the ammo. Put the ammo storage to the side of that. 
Give me the armor plating. There. <clears throat> so there's a lot more ammo in the local area around these. That will help us out a lot there. Uh, as far as crew quarters go, bringing these crew quarters back one notch each. And we should be able to get another reactor in there. I'm not fond of the reactor being that exposed right now. You know what? Reactor there with the crew quarters there. So the reactors are on the inside of the ship. And then quick access to that. Give me a door. Just in case we need the quick access. That should hopefully do that. We still have the weapons. We haven't changed weapons. We've just given extra ammo to the big guns. <clears throat> if this works out, we could potentially replace this area with something else. It may not work out. We haven't got the cash right now. For oh, we actually have the cash for right now. Could we place some standard cannons there. Like that. If we did that. How bad would that do us? Would that how bad would that be? <clears throat> because small cannons but big cannons? If we lose the shields, which we will do, we can just car our ship right now. So that's not gonna stay. I'm just kinda curious how it'll work. So we'll jump to a another professional. Professional professional? We jump to a professional area, and we'll see how that goes. I don't know if it's going to work out well, though. We'll find out in a moment. Charge up the FDL drives. Do -do -do, do -do -do, do -do -do. Oh no, plain DJ. <laughs> oh well, I was greedy. <clears throat> That's the great thing about the missions of it. It does lure you in, doesn't it? Engage. Oh! And Cosmetia stopped working. Alpha game being alpha. Reload the game. Luckily, there's it it an auto save just before the jump, so we should hopefully be okay. Do, 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 do. <coughs> Loading. Save. There was an auto save just before the jump. The game actually auto saves every time you do a jump to another sector. So, uh,. We can just go straight back to that. In the YouTube series, I could have just loaded up the game from beforehand, but decided let's do something else. Or we could continue it. I haven't decided yet. I am thinking. Engage! Auto save. There we go. Hashtag blame DJ. Always. Hashtag blame DJ. DJ's fault. Okay. Let's go for the guy directly below us. We have extra guns on the front. Whether or not these will help out, we might just drain the ammo a lot faster instead. But uh, I'm sure we'll figure that out in a very, very short space of time. And then we can decide, we can put extra... If we have to deal with this area here, we can put the uh, shield generator there, you see. <laughs> and then hug DJ. Aww. <laughs> All right, go in, take them out, and see what we've got left. we go. So we have one energy weapon, any draining weapon, two normal lasers and you. Go away. Boom. How about missiles? They have missile defense. Yes they do. Missiles away. Boom boom boom. Those missiles are just lethal. It's, all, it's not quite missile spam with only six launchers but we could easily make that like 20 launchers and just Keep our distance and never, never go close to them. But if, you, if you're armored at the front entirely and just have missile launchers all the way down the sides, you can actually just keep your distance because missiles are the longest range weapon of all the weapons. Not going to do, but you could do. <coughs> Full speed, take us in. Bum bombs! Yeah! <coughs> And what do we have? Can you show me the ship we're tagging right now? No? 
Ooh. You're a different design. Kill all of it as fast as possible. Thank you. <coughs> Ooh, yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> and cannons away. <coughs> and run the shield down. Run the shield still operation. And our ammo store held up quite well. Ah, thank you. It drained these ammo stores, but the other ones stayed operational. The cannons never ran out. It did good. I mean, we need more of our producers, I think. No, it's actually a crew quote. It's actually a crew limitation, if you look. Okay, it's actually, it's actually a crew limitation. There's not enough crew to pick up the ammo to get into the stores. Ah. Well, we can help them get out of the crew quarters a bit faster. That'd probably help out. Doors all the way down. Just to help them get out of their places much faster. There we go. Because one of the problems they do have, of course, is they have to pass through all these other buildings to get out. Which, in theory, could slow them down. So, maximum doorage. Doors everywhere. That should get them out. Why is that not on? Why was my symmetry not on? Symmetry! Hashtag Gleam DJ. All the doors, 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 doors. Boom. Loads more doors so they can get through the quarters fast. Because this one here would have to go up and across and then that way and that way and then that way and that way. Just get out. So it was definitely slowing them down. Whether that's the problem or not, we don't know. <clears throat> we'll find out. By attacking someone else. And go. Maximum speed. We have 38,000 in the bank. I would like to get that up a little bit higher before we do enough retrofit, but there we go. Hey, Blind Gaming. How are you doing? <laughs> Love your face. <laughs> Thank you, Blind. How are you doing? Right, close us in. Let's uh, see what damage we can do with this vessel. Dun, 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 dun. <coughs> Don't run away. I only have missiles for you. Here we go. And thank you. Okay, this ship is terrifying. Terrifying is the word for it. Um, it has no actual main weapons to kill us, but it has these, a load of these electro bolts. So... <clears throat> Although the electrobots won't do any damage to our, uh, won't do any power drain to our guns, they will drain our shields and then just do more damage over time. So, how about we just tag it, tag it that reactor. The missiles will go behind and they'll tag that reactor. And given there's no anti-aircraft, kill it and kill it now. Can I zoom out, please? Thank you. Fire. There we go. There we go. Let's watch our shields, by the way. We've already lost one shield now. And they got a second shield. Okay, so we killed that really quickly because I targeted that back. We were only able to do that because we targeted that back reactor with our missiles, which we knew would swing on the back of them. But uh, yeah, it drained both of our shields instantly. And we took a very small amount of damage to just it focus its fire on that cannon. Had we been a laser based uh, ship? We'd have had all of our lasers taken out pretty quickly and we wouldn't even be able to fight back. I'm going to be playing Payday 2, so I can't actually pay attention because death is everywhere. I haven't played Payday 2. I have got it in my Steam collection, but I haven't played it yet. Is it any good as a, as a game overall? They say that just so you have to stop playing it to type the message and then get yourself killed. <laughs> because I'm a little bit evil that way. Attack! <coughs> do 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 do. My mute hotkey doesn't work in the stream version. I'll have to update that. Take it in full speed. <coughs> and da -da 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 another one. And an FTL capable one. Kill the back engine. He has got lasers as well, so uh, same mechanism. Missiles around the back. 
and make it ass it. Or we move the front. It's also an option. Oh, I was not expecting to be that fast, so to tell you the truth. <clears throat> I was not expecting to be that fast. <clears throat> okay. So what upgrade should we do, guys? What upgrade should we do? Because we can put on more missiles. We can put on more cannons. We can go to laser weapons. We can go for ion beams. We've got 89,000. So we're almost at that point where we're going to be doing the retrofit. So let me know what you think. We'll jump to this professional. Clear the professional out. Then we'll jump to the amateur to test out our new design when, we come, when we've built the new design. More missiles, more cannons, or lasers and beams. See us on the side and back. Shields on the side and back. It's really hard to fit them in without rifle fitting the ship though. <clears throat> but we'll do it. Do 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 do. We should have painted the ship at some point as well. Uh, target the one out there, he's all by himself, he's vulnerable. Seems like a good target to start with. Do do do. <clears throat> do some sense about it, I haven't ever put sense on the ship yet. And hello, hello, demo. Kill them, kill them. Thank you. Goodbye. And boom, <laughs> they just met from both sides. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. 114,000? Take us in. Hey there, Van Gaming, says Chameleon. Here we go, and. Oh, it's the guy with a big gun on the front. And a reactor exposed to the side. Yeah, goodbye. Don't expose your reactors. That's all, all I can say, over and over again. Missiles! Thank you! The cannon's still there, by the way. Goodbye, cannon! I wish we could salvage the the, uh, the parts and also uh, save the people. You know, it'd make you more willing to put these kind of weapons in your ship. Although it did do some damage to us. Also about time to get more missile storage as well. <clears throat> 129,000. Kill these two or so we don't have to deal with them. Push the nacelles back even more. Do you want more missile storage or more missile producers? Because they have enough room for one of either type, basically. Ooh, this one looks interesting. Uh... What is the big green circle? <clears throat> what well, that one there? That green circle? That's the reactor core. It's where all the power for the ship comes from. And that's their reactor core. And that's gonna go away. Because this ship is awkward to kill by the look of it, so just focus on coring the ship out. Fire! Right, our shields are taking a pounding right now. Ooh! Those missiles got wrapped in all the shields. I was not expecting that even for a second. <clears throat> so yeah, more missiles. I mean, look at that. all our storage is empty, so we could probably do with extra... Uh, do we want extra producers or extra storage? I'm leaning towards storage myself, actually. Have any been circles around your ship? Oh, that one. Um, that's just our, I think that's just our sensor range, maybe? Or just our build area, because it's kind of around the ship's design, isn't it? It might just be our, like, our, our build perimeter. Although we can build in front of it, it's just, I don't know. Basically, I haven't got a clue. I think it's just that, I think it's just a circle where you're supposed to try and keep your build in. Oh, hello. Goodbye. 
Watch our shields, we need to go find this, by the way. Bing, 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 bing. Ow. Um, that ship didn't actually have any explosive weapon. That was our own missile, wasn't it? That was our own missiles. Damn it. <coughs> Move the engine nacelles back. Add in four more missile storage sections and two more missile factories. Add shielding. Okay, well, let's start with that first. So, pull that back. Right, so start off with... Move the enemy missile back. Add four more missile storage sections and two more missile factories. Okay, we'll do what you say. Missile storage, there, and there. We have a missile factory between them, like that. So that's a missile... Oh, no, actually. There we go, because there's two missile factories either side. That'll keep it all nice and going. Uh, we could probably even put an extra one there just for fun of it, more than anything else. Um, make it actually really long right now, which I'm not, I have no problem with doing. <clears throat> if you're going to do that though, you really want to get to the point of, you know, more missiles. Just there, like that, maybe. Uh, then, of course, you need corridors for them, because, you know, if you're going to have missiles, you need to have corridors. Like that. That just, that just makes sense all the way. And then, of course, you need to armour it. It's maybe too expensive to do, by the way. We're 74,000 already. Haven't even put a single engine on it yet. <clears throat> okay, so then we want some nacelles. So nacelles... I kind of want to have them like this. Stepped out a bit, like that. Yep, two, two. That'll do us fine. Like that. Now, if it works, I want... Reverse thrusters back here. Like that. Forward thrusters back here. Like that. I want turning thrusters, which would be normal thrusters now. Like that. We only need to upgrade crew and everything at this point, but they're fine. Don't worry about it. We need a power reactor back here as well. Just to power the uh, engines. Corridor down there. 152. We're very, 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 very much pushing it right now. Don't worry about it. I'll, I can arm this out later on. Um, that's fine. <coughs> uh, da -da -da -da. Fire extinguisher because we're getting to the ever, ever more capable explosion. Um, there would actually be better for it. Boom. And we had another one there, and another one there. No reason not to have them around. They're not expensive. There we go. Now we need more crew members. <coughs> so crew members, crew members, crew members. We should put them out here again. Just make this like a little crew pod area. We can't afford all the crew members, unfortunately. So armor. That one there. Armor. Just there for a moment. Wedge it. And. Come on, we can fit this in, right, guys? We are over by. So small amount of being over. Delete that piece of armor there. Give me. Uh, where's a scaffolding thingy? Scaffolding thingy! Okay, we can't put a cavern in the thing it's going to be a hole. That is our entire ship. We don't have the crew to run it just yet, fully. <clears throat> but we have the crew possibility. Look at the crew go. <laughs> okay, so we haven't got the crew to run the ship at full capacity. But we will do soon. Because once we jump, we're going to get some money to, re to buy crew with. And that's literally all we're going to do is buy crew... We can arm this area up later on, it's not an issue with uh, anything there. And look how much faster they run now that they've got actual room to move in as well. <laughs> okay, so... Let them keep supply. Missiles are all up to date. Cannons are good. I want to bump this out. I want this, this I want to come out not too far, 
But a little like Battlestar Galactica with the little landing pods. Which is why I went to push this forward at some time as well. But they'll do that once we jump. You're an anti installation in your ship. It does look like that, doesn't it, sometimes? Jump to the amateur area, bit of cash for crew, and then uh, then we'll move on to the next section. They're going down here for power, though. Engage! We need more uh, reactors near the front of the ship. Those are, those are, and they're triples. <laughs> okay, power up. Shields up. Thank you. And target that guy over there. Could we turn the ship around, please? Once again, I don't really want to go flying towards the enemy backwards. Thank you. <clears throat> do 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 do. do. This needs armor so badly. Take us in. We want a lot more forward engines as well just to get down there faster, but uh, for now, this is doing us kind of weirdly. Okay, don't actually care about this ship overall because you're not a powerful ship, but because it's an amateur area. But what we do care about is how much damage will missiles do when you have that many of them? One quarter speed. <laughs> Here they go. Oh, can we zoom in, please? Thank you, mouse. Ooh, they missed. Here they go. Here they go. Ooh, those tanker guns are pretty good. Not good enough. <laughs> oh, look at our stars right now. <clears throat> Oh, it's just going to ages to reload now. <laughs> I do feel a bit weird that the missile launching people are facing away from the weather firing. It's like, if that misfires, maybe not. Your ship is so mighty. <laughs> My ship is so vulnerable right now. <clears throat> okay, here's the flaw with the design. If a, a barrage comes through here, these are not armoured, and if they're severed, we have no engines for navigation, so we're just spinning, we can't control anything. If a bullet hits any of this section here, this is highly explosive. There's no armour. These are not armour, these are these are missile bays. <clears throat> if we get hit by an energy draining weapon, that takes these two shield generators out, they can, the guns can come straight through here, there's no armour again. And these are highly explosive. These are highly explosive. These are highly explosive. Our ship is a tinderbox just waiting to go. <laughs> go! But it's a fun one that that... Oh, actually, we can actually hire the extra crew we wanted, can't we? It's already done it for us. Excellent. No, we actually needed... We need to build more crew quarters. That was it. Um, I'm going to put a couple of crew quarters back here, I think. Just to sort of help out. Yeah. Crew quarters there. And because we can. Extra storage of weapons. We can't afford that just yet. So we'll do that. Uh, when it says we can afford it. I'm going to actually. Put doors. In these places. Up to our crossover. Um, and ammo store there. Doors all the way up. So that they can get out to the. Uh, missiles faster. That should do it for them. Yep, these new ones need doors as well to help them get out of the bedroom faster into the main ship. Move that door at the firing because that's actually no reason at all for that to be there. Okay. <clears throat> we can't afford that yet. We need 38,000 so we can just unpause and commit that change once we get the 38,000. Right. What are you doing? All oh, right, we ran out of power in one of the engines. That's why I need crew back there. And now the ship's trying to take... I also need another engine back here. Because it'll stop them trying to drive backwards. The game detects that it's actually as fast to travel in that direction. Um, <clears throat> it's as fast to travel in 
that direction, either facing a direction, because we have four engines facing each way. The thing is, one of those directions has your shields facing away from the enemy. <laughs> oh. It only works for one less than a billion. Oh. Dun, 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 Full speed. Close in, fight all the missiles and the sea. Could you ever pay for missiles, by the way? Kill it. And then reload. Look at the flood of crew, though, coming back. <clears throat> that's actually one of the bigger problems, getting the crew back this way. So that's kind of why I want to do this. So we prepare. We need 47 to make the build now. We've got those engines in the list. Thanks to the game trying to reverse the ship all the time. Take us in. Peter. Peter's going for power where Cry went for symmetry. I've never tried missiles. Missiles are pure power. I love symmetry, though. It actually hurts me a little bit that this is not symmetrical here. <clears throat> but I want to strip the ship down at some point and rebuild it, but it's like, when do you do that? What's the point in which you do that? Ouch! <laughs> 44,000. 47 is what we need. This one ship should be enough to finish off the build. Why? 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 Ship, just why? Turn around. Now kill it. And... <coughs> well then, there we go! Enough money for the upgrade! We have... We have crew! Back here! Da, 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 da. <clears throat> we have eight grand we could spend on uh, armoring the engines, and I think it's worth doing if we can afford that. So let's do it. Da, 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 da. Can we have, can we actually arm this area properly? I think we can because we're going to do it. Right, that one goes there, there, there. And there. And... Like that. I know it's insufficient funds, but we'll uh, have the funds when we uh, kill some more things, so don't worry about them. There we go. We don't need these to be this big, by the way. I just find them better big. In fact, we could get away with some of the... Um, some of these. They are cheaper. For this kind of area. Don't need that flashing red piece. Go away. Thank you. And we need Disney's armoring at some point as well. Pretty soon. 14,000 required. Okay. <clears throat> That's not how to do that. And it does look quite nice having these like wedges. So we need 14,600 to be able to fully rearm the ship. So let's move on. Don't want to have amateur one. We've done the amateur layer. Professional. <clears throat> Charging! Engage. <laughs> Welcome to Gamma Paris. Here we go, swing around, we need 17, 14,600 to armour the engines, and a little bit more to armour the nacelles. <clears throat> These never be fully armoured due to the uh, thrusters, unfortunately, but that's just a, a downside you have with nacelles. Take us in, and once we've done this one, I think we'll be looking at going to maybe a, a veteran level this time around. Who, oh, um, kill. Bye! 23,000! Prepare, build, and build. <clears throat> you know what? 
No, I don't like the look of those. Let's put proper armor in place. Yeah, that's all right. Don't mind. Don't mind. It's fine. Um, we were replacing those with bigger engines anyway. There we go. See, that was always going to happen. <laughs> What's that? Thing? We have a massive uh, crew shortage right now. We can't really buy a new crew. They're expensive, but uh, we could output this a bit more. This is looking really weird, and I kind of like the fact it does this because I like the sort of the pattern it's making. I want to push this out a bit more as well. This is a fact. We're not going any further out with this <coughs> at all. I know we can't afford it yet. We'll be able to afford it when we can. Ninety-eight thousand more crew than we need. Doors for everyone. There we go. So we need 100,000 to make that upgrade. We're going to make that upgrade. But if we can, zoom out. Thank you. Go kill that, please. <clears throat> if we can make that upgrade, we'll make the upgrade. If we can't, we might end up building a new ship. The question is, do we build a new ship? And if we do build a new ship, do we build it with a focus around any particular weapon type? And I am aware I haven't put shields up yet. Don't worry about that. <clears throat> the BTX Hammerhead. <laughs> it does a little bit, doesn't it? Kill that reactor, it's at the back. It's just another easy type to hit. Give me one quarter speed. Focus on that. Let's just see its uh, ultimate demise, shall we? <clears throat> Here we go. Missiles coming from behind. Good to they don't collide with each other, isn't it? Our shields are down. And that ship is gone. And then, yeah, so our shields are down due to that energy weapon thing. <clears throat> I want more shields at the front as well, which is uh, one of the hard parts right now. But we're okay. We're getting there. Boop. <clears throat> we're winning. Uh, I think the cheat overlay broke. Did it. Did you break? Did it break? Okay, Streamlabs. One second, I will check that with your click up Streamlabs open and open Streamlabs. <coughs> Just double check them. Because there it is. Reasons. Give me the alert box. Give me a test. Yep, I think the, I think the system's broken. So, one second. I should refresh it. Try again. Okay. Yep, their, uh, their system broke. I just had to reset it really quickly. So, as a result... Bloop. PTTX Hammerhead. Thank you, Miss Washington, for the bit. <laughs> and also letting me know that the uh, the overlay was broken. Blue head, we're going in. <coughs> yeah, the whole TM has, uh, has grown a little bit, hasn't it? <laughs> Here we go. And really? That one's getting really close up. Oh, that one's coming right at us. It's coming for us, sir. Um you know what? At this stage with our current weapons, target the reactor straight out right. I mean we don't even have to get into weapons range anymore. We just went into laser range or cannon range, we just need to uh let our missiles do the job. I think missiles are a little bit OP. Um, at the moment, what do you think? <laughs> I 
Camera focus on the red dot. Thank you. Do 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 do. He's trying to run away. <coughs> we get it. There it is. Ooh, you're new. I've seen you before. Oh, we have. We have seen you before, actually. A lot of engines, though. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Ba -ba -ba -ba. PTTX Hammerhead. Thank you, Miss Washington. <laughs> you already said that one, though. <laughs> Alright, so, <clears throat> can we zoom in? Thank you. Right, so what's wrong with this design so far? I think there's the shielding that's missing really, isn't it? 81,000? We're good for crew, good for power. FTL efficiency is quite low. Insufficient funds to do the upgrade I asked it to do. 103,000, well, well. 103,000 is what we need. 103,000 is what we need. Engage. Zoom. Attack. The ship already by itself, right in front of us. Let's go. Do 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 Oh, hello. They have cannons. Do 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 Thing is. I'm thinking that the missiles are so OP that we just can't we, that we can't lose just by targeting their reactors. Hmm. So, <clears throat> then the question is applied. Do we just stop using missiles? Or do we just go for something really, really hard? I also haven't, I purposely haven't repaired the ship this time around. Let's go for all three of these without repairing, shall we? I think, actually, these two are going to be a single battle. Because we're going to get close enough to trigger the battle, and I think both might be caught up in it. No? They separated last second. But it's gonna be close. Beep. Go. What is beeping on this thing? Kill it. Kill it. Thank you. Ow. Our own missiles just shot into us. Look at they don't detonate when our own missiles hit us. Oh. Sorry about that. Lots of cars, or however I badly pronounce that. Thank you for the follow. Ooh. Oh, that's not good. Um, yeah. Take out that, then that. The same situation as before. Big reactor next to the gun. <coughs> yeah, missiles are massively OP. Please tell me how badly I pronounce your name, by the way. Uh, lots of car. Lots. Lots of car. I sorry, I have no idea. You have to let me know how to pronounce it, please, in the uh, in the chat. And uh, I'll then learn how to pronounce it, and then apologise. I can do it for Renna Sian. <clears throat> okay, here we go. I'm closing in from the final target in the sector. Oh, hello. Uh, kill that. Missiles away. Can we zoom out, please? Oh, good. Plus or minus work. Fine. <clears throat> Bye. We have the money to repair. And the money to upgrade. <clears throat> so much crew. <laughs> So the plan right now is to, well not plan, but the plan for build is to build these forward and uh, <clears throat> so the weapons are kind of out a little bit with a shield emitters on here as well just to help protect it a little bit. But there we go. We are going to need some more FTL drivers as well. This is massively under uh, underpowered FTL wise. I mean we are at 42% efficiency 
and it's the it's in the cells that need power that need an FTL bump, which as you can probably imagine that makes sense. <clears throat> so if we put that there, reactor can go there. Yeah, FTL drives there. Reactor can be moved to there. More doors in everywhere. There we go. We have FDL efficiency of 100. Well, close to 100 anyway. <coughs> the anti-infestation has been re has returned. <laughs> it has a little bit. It's, it's cute though. Let these guys back here all by themselves. Okay, begin the FDL jump. Shall we go veteran this time round? I say we go veteran this time round. <coughs> Boop! Veteran jump. We do not have the shields for a veteran jump. But it's going to be fun to try it anyway. <coughs> Come on, guys! These pack two here. Who's powering these up? You why why? There's reactors right next to it. They could use the reactors there. Gah, people, people. Engage. And here we are. Do 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 do. Take us in. Okay, so go. Closing. Kill that target. It's a veteran, so we've never tried this before. They may have superior shielding or weapons that we've never seen. So... Whoa. Hello. Okay, so they have a really weird... <clears throat> engine set up. And then a load of cannons. And shield generators. But a load of cannons. Okay, well all we can really do here is target their reactor cores. Because we have to pummel the entire ship at this point. Give me half speed. I'm kind of interested how this is going to play out. Also, yeah, that's fine. Take us in. <clears throat> Don't ram them this time round, please. Oh, engine fired. Engine weapon fired. Okay, we've got to push out for that. Let's say at least one of our missiles hit our own hull then for a second. And come on, sever that, sever that line. They are now two ships. <laughs> they are indeed two ships. Here we go. One speed. They haven't fired a single round at us yet, have they? Not yet, okay. <clears throat> Why are you not firing us? I mean, you're a veteran ship, you should most definitely be firing us. We're firing you. <laughs> okay, and the final one. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, now we're going to kill whatever that is. There we go. Target destroyed. I wonder why they didn't fire us. We fired at them, so we're definitely in the uh, cannon range. Are they cannons? Hmm. Really odd. Would have been an impressive battle if they had it done, though. Target the enemy up there and take us in. <clears throat> nice. Thank you, Ivy. Forward. I wonder if there's a way to cut the ship in two and then spice. I'd love to just cut the ship there, pull that bit forward, and then move do some more stuff in here. But I don't think there will be. Here we go. Ooh, hello. You're different. You've got lasers all the way down the front 
and a reactor right there. Cannons. We've exposed ammo stores. Because that makes sense. Okay, um, target, fire. That says, Miss Washington, thanks for the bit. It says, oh, oh hello, ship. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you're gone. Target that one. We'll move on to the next target. And then we'll do the repair. I don't know what damage we've taken, but I think it's on here from our own uh, missiles. I saw one go into the hole. I think this is just a little bit too close. Hello! What do we have here? A pretty much tiny little ship with no real damage. Okay. It's got a shield, but it's got very little weapon rise. You're a veteran. Ooh! Those missiles have called that ship out. Didn't think it'd go like that. Right, we're heading straight to the next target without uh, reloading. This should reload by the time we get there because it's quite a long run. And then we can repair 205,000 in the bank, by the way. Which means we could, if people are wanting it, rebuild the whole ship. Or we can just upgrade it. Da -da 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 we need sensors on this ship. Cannot see where we're far enough ahead. Oh, hello. What are you uh, making? Cannon, 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 cannon. Target. The reactors. And... Thank you! <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Our ship might be a little OP right now with the, with the weapons. Unless we take on two at a time. What do we actually damage? We've got damage on that front armour there. That's fine then. Any more veterinarians? Vanguard. Don't know vanguards. Amateur. Nope. Elite. Elite. Veteran. I like the sound effect of the FTL drive. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> back two again. Back one this time around, actually. Come on, someone take power to it. It's right there. Reactor's there. You're over here. You what? Someone's gonna go to a reactor down here and take one. That one there, look. That. Why? 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 I have no idea why. There's a reactor right next to the place. <laughs> and then get the shields up. We need more shields on the front here anyway. You know what? We could probably do that now while we're waiting. Right, so, if we were to place a power storage blob <coughs> there, we could then put a shield generator there and there, and then, so this is not complete, so I'm just planning a corridor down here, like that. With reactors moved there. So the reactors moved rather than destroyed. And we put a small bunk in that gap there just to fill in the space. Doors in all the places. Like that. And. A little bit of armor just in case we do take some damage. With a wedge. We call it the wedge. 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 Ooh. Wedge. And this side, the other side. Did, 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 boom. And then a triangle. <clears throat> there we go. Shield generators are in place. 
They're not perfect by any means, but they'll uh, hopefully keep us a uh, keep us a running for a little bit there. <clears throat> Look at all those people just taking power straight over to there. There we go. They're not overlapping anything right now, which I would prefer them to. And these guys can now run face straight forward. But uh, for the most part, we're going to face it forward anyway, so it's not really going to hurt us. Uh, I think Rob Pete sometimes picks up on certain people on a day. <laughs> yeah. Um, what is it? <clears throat> I think it was something that DJ kind of worked out that the first person into a mission generally loses, and the second one in generally wins if there's only, if there's only two people in a mission. <clears throat> so. Uh, Maybe think, into, think about that one. <laughs> Come on, there we go. Right, ooh, what do we have? You're a different design. You're a bigger design. Ooh. This is our first big size ship. Loads of these. Um, energy drainer weapons. Cannons galore. Target. Um, target that, actually. If missiles get from behind, target that reactor or that reactor. In fact, half speed, I want to see these missiles do their job properly. Uh, <clears throat> okay guys, time for bed. Amusement time tomorrow. Have a good night, you all. Good night, Chameleon. Enjoy the uh, amusement park. Have fun. Missiles away! <clears throat> Here they come. That's what I was hoping for, the missiles to get behind the ship. And just hollow our section out. That would be very nice. Thank you. Now we've lost our shields on the front. No, our shields are still up, remarkably. But uh, if we just keep targeting their reactors, that'd be great. We're actually holding up really nicely as well. Target that one though, would be great. That one there's probably easy to get at. Right there, come on guys. <clears throat> we'll look at our damage afterwards. Oh, look at that. There we go. All of their reactors were way too close to each other. We had uh, that was a very very easy uh, kill once if once we exposed one of the reactors. Although it was kind of hard to get the reactors exposed though. <clears throat> like give them plus one for the design on that one. Now how much damage do you think we took? Let's have a look shall we? Our ship. Blub. What damage did we take? 2000 damage to this piece here. So armor damage there. <clears throat> okay. Gun took some damage. Gun took some damage. And shields damage. So yeah, basically they were able to uh, hit us quite hard and take our shields off on them. Which I kind of said they would do eventually. If we could, this is kind of pushing it, if we could get another shield generator there. We'd have to lose one of the ammo stars to do it, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to lose that gun, don't want to lose that either. If we move those guns to face forward, I can put this there without losing anything. Let's try that. Gun, laser beam, well, stun beam. Put them side by side, right? And then we could probably get another shield generator right next to them. There. Like that. And then we could probably arm in front of the shield generator. Well, that'd be kind of a wedge, wouldn't it? Where those guns are going to be kind of annoyed. That's an extra shield generator in there. That means we have a triple lay instead of a double lay on the uh, on the shield. So hopefully that'll help us out a lot. Make it so. Wasn't me exploding. <laughs> um. Okay. See. Night, everyone. Uh. Da -da 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 -da. He didn't read my message. I have to read a lot of messages, uh, Ollie. Um, well, I guess Peter won't know why I'm not really here next Friday. Yes, he will. He has to read a lot of messages, though. Uh, da -da 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 da <coughs> Mostly now we're going to go up at 3 a.m. to catch a flight tomorrow. Night, all. Still doesn't tell me where you're going, though, Ollie. But enjoy your flight wherever you're going. Um. His loss. Sorry it gave me a headache t today. Been too busy two weeks straight. Night all. Night Ollie. Goodbye. Enjoy your flight. Uh, because you forgot again. Uh, hope you're feeling better soon, Miss Washington. 
And Renesian's back! Renesian! How's it like? It's still uh, oozy doozy. Spain for a week. Ooh, very nice. Enjoy Spain. It's a nice place. It's a bit, uh, a bit on the warm side, but it's not uh, too bad, heat wise. I like Spain. Du -du 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 -du. Hi, back. <laughs> T -t -t aching. Ah! Legs, eh? <coughs> Full speed. Take it up there. Let's uh, <coughs> see what our new shields can do against the uh, extra one. We have extra level shields. We will need more power generators at the front of the ship. Oh, hello. You're kind of cute as a ship, aren't you? They have missiles. Okay. They have missiles. Save. Okay, we'll save in a minute. <coughs> they have missiles. We have... A lot of missiles, we can do a lot of damage to them, they can do damage to us. We don't have any anti-missile defences. Now we're seeing these for the first time, it would be a good idea for us to target, to start putting anti-missile defences in place. Also we need point defence. Literally just said that. Thank you Mr. Washington Toad! <laughs> Alright, let's kill them as fast as we can. Here comes missiles. Looking for us, right at our shield. Or looking for them, right up their ass. Those missiles just turned around just while we're trying. What a shame. There we go. 40,000. And now it's time to start putting missile defences in place. Okay, missile defences. Missile defences. Point defence. These will require a crew member to operate them. So that's fine, but we just need to put them... Put one here near our actual um, missile launchers. So I'll spin around the back there. Um, yeah, so a few at the back will do fine. And I can't really put any at the front easily. <clears throat> so we'll put one there. But so it's inside the shield arc, really. Um, there isn't really anywhere to put them. Ooh, what we could do? It's a stupid thing we could do. <laughs> This is so stupid. Uh, armor. <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. There we go. <laughs> Point defense modules. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's stupid. I like it. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> uh, knees still aching. Went to rest again. Seems legit. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? <laughs> I like that. Those are... I'm actually surprised there's no crew inside them. I thought they need a crew member to fire the weapon. But no, apparently not. So what I've learned so far is you need a person to fire a cannon, need two people to fire a cannon, you need a person to fire a laser beam, you need a person to launch, two people to launch missiles, but a point defense system tracking an incoming missile can be done automatically without a person. <coughs> okay. Also, one person can fire the whole ship. Here we go, and do they have missiles? We just spent all that money on missile defense and they have nice missiles. I'm really glad we spent that money on missile defenses. Let's destroy their reactors while we can though. <clears throat> Give me a quarter speed. I want to see if our uh, point defense system works. Uh, let's go half speed until they fire and then full speed until they fire. Then quarter speed. And let's see our ship design. Here we go. Quarter speed. Where are their missiles? Here they go. Oh, they took our shields. How come that's going to kill our missiles? Oh, it's going to be so... That shield went down, and that shield there held. And then... We hollowed out their ship. Ow! <laughs> so much fire. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, kill the reactor! Thank you, missile! Oh, one speed. Pick up the repair. The only damage we took that was that and them. I honestly thought we were going to take a lot more damage from that. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> we're going to ram them. Admitted there was more fight on our hull from their hull exploding. <laughs> I wasn't, really wasn't expecting that. Here we go. What is it going to be? So we need more point defense because that point defense was okay, but it didn't really take out enough of the missiles. I hate this ship. It's the dual laser things that caused me so much pain before. Lucky for me, your reactor cores are right behind your head, so kill that. Kill it as fast as you can. With missiles if we have to. Hi! <clears throat> Hello, the ship there. <laughs> oh, these missiles are way too powerful. I am enjoying them way too much. Okay, so these weren't powerful enough, right guys? So, logically, if they weren't powerful enough, you need more of them. You don't need doors between them, though. They, have, they can have their own door. No, they actually need that door there. That's fine. Go for it. Zip. Push that out of the way. <laughs> <coughs> Bye, debris. <laughs> now we need shields lower on the hammerhead section. We can't really do it about taking out a crew quarters, but what about a crew? We need more crew anyway. If we build some crew back here, we could probably spare a piece there. Hmm. Maybe. If anything gets behind us, we'll definitely do it. So we're attacking, we're going to go for veterans. Let's try another veteran one, shall we? <clears throat> I think we actually need a shield by our missile bay, really, but we don't have anything in this area. And we'd have to lose a missile for it. Here we go! It's going to be that one again, isn't it? Yep, always that one. I tend to think that might be better if we just put a, a thingy there, a battery there instead. I could do that actually. I could put a battery there as well as. If there's, if there's a battery there, then maybe it won't send them running to the other side of the ship to get the thing. Right there. Full speed, just recharge the batteries, and then we're good to start engaging the enemy. Okay, target that one first. <clears throat> did it, did it, did it, did Why do you not have power? Did I put a door on you? Sure, I put a door. No, I did uh, delete the door, didn't I? I was putting new doors in. It's fine. No one saw anything. Go. No one saw anything, it's all fine. <laughs> He's running away. It's always fun. Seen you before. What? Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Just send it away. Right, reload the ship. We can go. What is that link, by the way, Miss Washington? That you put there? Boop. <laughs> I'm gonna ram him. I'm gonna. <laughs> Na, 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 na. <coughs> bum, 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 
Bye. Oh, hello. You look like a. Well, you look really weird. You look like a piece of bread that's been out in the sun too long. Kill it! There they go. Miss up the way. And. Well, I suppose some of it's left. That count. Do 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 Yes, we're getting a lot of rewards for these big ships. We have almost a million. <clears throat> we got well, actually, we have more because if we sell that ship, we get roughly half the value of the ship back, and we got uh, five hundred twenty thousand in the bank. So we've got a million basically to build a new ship with if we want to build a new ship. <clears throat> the thing is, when this ship fails, it'll fail spectacularly. So, oh, come on, we can do it. And. Oh, hello, you're completely new. Can we target your reactor and your other reactor? Thank you. Goodbye. It's very nice the way they've done the shielding, by the way. I like how they've done the shielding. The shielding looks like it's spinning. And how many is it damage? There, that shield went down. Almost destroyed. Ooh, actually lost something there. Eight grand. That did good on us. Well, good for you. Here we go. <clears throat> so, yeah, I think we are getting close to the rebuild. We're going to save before we do to see if we get a decent ship out of it. So the question is, when we do the rebuild, do we want cannons on the front or lasers on the front? I'm, I'm going to keep the missiles. I like the missiles, they're good. But do we go with uh, cannons or lasers on the front? Bop, bop. Bop, bop. Bop, bop, space sharks. <laughs> space sharks! <laughs> Took damage here. There must have been a gap to get through. Okay. <clears throat> do, 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 do. So the next up stage up is Elite and then Vanguard. Vanguard are the hardest ones, but look at that. So another veteran one. Get ourselves a bit more cash and then we make a jump to a uh, to an Elite area and see if this ship can survive an Elite run. We might need the extra shields by then. <clears throat> really? Battery right there, you could have taken from the battery, but you chose. There you go! There was one hiding from me, I can see him doing it. Vanguard! Yeah, we really could do with the extra shields though, couldn't we, Mr. Washington? So if we put the extra crew in place then, like you said, back here. Like that. They are vulnerable, but no one should ever get behind us to hit that. We can then put in some shields over here. We're taking a crew port out to do it. Uh, there? No, probably be a bit further up. I would prefer it to be side on here, though. <clears throat> put it there. Put another one there. That'll help out there, and then we have side on shields can go there. It's not full coverage, but it definitely helps out. And uh, that's about all we can do when it comes to shielding. And then we need more power, because shields take power. Put two vectors back here instead of one. Um, not really anywhere to put a extra spare reactor. Let's put it there. 
Don't like it there though. Um, <clears throat> there really isn't a place to put a spare reactor, that's a problem. So I think we'll just temporarily have to do without that. But uh, it's not a long term solution, we are going to need to put something in. You know what? Give me a reactor there. Give me a arm out in front of it. Like that. That'll do it. Uh, angles, because I do like the angles on these ships. Boom. And then... Triangle wedge there. For no reason other than it looks better. Like that. And then fire... And if I have point defence, can just go there because it makes sense to put it there with a corridor down the back of it, like that. There we go. We have point defence still, and we have the armour. And I can put another point defence there. Put your forward one. Don't need another point defence there. We're good. Okay. And we fight the mission there, and okay, everything looks like it's pretty decent. Fight to Monsieur. There, because it was weird. Have that. Extra shields, Mr. Washington. There you go. <clears throat> there we go. This shouldn't be a vulnerable area due to the angle required, but uh, just in case they do, it's hopefully there. Target that ship and let's see how we do. <laughs> Come on, stop running away. Ooh, you're a fast one. We definitely can't run away from you. And dual shields and cannons. And the lasers that burn for your shields. If only we had some kind of way to, you know, kill you really hard. Ooh. Remember those engines you used to have? There we go. You did do some damage, though. What did you hit us? You hit us with two grand there. Really? No. Look, you hit us over here as well. You took out those point defense guns. I suppose there's no shielding there for that. That's fine. 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 Full speed. Take them. Do, 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 do. Oh, didn't mean to pause. I'm to slow down. Let's see what do we have. Mission, mission, mission. Boss challenges. No one waiting. No one wanting a mission. But yeah, yeah. No, no. <clears throat> Don't forget there is a uh, free for all as well, which is basically the challenge, but for everyone to get involved in. It's just exclamation mark FFA. Foxtrot, Foxtrot Alpha. Try that. Uh, maybe someone will join you on that one, uh, DJ. Do, do. Do, 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 do. You have to do one less. Hey! <coughs> Pretty sure it's FFA, is it? Or did I rebrand it? One second. I may have rebranded it because no one was using it. Uh, Paul Bear Arena. It's called uh, Challenge All. Yeah, I did actually rebrand it because it wasn't getting used, so I don't think people knew what FFA stood for. Do Challenge All. Do 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 Did did I have that on turbo or did we just have like loads of weapons and I didn't realise it? Yeah, so challenge all is how you enter the the battle royal rumble, whatever you want to call it. But it's a free for all battle and anyone can join and you need more than one person in it and there's only me in it. So if anybody wants in, exclamation mark challenge all. Deadly and a mission. Always a mission. Here we go. Coming into the ship. No space, CJ. Challenge all. Dun, 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 dun. Stop running away. Stop running. There we go. Oh, it's you again. Hi. Um, kill that piece there, please. Missiles away. Ooh. Literally about right for the engines just carved a hole through the ship. 
shipping. Well then, <clears throat> take us in. Do, 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 do. Yay, challenge all. I don't think you get a prompt if you're the second person in, but uh, that's just, just the gate and just the thing for you. That is it though, that's challenge all. I just don't think the game gives you, don't think the bot gives you a prompt just yet. Target, that one I feel is to be the easiest one to hit. I think that one afterwards. Oh, they have missile launchers. Well, how are our missile anti missile things doing? There they are. Come on, guys. Yes. Yes. Anti missile defenses work great. Can you kill that reactor, please? Oh. There we go. <laughs> what damage did we take? We took damage to that front end there again. Very nice. Means we're not taking much damage, and when it is, it's only a bit of armor. Okay, the combatants have skipped into the arena. Who will emerge victorious? The combatants are going to head to head in the arena. You can hear the weapons clashing. Sparks fly. Suddenly, a sandstorm erupts. And the dust finally settles. Only one emerges. Me. <laughs> okay. So, we save, <coughs> we save, we save, and we save. We also save the ship because the TM MK2 has had a few upgrades since the last time it was saved. And then we go elite. <coughs> Swing us around and take us in. And that one there. Come on. Thank you. Engage. Thrum. Right, there are only three ships here this time around. We're going to go for the one bottom corner, which is all by itself, and we'll see if we have a chance in hell beating the elite. <coughs> Take us in. <coughs> 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 Here we go, here we go. So we have missile spam, we have cannons, we have energy draining weapons. I could do with some more energy draining weapons, really. But there we go. Right, so first target <coughs> is going to be that, because it, it'll drill that out, hopefully. And then that afterwards. Okay, I'm happy with that. Give me a quarter speed. I want to see uh, this done properly. Here we go. <laughs> Cannon bullets are already firing. Explosions on the back end there caused by our own missiles again. Looks like we don't seem to get damage from that, but still annoying. Here we go. Missiles missing. <coughs> they swing around the back and then they'll come back afterwards. Can we can we back up a bit please? Please! Reverse thrusters! And now they're through our shields. On the plus side, we've basically hollowed them out. But uh, they actually go through the shields when they do that. Come on guys, any more things? Speed it up. Full speed. There we go, 65,000. We need to take some damage though. 1,000 there where the cannon shell came through and a little bit over there I'm guessing the same thing happened over there either way <clears throat> let's go back into another one haha so the top points are DJ, Wifey, Miss Washington, Toad, Captain Cors and Blind Gaming <clears throat> I wish there was a way to change the shield axe. I'd love to be able to change these to be a little bit more on the edge. Less, uh, you know, dead. Target the reactors at the back, <coughs> then the reactors at the front. Although, <coughs> looking at this, actually, no, it's the other way around. Target that reactor, 
then that reactor. Because th these need to go. These are just evil. They just eat at your shields. He's in. Take him out. Oh, that's fun. So much stuff to take out of the ship. Point defense weapons on the side, lasers down the side. Our shields are collapsing. We're taking actual damage this time around. It's an actual battle. That was an actual real battle. There is fire in our ship right now. Looks like for us we have fire extinguishers, but do we have enough crew to stop putting out? Could you stop carrying energy crystals and start putting the fires out? That'd be great, thank you. Put the fire. Put the fire out. Come on, come on, put the fire out. Yeah, don't let the ammo, don't let the ammo be on fire. Let's put it that way. There we go. <clears throat> they took out a gun, a big gun as well. Eight grand worth of damage because our shields collapsed. That was that was a big thing. Now, yeah, someone say my name. Shh, we're all quiet. We won't be able to locate us if <laughs> you can't see us. <laughs> Target the enemy, go! Do 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 Full speed! <clears throat> Take us in, and this is the elite section, so... Peter, they are walking through crew quarters for pathfinding instead of the walkways. Need to remove some doors near those front reactors in the hallway. Yeah, I know. It's kind of annoying. Which wants to remove is a good question. But in the meantime, let's kill this thing. What is that in the middle? Control room in the middle. With point defense and crew quarters around it. Long walkways. And so many reactors to be killed. Kill it. I wonder if we targeted the actual uh, control room itself. Would that end the... Uh, would that end it? Find out. Missiles, find the control room. <laughs> we just get the control room, would be nice, but uh, they are hitting our ship really hard. They got through our shields. Whoa, I'm, I'm underestimating the ship. Um, it has no engines. Well, big engines. We could actually run away right now, come back and just do a volley. Saying that. We're a missile ship, right? Um, back us off, please. Engines, back us off. We're taking a lot of damage. Come on. That should do it back just nicely. And fire from range. <laughs> Is that what we're doing? Missile spam! <laughs> right, how are we doing inside? A couple of fires still going. Crew should hopefully be dealing with the fires. Yep, let's see a couple of crew members walking around. They're still hitting us with the big cannons, but that's all they can hit us with. I love that shield generator not to die. Thank you. There we go. Perfect. Okay. The missiles are not hitting that thing, so let's target that instead. They are still firing at us. Why are we that close? Because they have big engines as well. Uh, okay. Well, keep backing off and we keep ourselves away from their uh, main engines. You know what? Forget that one. It, it, it's going to lose. It's not losing power, but it's going to lose out the fact that you can't. Uh, Yes, yeah, nice. And that one? It can't, it, that one can't be controlled, so I'm happy with that. We'll come back and deal with that one later. Boom, 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 boom. Kill that. <clears throat> Could something fire at the thing I want you to fire at first? Stop firing at that. It's, it's not worth anything. Fine. Don't get that close, no. Uh, 
Oh, too close. Is that deemed a target as well? Okay, in that case, let's take it again. Move to there. <clears throat> Why are you still tagging that? Don't know. It's weird. Stop tagging it. And back us off. Okay. See, what's happening here is you're not listening to me. Back the ship up. <laughs> Although, if the ship wants to expose that dummy, I'm more than happy to let it do it. Get them seals up running. Thank you. <coughs> Blame DJ. <laughs> Self defense is on blind. Game line. <laughs> Can we hit that or something? We have one cannon and the missiles remaining, and the missiles are a little bit constrained for resources. I like the fact that the one we're aiming for is the one that didn't blow up. I, thought, I want you to kill that reactor there. Oh, we'll try this one on the way, shall we? <laughs> Boom! The cannon missed right over the middle of the ship. Oh. <laughs> uh, Hey, blind. Take it, them cannon, please. It's time to annoy me. Okay. Because of that, and now it has no weapons left, bring it into blasting range. Auto save. Nice time to auto save. Thanks. And why are we still tagging? Everything's dead on there. We need to care about. There's literally nothing on there you care about. No. Back us off. Get the missiles a better chance when they get locked. Actually, I think that's just tight debris right now. 44,000 in repairs. Cut all that. <laughs> Repair it. Also, new crew gets hired because there were people there that died in the process. What I miss? Talking not, talking not to humans in Hyper RPG Discord. <laughs> There's another ship left, by the way. But this ship just proved its uh, its weakness is its shielding at the front. Okay. <clears throat> so who are you talking to at uh, Hyper RPG Discord? One of the uh, the mods or one of the people on the uh, the talent? Go for word for it then. Do, 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 do. Or just a what? A viewer. Boom. Goodbye, debris. Here we go. Coming in. Oh, you're much smaller. You're talking about Pocky, really? You're talking about Pocky there, D. I thought HRPG would have been the Hyper RPG. But, fair enough. Blind is a bit Pocky mad, isn't he? Why are you already damaged? That's good, just go for it for that. <clears throat> Missile volley. Thank you. 146,000 for that one. We have a million in the bank and a million on that ship. You know what we could do, which would be utterly, utterly stupid of us? <clears throat> if we just get a bit more cash, we could buy a second ship. <laughs> we could buy a second one of these. We're going to do it. We're going to buy a second one of these and have them fly in a fleet of two 
and hope they don't catch up with their own missile barrages. <laughs> Hype! Yeah! Yay, beer! Pom bombs! Thank you! Pom bombs are amazing. And. <clears throat> okay. Get the shields up and running, and then we go to attack them. Take us in. Right, so let's see what pathfinding they're doing right now. <clears throat> it might be best, pathfinding wise, not to remove the outer doors, but to remove some of the inner doors. So if we, if they can't go between this section and that section, then they can't go through like that. That forces them here to go around and forces these to go around. Hopefully that'll be good enough to do it. Sure, we'll find out in a moment. <clears throat> Take us into our first target the other day. And they're running away from us again. Do a sensor on this ship as well. Come on! And there he is. Oh, hello. Have we seen you before? I don't believe we have. Kill that reactor. It's got so many reactors on board. Kill that reactor because it's also got the energy dampening weapons. Then kill all these reactors in succession. That'll do me nicely. Thank you. See all those. Finish them off, please. Thank you. There we go. One down. Kill the reactors. Oh. Bing. Yeah, they did some damage to us as well. I love missile. They killed four people in the way. 23 grams worth of damage. But we made enough. Enough. You're the enough for, don't you? Do, do, do. Save design. Come back to. Save. Yep. Buy ship. The Mac 2. Welcome to the Mac 2. <laughs> right, 2.2. Do 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 <clears throat> So yes, you can have two two ships. Apparently the green circle is the one you have selected. <clears throat> Ropey, take me down this time. Ropey, take me down this time. You all like that Ropey's the evil one? And you know he is, so it's fine, fair enough. Um, have you resupplied all your ammo? You have? Okay. In that case... <clears throat> can I put you in an action group? No, okay. You two! Go attack that, please. <laughs> and away they go! <laughs> oh, this missile barrage is going to be so bad. Most because they're going to hit each other. <laughs> oh, you know what? They're going to shoot each other, but I don't know if they'll detonate. So I think we're too close. We're going to missile ourselves in the sides. Yep, that's entirely a possibility. But I don't know if the missiles will detonate. No, they'll be fine. So it's a, it's a test. It's a test. Oh, how stupid the AI will be. <clears throat> On the plus side, they now just angled themselves. Ooh, hello. Uh, loads and loads of guns, loads and loads of lasers. This is a terrifying looking ship. Kill all its reactors. 
And I'm actually more interested right now in our ships because how will they do? Will they destroy each other? Here we go. Missiles. Away. Away. Why are you turning? Turning's a bad thing. Turning's a bad thing. It's a very bad thing. Stop doing it. You go over there. And you go over there. Pummel it. Oh, why did you turn your side onto it? Oh, that was a bad idea. No, no missile tubes. Leave the missile tubes alone. <laughs> There we go. <clears throat> You're having real trouble moving as well. But we're doing a good job, we're pummeling it. Pummeling. <clears throat> the book backing off to missile range, by the way, in case you're wondering. So, in the future, it's a good idea to control the ships independently of each other, is what I'm hearing here. This ship, unfortunately, has way too many powerful engines on it. We need larger thrusters to turn. Yep. Much agreed with you on that one. Definitely agree with you on that one. Right, can you... Oops. Uh, move into weapons range. As this, as this guy's trying to pull away, he's chasing, so... Might as well get in there with some better weapons. We are at half speed, by the way. I just want a bit more control over it. <clears throat> there we go. There's only two reactors left and one of them. There's one reactor left. Don't do it. I see what you want to do there. It's a bad idea. Stop it. Target defeated. <clears throat> okay, you need to be controlled separately. Upgrade. We'll repair. 11 grand. And then we'll build and upgrade that thruster that's there. Can we upgrade that thruster easy enough? Yes we can. So It's a large thruster. It should be fine. I mean it's literally the biggest engines you can have. But if we need two of them, we need two of them. And the other ship. You only need the same repair doing a new I'm guessing? Yeah because it's a separate ship. There we go. Both ships are now being upgraded with Bigger, badder engines. Badder? Badderer engines, yes. That's how you word it. You come up here. You come down here. And then we'll move together as a team. Hold and... Good. What do we have? Uh, do, 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 do. Yep, blame DJ. <laughs> Uh, da, 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 da. Well, I tried to distract him, Miss Washington. I'll try and noble here. We'll repeat. <laughs> take the enemy, take us in. Show me that guy, and then we'll uh, set the ships to attack from different angles as soon as we enter visual range. Okay, we have a target. Number one. Using map mode, keep yourself at missile range. Number two, using map mode again, missile range. And both of you focus your fire on pretty much any of the reactors, the back ones will do just nicely. Okay, let's have a look at... Here we go. Here we go! Why, why, why with the turning side on again? That's, you know that's a weak part of your shielding. On the plus side, you get your face forward again. On the bad side, you're about to get cannoned by your own friend. Ouch. 
A friendly only shields. Could you back off now? Since you're doing it this way. <laughs> Admittedly, we have a lot more missiles in the air now when we fire. Unfortunately, they haven't figured out how to fly straight anymore. <laughs> and the damage was. 200. More than acceptable. But now, we can fly to another sector. Should we try Vanguard? Vanguard, the hardest enemy in the in the fleet. <clears throat> we don't have the uh, we don't have the cash to rebuild if we lose these battles. So hopefully we don't lose them. Victory! <laughs> our biggest enemy is ourselves right now. So uh, there we go. <clears throat> we need a million credits to rebuild one of these ships. So. Okay, get the shields up and running. Okay, all up. Good. You two. Let's go. I'm going to give them different orders before they arrive this time round. So they can enter from. That guy's coming right at us. They didn't give us a chance to target him. Nice. Okay. Um, could you go there? Could you go there? One time speed. Right. I don't know who he is yet or what he's got on him weapon wise. But your job is to target from this side. Missile range only. Your job, take from this side. Missile range only. Oh, it's you! I remember you from before. <coughs> from a, from a, a personal play. He has the beams of lasers that hurt a lot. They, 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 they do hurt a fair bit, so... If you just get in there and pummel in with everything. I'm really glad we have two ships right now. Because that ship's taking a hell of a lot of damage. Right, could you focus your fire? on the reactors. Actually, take out those weapons. Those were really annoying. Then the reactors down that side. And if you, if you have anything capable of doing anything, target those reactors down that side. Okay, continue. If you can take those guns out, those lasers there are the things doing the most of the damage. Thank you! They're gone! <laughs> well, not all of them, but the one of them's gone. We can get rid of the other one pretty easily, I think. There we go. And now we've got a few reactors to take out. Those uh, point defense guns are kind of annoying, but uh, they won't last long. <laughs> not with both ships firing. A lot of damage taken by one of the ships there. But, look at that. Just, this is a Vanguard ship, it did a lot of damage, but we've, we've fought back. We're not letting them be everywhere. That just seems weird. <laughs> uh, whoa, Peter, the space awful lot. <laughs> did we kill this place? It is on fire. The command room's intact. Oh, well, how bad for them? Damage! 55,000 in damage. Okay, so this time around I'm going to try a different tactic. You go there. You go there. Send them to physical different locations. And we'll see if we can... Uh, Come actually at them from different angles. Where to put your charm on Miss Washington? Okay, this is far enough out. Target. 
Target. Here we go. So as soon as you enter visual range, we get to set up a, a target of prioritization. You. What do they have, by the way? Well, they have a lot. Oh, crapola. Look at all those. They have to go first. Um, start targeting these. They're your priority targets. Take out those really evil laser weapons. And do so from as far back as you possibly can. The other ship, who is now, who is now approaching from the side, you're going to come from the bottom there. And your job is to pick off the reactors. What reactors have we got? Uh, energy weapons. Target reactor. Target reactor. Target reactor. Yeah, your job is to f find the reactors and shut them down. And by shut them down, I mean hollow the ship out if you have to. That should do it. This is going to be an interesting battle. Let's just get both ships. Let's see so I can see damage levels on these two. Here we go. <clears throat> Cannons are firing. If we can keep out of range of those laser beams, we'll be fine. But if those laser beams get a hit on this ship, it's not going to go well for you. Why do you even let yourself get that close? You have reverse thrusters. Use them. Wow. So much anti air. Oh! That's just, that's just painful. Come on. Hit them. Yes. Come on. You can do it. Take out those point defense weapons. And the lasers. The lasers are the most important part. Take them out. Could you just get in there? At this point in time, I just want you to get in there and start doing some damage. Because he's having real trouble reversing right now. Whoa, we lost some reactors. We lost some reactors. Right. Can you back on up? No control room. Okay, you cannot move. Okay. They keep pounding us until it's dead, so come on, move in, help him out, help your friend out, my friend. Come on. Come on, we can do it. it. Could be the end of the ships, though. Don't turn side on. Okay, now you're just getting yourself killed for no reason. Back us up to there. We should also put our main shields forward at the same time. And oh, let's change your prioritization as well because you're getting destroyed at the moment. Kill them first. Is that other ship still? Yeah, it's still trying to fight, but it's not going to do much. Back us up. Back us up. Missiles range should do us nicely. Because that means our shields should hopefully be able to be reactivated. Come on. We lost the other ship entirely. Now I need you to focus some fight on these laser weapons. I cannot let those laser weapons survive. And these are the ones that cause us so much problem. They're the ones that hold out our ship basically. Focus on them. Also, why are you trying to go over there? I told you to stay map centric. Back up, back up. You're not going to do it, are you? Nope, you can't get away time. You cannot do it. Kill that. Get the reactor, it'd be great. Come on, hit the reactor, it's exposed. Come on. You 
can do it. I believe in you. Okay, one lot down. Okay, one lot down. That one there just needs to die, and it's all right. Come on. Yes, okay. It's not over yet, but we're getting close, close to it. The big bad weapons are gone. Now we can start focusing on things that are just... That one's not gone. Kill that. Come on. Kill anything that's evil. Kill that. I'll focus on reactors when I can, basically. Can you actually back us off that way? Because it's got a laser weapon, but if it's having real trouble tagging us with it. Come on, take out the reactor. Take out the reactor. Come on, we can do it. Thank you, Water Save. Hang in there, Peter. We are doing. Okay, that's one down. Kill that. It's just such really annoying me now. It's pinging at our hull right now. It's doing a lot of damage. Our shields are kind of holding. But uh, if we can just kill it, it'll be pretty nice. Thank you, missiles, for getting in there doing a lot of pummeling damage right now. We are going to lose so much money in this battle. That weapon's still there. That weapon's gone. Okay. Now our targets are the reactors. The reactors are the only thing left. We have to move out. So kill that. Kill that. Oh. Kill that first. Kill that. Kill that. Missiles should both get behind that one quite easily. We've got enough engines that we can actually keep ourselves at a distance as well now. So that's useful. Boom, 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 boom. They have a missile launcher. We took so much damage. Yeah, we took so much damage. Okay, target that reactor there. It's a priority target now. It's exposed. Go for it. Thank you. Nothing else there. Go for that one. Oh, you're going to turn the reactor towards me? How nice of you! Thank you! And that was just the one reactor left. And now, because of that, might as well move in close and just make them regret doing all that damage to us. Here we go! Coming in! It's moving away from us because we blew its engine off. Uh, yeah, yeah, beat Captain Ghost. Let it ride. Yep, I knew my time was coming. Here we go. Missiles. And... We've had a chance to get a volley up. Why are you targeting that? I guess the missiles have their own targets, maybe? But I want that reactor dead there. So all I want you to do is kill one reactor. Boom! And then, over here, there's technically a ship alive because there's a reactor left on it. How are you getting power? How are you getting power? Kill all the things. Now the reactor blaze. This ship has been so annoying. Four hundred thousand. We've got almost enough to buy a replacement ship. And repaired. <laughs> Oh. Oh, that was that was a battle that just kept on going, didn't it? <laughs> oh. Well, that was one 
tenacious ship. It was, wasn't it? It just kept pummeling us and pummeling us. It had those really powerful laser weapons as well, which just strip any kind of uh, any any shields away pretty quickly, and then they just burn through your hull. <clears throat> that ship was able to take out two of these, nearly take out two of these ships. That was wow. Okay, well we need more cash so we can get a second one of these, or a complete rebuild, maybe bring two ships into battle, they say. So let's not do Vanguard just yet. Let's go Pro, or Elite. Let's go Elite, <clears throat> and then take a few Elite ships out, and then we'll build a brand new ship to go along with this one, rather than uh, rather than scrapping this one. Because the, uh, the ship's been really good. Engage. Thank you. Thank you. Go. <clears throat> Swing it around. It does turn a lot faster now with the double engine at the back, though. And. Target the reactor car. And the reactor car, and the reactor car, and the reactor car. <coughs> Hi! Bye! <laughs> just another system where, you know, maybe tagging something we can actually hit would be good, but we just destroyed some of the ships, don't we? Don't spin it, time to kill. There we go, we have a million. Take us another one, and then <clears throat> when these two are dead, we'll build a second ship. This one will be. I don't know, should we build one with the big laser beams on the front? And, or should we build another missile boat? Or what? What do you think we should go with? Here we go, and oh, it's you again. Hi, uh, kill that and then kill that. Use the ion in weapons to take out our uh, our shield and just boom, straight through. There's a fire in there as well. <coughs> Whoa! Um, can we turn around, please? <laughs> oh, you got nice nacelles as well. You were beautiful. Shame to have to kill you. Oh well. Um. Just do that, basically. <coughs> Is that an ammo saw? Kill that. Then that. Then... Power? Power. Power. Ammo. There we go. This is facing again. Maximum power. Might be good to start just tacking the weapons out again, like we used to do. The old fashioned way of fighting them. Yeah, they are rotating the ship around so we can't tighten. What is that? A sensor array. Oh, right. They can see us. Right, so in that case, they have these things here. Kill that first, because it's tend to annoy me. And then last cannon goes away. Boom 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 Thank you. Cannon? Cannon ammo! Kill that! Kill the cannon ammo! He knows what we're doing. Every weapon's fine right at that one spot. I want to get the ammo blowing up. 
Kill that, please, as well. There we go, that should shut it down for a moment while we just blow this section up. Thank you. Now, the reactor car. Control. Two control rooms? Damn you, got two control rooms. You knew exactly what I was going to do. I was going to separate the ship into two pieces. <laughs> Well, goodbye. Did I get that? <clears throat> Shoot through them if you have to. <laughs> do, 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 do. And there we go. Power stores, crew quarters, yeah, just go straight for the reactors. You can't turn around anyway, so let's just pummel it till it goes. And there it goes. How much damage did we take from that battle, by the way? We took so much damage from that battle. 69,000 damage. <clears throat> and there we go. Just pack it that way, please. So, we need a new ship. We have this ship, obviously. We can have another ship. So, buy a ship. Buy a really cheap ship. Model Zero is cheap. Delete the whole thing. There we go. And build a new ship. So, <clears throat> I say we go for ion beam based ship. I haven't used these as a primary weapon yet. What's the shield coverage on these things? So I get shields behind, it's not far enough that will totally damage. New ship hype. Yeah, new ship hype. Thank you, Mr. Washington. So if I place two shield generators like that, <coughs> with ion beams. Far forward, I can put the ion beams actually. That'd be best. Like that. And then two shield generators back here. So we do two, two, two. Like that. We have quite a strong shield overlay. Each of these covered by four shields. <coughs> and then we can do a. Oops, an armoured layer directly in front of the uh, shield generator. So the shields, are, when they do drop eventually, they will be safe. Or, we finally got a little bit back. It looks like three to four billion in a row. <laughs> so I can do that. Or we can go... Just like that across the board. And put the shields behind and hopefully have enough coverage. Might do. Like that. I mean, it looks like it's got coverage, but I'm not quite sure if they'll take damage or not. That's doable. Put one shield meter in the middle. Sorry, one second. One second. Because we have... We have, we have, we have. Ready for it? Toby Cam! Say hello to Toby. Toby Tobes. Oh. Hi, Tobes. So, Toby's back. Yeah. Unfortunately, Toby's not here often enough uh, on the camera to get a Toby emote, are we? Should we have a Toby emote anyway? <laughs> hi Toby. Miss Washington says hi Toby. Okay. Treat time. Always treat time, he says. Toby's actually the greediest of the cats as well. Do, 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 do. There you go, have some treats. And 
So the only one that hasn't, there's only two that haven't been on the uh, stream so far. There's only Polly and Molly that haven't actually been on streams yet, properly. <laughs> Toby has put in a requisition for shark-shaped ship with laser beam eyes. Shark, shark-shaped ship with laser beam eyes. So many cats. Four. There are four cats. <clears throat> okay, so laser beam eyes, which would be these eyes or the small laser eyes? Hmm. Actually, that's an idea. If we put these guys in the middle, uh, shield generator first. Let's do our weapons first, and we know what we're getting. Double shield generator, because it makes it powerful in the middle. Surrounded by one, two, three lasers either side. Then a step back, <coughs> the gap, shield generator, then electro bolts, one, two, three, if we come forward, no, and then the ion beams on the outside with some of the shield generator between them. This could be a big wide fronted ship as well. Uh, gap, shield generator. Oop, nope, 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 staggered. Two shield generators. I should do with you back there, probably. With ion beams. There and there. <clears throat> How about that for the front of the ship? <clears throat> it's got six lasers, six anti shield devices, and then two big lasers either side. Now, I think the big lasers either side might need to be put in the middle because they don't turn very well. So, we'll put you two there. <clears throat> like that. Then. Electro bolts can come out. Electro bolts like that. Then a shield generator. I want to space them out so I have gaps to put armor in as well. And then the normal lasers on the outside. With a spare shield generator on the outside, just to make sure everything's nice and safely pitted. How about that as a front of a ship? Nice wide thing. We can curve it back up again with something else up here. It's not overly powerful, but it's powerful enough. Then from armor point of view, we can actually armor. So the point is to have armor in front of the uh, shield generators. And not in front of the weapons themselves. Armor blocks. Like that, and then here, like that. Those should be fold one more notch just to uh, allow for that. How does that look? Might want to trim some sharp edges off it, but what do you think of the actual uh, base of it? Because I like to have my shields behind a block of armor, because that way, when the shield does eventually fall, and they will fall. At the very least, they're uh, protected. Let's pull them back to there. Ah, one button. So it's got a bit of curve to it still. And remove that. How's that for a front face of the ship? So many cats. And no spoons. Did someone say Sharpie? Sharky. I like Sharky. Sharky's the best emote. It's always a really like happy shark as well. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so if we did that as the design, then it's going to need a lot of power. Which means these guys here, especially, are going to need power and a lot of it. So... 
I am thinking we're going to have a whole bunch of reactors right here with armor to protect them. Delete that one in the middle. And they can have a corridor between them to get out there to get the power up fast. It really needs to be a double walkway. Then two reactors there. That should help get power to this lot. Then over here, we're going to have another set of reactors. Probably two there. I like them in twos because I can put armor around them. I should put armor between them too because that one's on the outside wall. It will actually stop the uh, the armor from detonating the another reactor. <clears throat> That'll do fine. Plenty of uh, reactor powers there. Da -da 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 -da. Then corridors to connect these up just so they stop whinging. Double wide corridors are good because they can move faster through them. There we go. That's enough to get the uh, weapons up and running. Da -da 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 -da. Now we are going to have missiles on this as well. Don't worry about that. There's no worries at all at that level. But uh, <clears throat> that should keep us going there. We're going to put new doors in because these doors are in horrible places as well. So that's that, and we can curve back here a bit, and then have a good, like a shark tail coming back here. Like, down. I like that idea, and then engines are back here again. <clears throat> Maybe some more powerful engines further somewhere else. But that'll do it. Fire team. We should be far forget about them. Should go. Kind of there between the uh, the shield. There we go. So a bunch of fire simulations on the front row, which will just help keep that area from bursting to flames and killing everybody. Um, nice, looking good so far. Excellent. So then we want to bring this down. And we want... These are all laser-based weapons, so they're not going to be any... None of these are kinetic like uh, guns. So there's all energy, which is why I have the extra reactors here. <clears throat> I am going to put down some battery storage. It's not as explosive as the other stuff, so I'm making blocks like that. And it should really help out with like short-term supply. Hmm. Yeah. I'm getting a couple of blocks of uh, batteries like that. Battery power. Just to do that emergency short term supply is occasionally needed. Okay. Uh, that's all the weapons on the front. So then we need the side. The side's going to need shielding. Unfortunately, you can't get shields to do that without them actually overlapping the shield generators, which is really annoying. So I'd love to put it there, but that would just eat into each other. If I put that there... Yeah, I was wondering if that would actually eat into that shield or not. So if I were to put one there... It would destroy it, but we could have them overlap by like that. Which is kind of weird, but okay. Technically, no. Put that armor back in place, please. And the gun that got deleted. Laser bolt. Boop. Okay, so shield generator for the side. Can pretty much go to the side of that shield generator. Put it there, but I don't like it being stuck out so much. So there, boop. And <clears throat> then we have some point defense weaponry on the sides. Should probably have some on the front as well, maybe, but uh, we have shields for the front. Point defense, point defense, point defense, shield generator in the middle of that one and because this is a, a big reactor area I want double shields on the side here just because I have a feeling of this lot being hit uh, let's not do that actually like that put you there and there we'll have armor around this stop complaining 
So the armor protects us. Point defense weaponry can just be placed on the very edge. And it will protect us the best it can. And I've determined, we'll see where we want to go in the event of that. Okay, so so far so good. Um, then we'll have this coming back here like this. Now on the back here, because missiles tend to go round, I want to put some point defense weapons on the back, but that'll be for in a moment or two. Okay, what do we need back here? <clears throat> We're not doing any ammo processing. That's not a problem. Um, there's no ammo, so there's no guns or cannons or anything. We're fine on that. So, we need more power generation, apparently. So, more power generation. Reactors. Um, let's put some down in the core, little core of reactors here. Uh, these guys actually will be segregated off from each other by a little bit of armor because I don't trust those in the center. Like that. And then out here we place some spare reactors. Oh, these can double up. Like that with a an armor wall. Just stopping them from chain reacting. That's kind of what it's there for, it's just to stop a chain reaction. Which is fine because a bullet comes in here, it's gonna just rip into that reactor there and it won't get these three. Aha! Uh <coughs> gonna keep an eye on the cash as well. We've used up nearly half of our cash already building that. Okay, corridors. So corridor continues down to there. And that's there. You're gonna need a double wide going across there. This could just come down to supply power. Double wide. There we go. Okay. You need to get to your power supply. <coughs> Power those up. Okay. So far the ship is looking okay. Looking okay. They're trying to ship it back here for a like a mantra tail or something. With missile launching about the side of the tail is the plan. <clears throat> so they're gonna be expensive, we might have to put those in later. So the next thing would be we need to armor this thing at some point. Let's do, let's do a bit of armoring now. That okay. So give me this sloped hammer. There. Then that one can go across to there. We need a slope hammer there. Uh, slope hammer might as well go there. Nope. There we go, it just helps these guys fight at an angle. That guy can have trouble fighting sometimes, but that's all, all we can do. This can just be a big pyramid at the front, just entirely to help with extra impact. Uh, there is no reason for those not to just continue forward, because those big guys can't angle anyway. <coughs> um, you could do with being an angle there. Just helps these guys a bit of, bit of firing angle on things. And then here, there. Okay, happy with that so far. Let's put a little bit of a placeholder in there. We might end up putting something in that spot, so uh, <clears throat> I'll put those in place so we know it's something we've not allocated yet. Da -da 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 -da. Armor. Block there. That's a triangle probably better there, wasn't it? Triangle. Boop. And then another triangle. Because we're sort of being this back here. So this here, what we're going to do here. Um, I don't really want any more weapons at the back because it's just a matter of uh, not showing the back of the ship to the enemy would be a good idea. So if we were to double wall this in uh, in armor pieces like that. Then bring it back there. We can put an engine or something on there just to help out with it. Get rid of that piece. Then here we can go down with that. Down with that. Down with that. Then we get our central stack. 
It's heavily armoured centre stack. There we go, and give me another triangle piece. There we go, so we have our basic shape. Then we come to a, like a, a tail here. So this is where our missile launchers will be, if we can afford to put them all in. And hopefully we'll have the space, we'll have to check it out in a minute. We have the space to put ammo, oh we've got loads of space to put ammo in here. Um, so two together, gap, double gap, maybe. And then back here. See that would be awesome, but I think we don't have a place for, for the engines because it's kind of limited to we haven't built forward. So we have to build it and rebuild. Maybe it'll uh, recenter it. Um, corridors, corridors, corridors. Zoom in, zoom in. That'll do. And then you need a corridor just there, temporarily. Build it. Unbuild it. Has it recentered us? It has not. Damn it. Unfortunately, with this build, because we built it so far downwards, if we did that, we can't get engines on it. <laughs> Damn you. Well, I'm happy with that many uh, missile launchers. Potentially. Engines. Big thrusters. Build be four big thrusters would be more than enough, I think, personally. <clears throat> for braking. Four big thrusters for braking. Give me an extra one that just doesn't think they're forward based. And then give me that for a turn. Okay. And da -da 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 -da. So there'll be corridors in here to uh, aid the walking of people between sections. There we go. And then this needs a walkway up here. It needs to be a double walkway, if possible, to allow for uh, faster movement. And then, we need the ammo, missile factories. Unfortunately, can't have missile factories up here all the way. But we can put loads of them up here and then have them further down. So, give me the place. One, two, three lots of missile factories. Then missile storage all the way down here, would be my guess. And this area can be mostly crew quarters, I'm hoping. Like that. Not finished yet, don't worry. Uh, we are keeping eye on the power as well. So power for the engines. Two reactors at the back, each side. And do some... Hello, Smudge, welcome back. Hello. Say hello to the main camera. Oh, don't. <laughs> okay, so... We have... All of that right now, and we can put some point defences down the sides here, which is no problem. We have engines, which we just need to put a bit of armour around, and put some shields down this way, which is why I got double gaps. Because shields are a double gap wide. Smudge butt, indeed. Indeed, a smudge butt sometimes. Hasn't uh, learned the idea of, you know, not doing that yet. <laughs> okay, create some crew quarters in place, because they're going to cost a lot of money, and we need a lot of crew for this ship. Crew, crew, crew. Crew, crew, crew. <clears throat> I don't want to get big banks of crew again like we had before. So, try and keep them in like one and two lines. <clears> That's <throat> a lot of crew. Um, so, we can put crew up in little lots like this. Because they're not actually. Uh, yeah, we can't afford that now for the amount of crew we need to run the ship. So we need to kill something. So what we do is we just want to hire a full crew complement initially. <clears throat> so let's get up with the armoring of the area back here and then we'll see what we can do. So armor. So 
So initially, just armor blocks they will do. And then we're going to put shield generators and point defenses back here at some point. But we need to get some cash before we can afford that. Corridors to get people moving. There we go. That's a lot of crew, you see, so get them moving quickly. Uh, and then we need to gap there because we need to be able to move that gap. Right, if we were to do that, how much crew can we afford? We can afford that with half the crew required to run the ship. Let's give him a try, shall we? There's no FTL drive, just realised. I didn't finish building, that's why. I mean, FTL drive, a single FTL drive will warp the ship, but it will be very, very expensive to do it. So, uh, give me an FTL drive there. It does take out some crew members, but it makes that life a little bit cheaper. We can't afford that because these are 20 grand each. So we need to remove something. How much are these? These are 30 grand each. For now, remove a couple of uh, reactors. Blueprints are no, it's not valid. Stop complaining. Right, let them go and supply all the stuff. <clears throat> Missiles are being produced. So much crew. <laughs> supply, 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 supply. There is actually a couple of little places where there's a cheap fix to solve some speed problems. It's mostly here where the. Uh, Walking around the missiles to get to places. Okay. And that should allow them to restock all the missiles really quickly. We have enough supplied missiles right now to uh, do some real damage. Shall we take this ship into battle and see if it works? I think it's control room, has it? Damn it! We control room. Control room. Corridors. Well, control room is fairly well protected, isn't it? Let's give it a test out. You go over there. Face that way as well. <coughs> okay, it turns pretty well. As a test then, if you two go and stand there. So it's a way of testing both ships out side by side. They've got the same amount of manoeuvring thrusters, two reverse thrusts either side, two turning thrusters and three forward thrusters. Obviously that ship is a little bit more, well, faster due to this, the lack of uh, this one being heavier. Right, you alone, test your weapons out. Kill that. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> Come over here, though. I need to test out your big laser weapons. I need to do that up close because the missiles just obliterated it. Okay. Now, kill that. Yeah, I'm very happy with the amount of damage that does. Okay, turn around and go back over there. I'm making potato leek soup. Would you like some? Actually, yes, it'd be nice. So, send some across. Email it. Okay, you two are ready. What does this ship... The ship isn't finished, obviously. It's got some uh, armor and stuff we just ran out of cash for. But what should the ship be called? Mini shields down here and point defensible. What should it be called? What's its name? Because it's right now it's called Model Zero. So, uh, what would you want to call it, guys? And then we can go and take it for a jump. So, if you could go and stand there. And you can go and stand there. 
to be all ready to go. Actually. Welcome back to Much Much. So do we have a name? We do not. Okay, so we jump without names. Not a problem. Prepare to jump. We're going to go to a lighter area to test out the new ship. We need 943 FTL. What if you jump by yourself? 700. So it's actually you that can't afford the jump. Because of the inefficiency of FTL. Okay, well that's not a major issue. We can uh, do that jump, the smaller jump. Something a bit more hostile, but we've got two ships, so we should be all right. Maybe not quite uh, elite level though. How about something on the lines of? Can't make that jump to veteran. Not Vanguard. Okay, we're going to elite then. We're in the jump. <clears throat> Bob, call the ship Bob. What is it with you in the name Bob anyway? It's a horrible name for a ship, bad name for a person. Engage. Name the ship Bob. Okay, so I've been looking for a while, and I have to say, you have a talent for this with this game. As for the ship name, it looks like a hammerhead shark, so I may be the hammer. Thank you, a good name for a ship. Bob the Hammerhead. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Bob saved me my life once. And then there's the way Ron Atkinson says Bob. <laughs> I know, but it's just. But it's a ship name, it doesn't feel right. Right, you two, if you could move together, we'll go and target the one in the top corner. Together. If you separate, I'll have to send you a different path or so, because you're faster than that guy is. Also, welcome, Spooks619. Welcome to the channel. Hello, welcome. Could you stop a second because... Well, there. Because this guy appears to have some major issues with navigation. <clears throat> what, what are you doing? I thought you were reversing and turning for some reason. Well, saying that, you could have just been going to get out of his way, couldn't you? Engage tactical mode. We should paint these. I never get around to painting them in this game. Okay. Okay, we go. <coughs> and now target, because it's coming for us. They have sensors on them, so they can see us. Oh, Fun! It's the guy that was just painful earlier. Alright, so we take. He actually got the COS on it as well. Nice. Right, so your job is going to be to target. Hmm. Well, I think your job is going to be to target the weapons are here. <coughs> then. No, actually. Target the ammo stores and the reactors on the main ship. And if possible, from a distance, oops, from a distance, it lets you have some, but not all of your weapons active. Because if they can have all their weapons active, it makes more sense. If we can, and you, your job is going to be to target just straightforward target those reactors. And you're going, oops, target those reactors. And you're going to do it from closest range. Okay, let's go. Here we 
we go. Okay, so you can actually have your cost altered a little bit now. Stay directly below him. <clears throat> and you can get right behind him. Basically, we get to a situation where he's going to be uh, attacked from two sides and he can't defend fully against that. Have you even got him out of range yet? What are you doing? You even trying to get closer? Bob, come on. You're taking damage now. Bob's finally got engines fired. What the hell is wrong with Bob? I'm not sure if Bob's the one moving right now. <laughs> Here comes the missiles. Big lasers are firing. Good, that'll tear a lot of damage to the hull. <clears throat> I love these weapons when I'm using them. Not so fun when they use them. Look at that though. This is down to entirely down to a lack of crew. We're all back here doing missile launching. Come on! Yes, now your job kill those reactors. Your job kill that gun, that's really annoying. And but the very worst is offline, so kill it. There it is, I see it. That other one. Aha! Bob took a fair amount of damage just because of lack of crew supplying the roll back here doing missile launching. But hopefully the repair cost will be low enough that we can actually hire the extra crew we needed. Bob, how did you do? Thank you, can we stop taking damage? There we go. 14,000. That should hopefully be enough to get you the extra crew and reactors, but crew mostly. So crew... Right, so we had to stop making crew. The idea was to have reactors up here. More crew. Crew. <clears throat> Almost at the amount of crew we need. And then what I wanted to do is have more crew back here just as a supply near these. So, crew there. A couple of armor plates just to make sure the crew quarters are safe. Corner pieces. Boop. Boop. And I like that piece there. Can I have a longer piece there? I much prefer longer pieces around my engines. It just makes them. That's going to get hit, isn't it? Damn it! Small piece there. That's all fine. That's all okay. And we can get those reactors back in place. I'd be much happier, but we don't think we need them right now. So hire the whole crew. And hopefully that means we'll get a lot more people staying in this area to supply this lot with power. Because it'll actually be the crew spare to do it. Also, can we have some corridor space just there? To help out with speed of people moving. Might actually end up widening these two out by one so we can keep just having factories all the way up there here. There we go. <coughs> I much prefer the longer pieces. <laughs> Why are you favouring those two reactors when these ones are full? Weird. Okay, we have plenty of weapons, plenty of shields. Loads of crew. But can you actually get close this time without actually freaking out? I much prefer the longer pieces. So sending him in by himself right now, you're going to come in as reinforcements. Hopefully this will uh, end well for us. We might need more thrusters in the back. Okay, it's definitely heading for us right now, so that's good. This is one time speed by the way, I have not got this running in slow motion. 
Oh, actually, I wonder. Can I fit you with a center array? I never tried center array, so let's try put them. Unfortunately, they are not symmetrical, so I need two of them. Um, there's not really a place to put them up front, which would be useful, so we're just going to place the. 40 grand each as well. I only have enough for one. Damn it, it's going to be lopsided. Let's go there for now. Kind of curious how this will uh, operate. Check our sensor range. But we have a much better sensor range now, definitely. Engage the target. There we go. We can see them. They can't see us. Hmm. Got to watch out for Morrigan with his secret shoes. <laughs> right. So, you. What are you? We have we have cannons, lasers, a lot of lasers. Okay. Well, if you could hit this guy quite hard and also attempt to keep your distance, but if you can't keep your distance, then fine. Ooh, um, let's stick with uh, that. Straight on the side would be nice. Attempt to maintain your distance, though. Your primary targets will be for this ship the reactors. Now, you, Bob. Hi. Your job, your primary target today is going to be. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, target, obviously. And you're going to be targeting again, probably the Rex as well. Not that laser there. Target that laser, then the react. The laser, then the reactors, and then that, and then that. So the same sort of thing, same basic targets. All the difference is one's coming from one angle, one's coming from the other, and you're going to try to maintain. You're going to try to maintain the distance, push you above it. That tries to keep our guys separate from each other. You're going to try to maintain missile distance only, but uh, if they can't maintain missile distance, then that's fine. They'll go in with other weapons as well. Bob is really slow. Bob needs more weapon, more, more engines on the back to get closer. Here we go. The battle started. Oh, he's got another, yeah, I forgot about that weapon. Do, 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 do. Bob, where are you? Okay. Could you be within weapons range? It'd be great by now. Here we go. Bob is in weapons range. Here comes the missiles. Do, 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 do. Unfortunately, Bob's main weapons were blocked by by the uh, by the Model T getting in the way. So I think we have to send Bob in first next time around. But repairs, thirteen thousand repairs to you. No repairs to you, but I'm gonna have to give you some engines in the back here because you're just way too slow. Like that. Stop flashing. You're fine. Crew quarters. Still need to be back here though. Put them there. Buy symmetry mode off. Engines. What are they complaining about? Crew quarters in the middle. There will do fine. We can get through these, but they're not coming these very often anyway, so that's not a problem. Why are you complaining? Oh, you're outside of the actual um, build area because the ship was built really low down. Damn, yeah, I forgot about that. There we go. And then crew quarters can still be fit in, but they have to go in this line here. Unfortunately, that is where the crew can have to be. But again, the crew itself is not a problem because they only go through these engines occasionally. But there will want more doors to help speed up the process, I think. Ooh, actually, that one. 
Could be elevated up, give a bit more speed in that area. These should have a door on the outside of every one of these. Good. They should have a door there. We need to put a lot more doors in, take some doors out. But uh, where is there for that? Hmm, fine. But generally speaking, I think we're good on that. We'll put more doors in later. We have an FTL efficiency of 40% right now. We should put more in just to make sure it's all efficient. To the back end as well, as you'd imagine. In fact, put it there. <clears throat> Two FTL engines at the bottom. We're okay on crew. We just more engines. Do 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 do. If you want more crew, <clears throat> we just need to build in this area a little bit more. Out a little bit. But I think that'll be fine. Okay, so Bob is going to go in first, and our friend here will go in second. Well, let's just help close the gap together, though. Do 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 Patreon, YouTube, Discord. All the rubble repeat of messages. Thank you, Wafer, for sending those out. You can go into attack pattern. There we go. If you can just hold off, we'll uh, see how you two can sort of combine speed wise. I think Bob's actually able to outrace you now. Ah, very nice. In that case, attack pattern alpha. Okay, this one's scary. Bob, can you target these terrifying weapons and then the reactors? Thank you. Actually, just terrifying reactor there. If you could also target just the reactors, you might be able to get a lucky shot. Here we go. Here we go. I want to see Bob actually on the... Uh, on the playing field here. Coming in first. <clears throat> here we go. We have weapons fire. Coming from my uh, overship. Missiles. Oh, Bob, you just wiped him out. Bob the Hammerhead doing pretty good work there. Perfect. Okay. Prepare to warp out of here then. Can they warp out of here? And to a location that's not Vanguard. Because Vanguard I still think is a bit much until we sort of fine tune the design. That's how much is there, right? Where's the veteran? Veteran, please! Look if I done new ship is up, it's fully charged before the old ship's ready. <laughs> and shields are coming online, weapons coming online. As a test run, Bob goes alone. We'll send in Model Map 2 behind. You're, you're coming, but you'll be there in a moment or two. <clears throat> Just to make sure, turn you around. And attack. That gives Bob sufficient a number of amount of head start to uh, make sure that uh, you don't forget to do the kill. At least we'll see your weapons firing properly and everything like that. Do 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 do. Oh, we're going to get two. We're going to see both of them at the same time, aren't we? Wait, what do we have? Oh, it's you. Hello, you. Um, Kill. Reactors. Here we go. And if you could also kill these reactors, that would be amazing. Thank you. Thank you. And focus camera at the front of Bob so we can see. And cannons are firing, missiles are firing, lasers are burning. 
Uh, target destroyed. Any damage? None. Good. Target. Probably gets killed by himself this time around. Good. Okay. Okay, sweet. Do. Who? What? Quote, okay. Sweet. Who do we have? Oh, it's you. Hello, you. You're so cute. You're gonna die. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like one of something I've said in this game already. Okay, what do we have? What do we have? The rocket. Oh, it's you again. Bye. Do, 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 do. You gonna get closer and fire? <clears throat> there we go. You've locked onto us. That means we get to murderize. Missiles! And burning lasers. <clears throat> They're all missiles, it does again. I'm really glad they can disable the warheads. Go kill that. And you know what? You go kill that. We'll do two at once, eh? <clears throat> we'll go do two at once. And now the ships are lining themselves up, so we have to hit the wrong one first. Hopefully, they don't get close enough to I don't want to. I don't want it to be two fight. I'm sorry, I want this to be two fights, not one fight. Okay, your job is to kill that as fast as possible. Oh, it's, it's this one. The weird one with the weird little wiggly tail. Uh, kill the reactor, kill the reactor. No, that's the wrong ship. What? No, that's Bob. Sorry, I fired the wrong one then. Kill, kill. And your job is to kill the other one. Twitch chat is being, is being, being problematic. What with your, your app or with just generally? And come on, become visible. Right, I can go and deal with your targeting system. Uh, you are quite easy to kill usually. Kill that piece, then kill that piece, and we'll come back to you in a moment. Oh, Bob, how's it going? <laughs> we got a target defeat for the other one. power supply to them. We could probably do it, but uh, I think I'm better off having more of these actual damaging lasers. Build. So we remove these, place them with small lasers. They should do more damage. Should we stagger them back a bit like that as well? Yeah, why not? Um, There's a lot of room there for stuff, and the stuff I think should be what? What should we? What stuff should we put in that gap? Extra fight which is always a good idea, but not there. I think we could do some of those in this area. Symmetry is on. Good. We can set this game. We have the cash now, so we can put some uh, shield generators down here and protect this section a little bit. Hey, like that, and then point defense. Like that. We kind of have it how it's supposed to be, but we never get around to getting the shields in place. And that should hopefully be everything you need to run. So if both ships could then get together, we can FTL out of here. Ooh, Model T took some damage as well. Unsure. I can have that many points, wifey. Can I have that many points, wifey? 
Renacy and Tobias, but back with 700 points. I thought I'd repaired you two. <clears throat> okay, I think together you're ready for an FTL jump. How much are you worth, by the way? You're worth a million. You're worth 1.4 million. Well, let's see if the uh, if they're capable of handling a Vanguard mission, shall we? Engage. Vroom. Let's go. <coughs> Shields up. Two to go, I can see them. Come on. Luckily they are like rarely use as well as no power near them. I'm fine with that though. <clears throat> I make sure you survive when I see you. Okay, you two, if you could go and tag it up there, please. Thank you. So remember rightly, uh, the TM has fast acceleration, but uh, Bob the Hammerhead has faster speed overall. Draw command doesn't work. It doesn't, it's been deleted. Do you move that way? Just that this one's having trouble keeping up. A little bit of trouble keeping up. Well, not keeping up. It's having to turn its engines off just so it can help out. Stop dodging each other. It's kind of why I separate you in the first place. Right, you're going, and then boom, you can go now. There we go. Blup. So we should have visual range pretty soon. So we have a nice big sensor array on uh, on that one. <clears throat> okay, that's definitely something different to what we've seen before. So, what do we have? First is there. Reactor, reactor, reactor. Loads of guns. So my best guess is this ship is going to turn this side to us. But just in case it doesn't, Target these reactors here. Well, they were the great ones to target, actually. Target it. And you are also coming in. Your primary target's going to be. I actually feel that targeting these would be more beneficial for you. Okay. Targets have been set. Could you. Maintain the weapon system that angle. If you can maintain a weapon system of that, we're getting close. We'll do as much damage as we can this time round. Let's running away this time round. Can you ram a ship to show us? I could try ramming a ship, but they tend to have evasive action. They tend to try and turn around. You can ram, but it's very, very ineffective. Oh, the amount of damage down this side here just by skimming missiles. So nice. You see why I focus my fire on those reactors. Just keep on firing, destroy everything you can do. Taking some major damage over here. My shields should be keeping up. <clears throat> okay, you're going to have to focus on those reactors there. Well, you focus on that, that. And then those. Come on, stop pushing him! <laughs> Tell you what, back off. Back off. How's that for you? Because it's going to melt for your armor there, because you're not getting any weapon shot. Kill all of these, these are evil. Target targets, fire everything. <clears throat> do, 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 do. So 
don't look like I'm fine right now. Bob, take it to that one. That's your priority right now because the other one's in the way. There we go. You see, once you take it quickly, everything's fine. If you could just focus on that and that. And we're really home free. Now, if you both just take it the one remaining reactor, everyone will be happy. Two hundred sixty-five thousand made, and the damage was twenty thousand. Well then, could you go there? Could you go there? Could try and attack from two separate angles if we can as well. <coughs> that should about do it. Right. So if you could go, boop, and if you. Go. Now both are going to attack that dot, so we can just focus the camera on the dot, and we'll see it when it arrives. Here they come! Right, so you can start the mission for one million points. Well, this is a interesting thing. It has a load of these lasers with multiple shields holding them back. That's only slightly terrifying. Um, who's going to get there first? You are. Okay. Target priorities are going to be these lasers. Are they armor? That's not armor, is it? Kill that. Kill that. Kill that. Kill that. That's your target priorities. Go. <clears throat> when you arrive, you don't give, care about those. Your job is just to take out any other guns. So you're going to be focusing mostly on... Probably just, take, just leave you on general fire, actually. Just let you fight what you want to fire at. Okay, here we go. It's going to go bad or it's going to go good? It's going to go bad. But it might not go entirely bad. Here we go. Can't get you out of the range because those are the best range, so you just get in there, pummel as hard as you can. It's out away! Fire out everything! You're gonna be losing your. Yeah, you've lost power. Where are your shields? No! Bob, no! You can't run away either. You coming in? Right. Your job right now is just to save Bob. Kill. The reactors. Bob's only saving grace right now is to back off as far as you can. Missile range only. And it's not letting it happen. Okay, we're about to lose some stuff here. It's carrying holes right through us right now. We just can't get out of the range. Okay. Take us into weapons range. Maximum fire on. What have you been? You haven't even hit the guy yet. Target that reactor there and that reactor there. Anything you've got, you don't actually have anything. Oh crap. We've literally just lost our entire weapons platform. Bob, if you can, retreat to missile range because that is literally the only weapons you have left, and the longer you can preserve them, the better. Ship so you can back off. Yeah, backing off is not really an option. Um, right now, Bob is he's gone. <clears throat> there are fires inside the hull. The fight submissions are all down. There's yeah, Bob's gone. That's a, a million feet ship done. On the plus side, despite the amount of damage you've taken, you're actually going to win this battle again. Take that reactor core there.
reactor core. I mean, this ship has so many reactor cores, it's just ridiculous. That's gonna run out of ammo. Whoop! That's uh, something dead. Oh, they killed the control room. I mean, both our ships are down. So we're not control room. We can't control the ship in any way. He can keep firing, but it's up to himself. Oh, we were winning that as well at the end. Can we buy a thing? We have 500,000. We could buy a model, the old-fashioned Model TM. A bit cheaty. Right, come on. Can you give me the orders? Good. Can we have to have a battle going on over here? If we can get over here and help, it would be great. Keep firing the missiles! We might be able to win! It's unlikely because I can't target anything, but... Uh, you're not dead yet! There's a... Oh, that... Okay, you're dead now. <laughs> Too many reactors went up in one go. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> we do have a uh, an old-fashioned model TM on the way in, so hopefully this will help out. Right. So first thing, if we can keep our tactical distance, that'd be great. Second, we can work tight weapons. Focus fight on weapons. Rip Bob. Yep. Right. What's the, what's our biggest worries right now, weapon-wise? Uh. Mostly the cannons and the, these energy weapons. This one's going to be the biggest problem. We've got the actual power. So we tag it that first to cut any uh, excess power kings we don't care about. Here we go. Full the fire. Perfect. Ignore that because it's going to run out of juice. Tag it. That. And then back off because it can't follow us that easily. Um, actually, tactical. Where's tactical? That's the ship we're worried about right now. Focus fire on the guns. Can we not put fire on the guns? Thank you. But we're also going to back off to a maximum range because it can't shoot us that easily at that range and it doesn't really have any real real problem with manoeuvring right now. If we can just keep our shields up, we'll be good. Kill the gun, thank you. Next target is going to be that laser thing there that's really annoying me. That. Shields, thank you. Shields went down at one point, that's why I have to tag it again. Okay. Can we get in there and do some real damage? We've got a reactor there and guns. So, take the guns. And bring it into weapons range. As long as our shields are up, we can stop popping in and out over and over again, just doing volleys. Boom, 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 boom. As in, boom! Thank you. There we go. I don't think we have any more of the laser weapons left, so we're pretty much okay just to bubble them now. Right, what do we have? No major weapons apart from the occasional cannon now. Kill that cannon, please. Thank you. That's still somehow attached. Boom, 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 boom. I'm not quite sure how that's attached still. We put bullets through it, but okay. And now, got most of the weapons are down. Yeah, just take in these guys because they're just annoying. Boom, boom, boom. I, they, I, I love these guys because they are very, very useful, but uh, when they're going against your ships, they are so painful. Right. 
Right, we've taken out enough weapons now, time to focus on just the reactors. So the ship only has really two type of weapons on this one for uh, direct fire. Um, this is the older model, of course. It has the um, two cannons and the four energy draining stun weapons. Right, it hit, hit in pretty good with these. It's just uh, it's an older model of the ship, unfortunately, that one could afford. But hopefully, we have to get an upgrade. Perfect, now take that. It's spinning! No! Stop spinning! Do, 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 do. It's a matter of, there we go, it's a matter of waiting game at that point. Oh, the TM. You did good. Can we come back over here? We have a... I'm going to say survivors. Hi, Bob. How are you doing? Hi. There's Simon running around down the hall. So technically, technically, Bob the Hammerhead didn't die because one piece of the bottom of the cell is still alive. Yay! <laughs> Don't hit Bob. <laughs> so 700,000, we can try to repair Bob. Do not do that. Or we can repair the Model TM. Model TM took 1,100, might as well repair you. Bob, 1.4 million. Aww. We can't. We actually cannot repair Bob. That's the repair that's required. <laughs> we can actually do a lesser repair though. Seven hundred thousand repair. Can we do it? If we had no crew, that doesn't count. That would be quick. Can I do it like a partial repair? <laughs> Let's repair all. I can do partial repairs by clicking. Okay. You say there. We can repair the important parts of Bob and do the other parts later. Why give me the button if I can't do it? Oh, they have to be a bit connected directly to the parts that already exist. Okay. Crew quarters. There we go. Got crew. Give me a forward thrusters. Crew. Need a reactor, need an FTL drive. Literally repairing the minimum required to get this partially back online again. <laughs> I want the weapons online, I want to be able to fight. I want the front end of the ship. I don't care about the missile rack back here, that's why I've kind of skipped out of it. Okay. Get the weapons on, get the shields up. Surprised they haven't come down here to start supplying the uh, the things. Oh, because they can't, that's why. There we go. We should start coming down to provide power. <laughs> And okay, so we've got most of the repair there done. <clears throat> okay, we have power. <laughs> this is the jankiest repair ever. Power cells, crew quarters. Here they go. Do I get things up and running? Good. Right. At least that's a stat. Shields. Those. And then... Those. We're at 400,000. This is the stupidest way to repair a ship ever. 
Um, which was a way to sort of do a, a box drag, it'd be so much better, but uh, okay. Um, that's more reactors, just to really help out with that. Get some more power banks. That would keep us going for a bit longer. Okay. <clears throat> now we can start repairing major sections of the hull back here. Look at that. Right, give me some engines. That gives me all my engines back online. And thank you for the save. Just what I needed. should get me back online there we go all the crews running so hopefully we have the funds to do this but uh, I'm hoping they get most of the front part of the ship prepared we can always sell parts if we have to but I don't really want to do that I just want to make sure we can Repair as much of this as we can. <laughs> what are you for? Wow, this is literally the stupidest way I've ever repaired a ship. Right, let's get the armor up and running on the sides. Let's get some crew members back in as well because if we do take the battle, it's going to need crew to man the power grid. <coughs> Okay, let's do this line here. This is all crew. And this side, again, all crew. 24,000. Right, FTL drives. Need those up and running. Because we need to be able to jump. Right, we've spent pretty much all the money we can spend on repairs right now. That's just the stupidest thing you've ever seen. Alright. Hopefully these two ships are ready to jump. Get uh, out of repair mode. <laughs> oh, I didn't even repair the um, command room. In command room. I had to buy the command room through debt. To get that up and running, but okay. So, hey, look, it turns. <laughs> oh, let's get you two somewhere where we can do some work. Can we even jump to anywhere? We cleared this entire sector out. We need 908 professional. Okay, it might be we can't bring you with us for a moment too. Let's take you for a little ride. We have vanguards over here, we have, what's that? Amateur. For me, of course, for the uh, <clears throat> one ship that can actually make the jump. And we'll get there in a moment. Oh. Engage. Get in there, earn some money, repair the rest of the other ship. From what I remember, you were pretty capable. Go. You were capable of dealing with professionals, if I remember rightly. <clears throat> so, primary target is going to be remove that cannon from the front, remove the weapons, remove the cannon, remove the weapons, and remove the reactor. Although, if we can get a shot on that reactor straight away, go for it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Camera lock, please. Primary target is the cannon. Oh, no, it's not. It 
Hit that reactor. That's all you needed to do was hit that reactor. Oh, we took some damage though. Did we? We did not. Reload the cannons. <clears throat> Right, what would we have to do with you? You're quite small. Kill that. Kill that. Kill that. Ah! Stop flying away from me when I'm zoomed in. Miss out the way! <clears throat> Weapon gone. Fight number two. Engine gone. And then there was only one thing to shoot. <laughs> Alright, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Target, go. I know we haven't uh, fully restocked, but you know, why are you not focused on the ship? But if you did it faster, we won't have to worry about it. Go! Go, 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 go. Chasing it down. <clears throat> okay, your target today. Ah! Weapon, weapon, reactor. Go! Ow! Basically on that one. And. Good! <clears throat> We've almost earned enough money to repair the other one, I think. To a bit more degree. At least get an FTL jump out of it. It's got a lot of expensive parts and need replacing, but uh, we're talking about hundreds of thousands. But we need to get a bit more... We need to start working on more, more damaging enemies. It might be with the scrap bomb. bomb. So much vulnerability at the front because of the uh, lack of armor. I'm going to seal it down, it's it it vulnerable as well. And jump. So you're going to be jumping around a little bit just to get some fun. So you're going to get to these. These are vanguards. You're just not good enough for vanguards. So you're going to be jumping back into the old territory over here. But you can't do because you need 187. Jump! First of all, I have to buy uh, things to jump with. Ah, yeah, never had to do that before. Do we just generate them over time or something? Engage. <clears throat> Take us in. Here we go, target. Big weapon, big weapon. Reactor. The little weapons I'm not too bored by. Because once the big cannons are gone, they're not. We have the shields can protect us quite well. So the cannons are a bit more uh, ferocious. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Shields are down. Come on. Give me shields back up again. There we go. There we go. Now to keep shooting. And repair. So we did lose shields for a moment. I wish we could actually uh, <coughs> control these ships as well, it'd be kind of cool. Directly on about, rather than uh, the current method of just click and go. Okay, you're easy, it's take that out, and then up that if you can, that if you can't, but primary focus is there. Missiles, go! See, he's going to take the reactor, hopefully. Reload, reload, quickly. Engage. It's nearby, we'll go straight for it. Oh. 
I remember the, the ship being good, but it's a it's quite a powerful little ship, really. I remember you being a right thing. Kill that. Kill that. That was wrong button. Kill that. Kill that. Kill that. Kill that. Kill that. <clears throat> I remember those point defense weapons being a real pain. Shields are down. Shields back on again. Oh, looks like we've lost the chat for a second. A second, my chat has just died. There we go, it's back again. <laughs> Nicely done, Peter. Thank you. That's where my chat died about a minute ago. I'll do it. Prepare. And go. So how is everyone doing? Are you all having fun? We're getting sort of close to the end anyway, because I want to get this ship repaired, take it into a vanguard battle, and I don't think it'll come out of the far side of it, so... <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so your weapon wise target the reactor. If the missiles can hit from behind, they'll take it out. If not, we'll target the weapons afterwards. That's kind of the plan. So, let the missiles fire. Once the missiles fire, we retarget the weapons. And that's it. Target, target, target. Target, target. And that way, <coughs> missiles will target the reactor itself if they can. Reactor is indeed available. Have you got a weapon I didn't know about? Nope, just me. Just me. Fine. <coughs> do, do. Can we have our shields back in there with a gun, not destroyed? It'd be great, thanks. Just target the reactor. And repair? We lost a lot in that battle. Why did we lose that much? Six crowns. Okay. Where's the next place you can go? It's got some enemies. We're up there. They're not too far away. Hey, Chair Tucker. What did you end up playing? We ended up playing <coughs> Cosmetia. So, Cosmetia. Let's have a bit of a good run. You can go there. Make that jump, and then we'll take what's left of our funds and repair our damaged ship. How did your uh, evening go, Chad? Did you have fun? <coughs> FTL's ready. Jump. Hold. Switch back to the other sector where our ship is hiding. I think it's in this sector. It's that one, is it? We have a ship in one of these sectors that we'd left behind due to damage. Can we not go back and get the ship, or do we have to we actually lost that ship now? Just for leaving? We haven't been there yet, so it's definitely here. It's definitely one of these lower plants on this moon one, this planet here. Enemies none. None, none, and none. It doesn't say about anything in the ship we actually have. We left there. You know, I left the ship there because I thought I'd come back and repair it. Go to fall, come fight the vanguards. So where are you? I think you might actually lose the ship entirely. It didn't actually say you lose it, it says left behind. Which I Kind of assumed means we would get it. Damn it! <clears throat> well, the start of the evening was fun, amazing, even interesting enough to. Even enough, a single piece of information can make an evening go from amazing to totally depressing. That it can. That it can. Target that guy there. Boop. Let's go kill something. <coughs> oh, it's you again. Uh, kill that, kill that, kill that. 
Fire in the hole. Actually, missiles first on that first. Missiles. Then that, then that, then that, then that. Do, 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 do. They just take our shields out so quickly. <laughs> That's why I take all the drama of mine and give it all the drama of mine. Come on, it's one reactor. What do we take? Barely any damage. Excellent. I kind of wonder if we were to go back to the US ship, but it let us have it. But uh, we have to fly the ship back there, which is kind of annoying. <clears throat> well, it's going to be interesting. We're moving away, luckily. Okay, kill that. Kill that now. Okay, but anything else, that weapon dies. <coughs> kill it. Missiles, kill the reactor. No, not dead yet. Kill it. Thank you. No, that was my one to worry about because. That weapon is just horrible. Alright, what do you have for me to kill? Um, kill? Go straight for the reactors, actually. Because it'll get that on the way, hopefully. And you can begin turning. There we go. Can we focus the camera, please? Yes, we, I thought we might take that into the process. Boom. No armor around them, so they're quite easy to take out. So uh, no shielding. And then finally, take us in. I thought it Total Alpha Tango was there tonight. Uh, it seems interesting. Well, we focusing our camera on anything right now. Thank you. We were floating away for a second then. Here we go, and you're literally just a cannon on the front. Take the back, because it will take the cannon out in the first volley, and the missiles will go around the back anyway. Do you really think turning your engine to me would uh, protect your uh, your weapons? Because I'll just drill a hole through if we have to. Uh, no, just them alphas. There are two version subs. Right. <clears throat> we got some cash. We could try and jump back here so we can do the repair yet. We need 198 to get to there. Pretty sure that was the location we had to go, we came from. Hopefully our ship is there and we can do some more repairs on it and get it out of there. I don't want to think that ship's be wasted because we did actually uh, have some quite expensive stuff on that ship and then if we lost it, that's kind of annoying. Come on. Thank you. Okay, so the ship is still there. It's just that the game decided to pretend we didn't have it. Do you like my ship? <laughs> we don't have the money to repair it, not even close. But uh, but if we can, repair what we can. So we need 600,000 to repair it. We could repair it, but we need FTL fuel first. So we're in a repair mode. So give me the FTL drive. And for now, that's all we can really have is the FTL drive repaired. But you should be able to jump now. I 
he, he could come good if you if you could come out of repair mode if you could then go and meet we can try and get these guys to jump somewhere together and uh, repair them with things over time you both should know that the destination a team is what you told i understand i was having to cheer you up some you two prepare a jump can we jump to there we require 406. We have a maximum of 600. We can buy some FTL, but not enough for the jump. The only things left in this sector are uh, Vanguard, unfortunately. Uh. Uh, go, Pete, go! If we want to get over here, where we can just do some small professional battles, 603 is what we need. We have 600 in the capable. Let's try and buy some FTL fuel. Get me there. Buy me the maximum fuel. It will put us into debt by quite a large amount. But hopefully, we'll be able to get somewhere we can do a jump and do some fights. Because we can do some fights, we can make cash. You're 75% ready, come on. It's a door, isn't it? Yep, it's a door. Just gonna be have all this repair? That'd be kind of stupid if we didn't have it all. That's all I'm going to do because I think it's a bit cheesy to do too much more. Um, but she was up to get us FTL drive done. There we go. Engage. We are 300,000 in debt right now because of that ship. <sighs> ah. Okay. Um, ship pom poms in the doorway. <laughs> um. The red areas are the damage section speed. Yes, they are there. This ship is massive damage. Remember, it only had like that corner piece there was left. So we are slowly trying to repair it. And as you see, all this is red damage. We've not repaired. And you can see in the red, the little mini map down here, it's, it's all the main structure. A lot of this we shouldn't have had back actually. We've got a lot of it back, even though we're in debt. So we're going to try and do another FTL jump for the letters. We need to bring both these ships somewhere where we can actually earn some cash to repair it with. To start it, I would like to just jump to there. We need 615, which means it's not a possible jump. So I need to buy more fuel. Will it let me have the fuel is the question? It will. If I can't make that jump, I'll do to it being a too big a jump. That one, however, we can do. Jump us there. And then we'll be able to hopefully earn most of that money back. Professionals are quite well paying. Unfortunately, we're paying a lot of money for FTL jumps. Dun, 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 dun. Honestly, I don't expect to be able to complete this jump. But we're going to professional anyway. 360 we need. Dun, 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 dun. <clears throat> Here we go. One battle with a normal ship and a severely an old ship and a severely damaged ship. <clears throat> it's gonna be fun. So you two, how about we work together on this one? Here we go, and 
Oh, it's you. How 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 delightful. Target the reactor. If we can get a lucky shot with the missiles, great. And once the missile volley is done. Ah! Stop moving around too much. We just keep firing different weapons. Can we focus on the part of the ship that's not going to move too much? <coughs> Come on! Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Now you took some damage in that, didn't you? You did. Prepare. Well, I'm going to go to bed and cry over. Where we were. You guys have fun. Night. Good night, Chat Hope you feel a bit better in the morning. Feel free to uh, give me a shout if you want to talk or anything. I don't want to prepare this whole thing. Repair all the missile tubes. <coughs> Running speed. Boom. Here we go. But there. Hell. Tiny. Weapons. That one, that one, and that one. Okay. Yes. It's tiny and has a few weapons, so let's earn some cash. This is a professional round, so this should be worth some money to hopefully get that million back in the bank. And the reactor. See, I think that was our main problem there. Is our weapons and everything that lose power because it's just not sufficient amount of power delivery in this area. I think it's a crew issue more than anything else. I also think it's because they all go to one reactor. Rather than going to these reactors over here for some reason. So there's insufficient power, even though there's all these reactors, they're only using that one. I don't know why they do that. Here we go. <clears throat> I wish I were to make him operate in the uh, formation so they wouldn't break apart. Because right now he's going to get there long before we do. Just take the reactor out, right? Turn and go. That's a much smaller ship. Here we go. Back into another battle. This one's going to be... Kill that, kill that, then that, then that, then that. Go. Because those things in the front are quite evil. Missiles! And everything else we have. Boom. Where are the crew back here is the real question. I wonder... We can't do it, but I wonder if we put some doors in there. Yeah, it's actually blocked my uh, build tool. I think... Let's have a look. Build... If we put doors, more doors in these missile things, would they uh, work better? Like that, yeah. We can actually afford these, but I'm just going to put them doors in for faster access. I think a lot of the speed problems are to do with uh, lack of access to the quick access to them. I'm not going to put cross doors because I use these to get from side to side, but uh, this will hopefully help them 
do this. Right, so when we get cash, we can do that. It will be probably a fast item never. But they both should be ready to jump. 265. Jump me! DJ is still awake. Hey, DJ! Engage! Hey, just what I needed. Four, 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 six people, four, six people in my family can't even open doors when they take the trash out. The neighbors is burning yard waste under the huge oak tree, about ten meters from my house. So much smoke. Ah, oh, Mr. Washington, so much stuff. This guy, however, can be killed. Kill the iron forget, kill that weapon, kill that, kill that first. Kill that. Well, get, you have a tag of ease now, don't you? Kill the weapon, kill the reactor. Because uh, you're going to need to do that, because you're going to get bubbled, and you need to get in here and do the same thing you kill. Just kill that if you can. You can do this by yourself while we pay our attention over here. Excellent. One down. Two down. Bob, any damages? No damages. Okay. And you took some damages because you were hit on the side. Go. I sent them on different missions this time around. They can handle it themselves. I believe they're independent enough. Uh, da, 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 da. uh called the fire department non emergency line and file a complaint. It's legal to all year round to burn stuff here. Uh, and under a massive tree, two flames like one meter from limbs. I would assume in Florida, the uh, not is it just illegal to burn it out there just because of the pollution of people and stuff and whatnot, but due to the sheer it being so warm and dry all the time that uh, I'm get fire spread quickly sometimes. Or am I wrong on that one? Right, you tag it that just like that. The reactors are fairly well exposed. And boom, 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 boom. and. Change target. Here we go. Kill that, then that, then that. Go. <clears throat> the thing to care about the anti shield stuff. Yeah, we got the heat lightning right now as well. Yeah, because we, I thought it'd be the heat related stuff. Prepare to fire. Fire. So you too, where are you going? <laughs> FTL, next place, Veteran. So how do I earn the uh, FTL money? Because I never did buy it until recently, something's changed. Do we get it for killing the enemies or do we earn it over time or what normally? <laughs> Hello. <clears throat> um, let's start by killing these, and then anything else I don't care about. Power, 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 and we've got a gun there. So your ammo's back here, is it? Yeah. Well then, go for the reactors. Do 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 do. do. 
but smells horrible and gives us headaches. Yeah, because it can kill you. And yeah, look okay. here. It's leaving us. No. We complained several times, but nothing really happens. We had the people using fire pits on both sides of our house. We had to close up everything because neighbors on one side burn construction wood. And that's yeah, that's nasty stuff. Weapon, 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 go! Who's first? The dealership's first, okay. <laughs> There's a massive influx of missiles just then. So how much were the repairs on that one? Nine grand. Very expensive. But we're closing up, we're still getting our money back. I don't think we're gonna get it back by the end of the stream though, I'll tell you the truth. <coughs> right, what do we have weapon wise? We have a large cannon, a couple of lasers, a small one, and a reactor. Go for them, take an eye out. We can do it! It hurts the house. Yeah. I can't imagine the smell. Yeah. The problem is now the big little ships can get in the way of the uh, big ships so they can't see each other. We can't see targets so they can't fire. Missiles away! And missiles away! And target obliterated! Kind of confused by this. So really a big slowdown right there. It could be the door, but what are you? You're the oh yeah, you're that one. Um, target the reactor because it goes straight through the weapons. Here we go. Fire everything. I mean everything, missiles a lot. He comes some missiles, how about some... Uh... <laughs> Luckily he didn't get to fire his weapon, because that weapon, I still dislike that weapon. Here we go! You can catch them on camera doing it. The guy is a contractor, so I guess he makes enough money to pay the fines. Okay, so what do we have? Um, the last cannon. So we have a last cannon and energy drain. So energy drain goes away. Last cannon goes away. Reactor goes away. Ship goes away. Missiles are not a problem because my uh, big ship has anti-missile capabilities. Here we go. Fire back! Oh, engine gone. I wish the big ship would have been nearby then. Can you even run away from that? Come on, keep firing. Bob! Can you come in and help? Your anti-missile defense is needed. <laughs> that was a game of repeat. Oh, I have to for some reason. You made a mistake there, ship. You attacked the, the ship with all the weapons. Damage was 3 credits, and your damage for losing an engine to sell is 43 credits. But we are definitely up from where we were before. Uh, 
Okay, beginning ready for FTL jump. Veteran. Elite. Okay, give me electric. Begin the jump. <clears throat> so we're getting to that point now where it's getting very quite repetitive because we can't upgrade anything because we had so much debt. So we're getting close to uh, ending, I think. Just uh, hoping we can get the money back. So I'd love to get to like to zero and just be say we made it all back, but I don't think we're going to be able to do that with the uh, with the amount of things we've got here and these type of ships. We might need to scrap both of these too. It's not a bad idea. Scrap both of them and make ever a brand new one or buy one of the uh, the bigger upgraded versions later on. So, same as before, target that reactor there. Because when it turns to push weapons towards you, it will go. your guns have to go right through the weapons first. Ha ha! Yeah, that was probably a bad idea, but I'm back to my uh, missile launchers. Here we go! We're catching up on you, DJ. Watch out. <laughs> Well, we can you saturate the ground so they can use pets to make sure there wasn't? <laughs> That'd be interesting. Pete, your missions are too easy. Which missions? The missions on the chat or the missions on the game? Because right now we're just we're just grinding cash to get so we can build stuff. Because right now we're minus a million, and we are also we have also got quite powerful weapons on these ships. <clears throat> I mean, between these two, if we were to scrap them, both worth 1.4 million. And TM's worth 320. It would be fun for them. <laughs> both of you, same thing, target the reactors because again when you remove the reactors they don't tend to do too well on the whole shooting thing on the plus side we have a friend that's arrived can you kill it please pretty quickly thank you just in time for Bob's arrival actually Come on, Bob. Missiles away. There we go. Missiles away. Nice little bit of missile swarming, eh? <clears throat> do, 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 do. Missions on chat. Well, the thing about missions on chat is it was actually you that complained that they were too hard and weren't paying out enough and they could have reduced difficulty. So, you know. But I'm more than happy to send this up for moderators. Come on, it's one little reactor, just dig it out. There it goes. And the damage was nothing, basically. Go! Once again, they know they know it was me. Yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? When you uh, want to do something, but the note with you and the people aren't nice uh, sometimes. Um, just kill the reactors. Too many possible options. <coughs> it's a small ship compared to ours. Thirty-four thousand. We are definitely getting back that money pretty quickly. We just need to keep on the pressure. Time to go to an elite level. Okay, elite. Will this be the downfall? We haven't tried an elite in a while. 
You changed it to 60% for all except for me, mods, didn't you? No, they're all the same. The gate, uh, the, uh, the game, the story, the heist is 60% across the board. No differences. Everyone's at 60% chance to win. Because you win, when I did that, you complained at me for doing that as well. So, screw it. Everyone gets a better chance to win. <coughs> Whoop. Here we go. Charge up all the shields. Get all the weapons right online. And then we begin. This is elite. So how about you don't, you know, just sort of sit behind again? Because you're going by yourself, you get yourself killed, don't you? Uh, yeah, I've heard of you put tuna fish across the bottom of the windshield. <laughs> Can I get? <laughs> Six is too high. You weren't here earlier, DJ. <laughs> when me and wife had died, what ten times in a row? Yeah, I'd be about that. <clears throat> Did, 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 did. Oh, look at that for a ship, eh? That's actually the one on the home, on the actual uh, loading screen when you first load the game up. I thought it was just a, a drawing. I didn't realize it was actually designed in the game. Well, target its reactors. Very nice ship. Very well done. Find out who gets here first, shall we? It's Bob. Hey, Bob. Could you spam the area and just... Thank you. <clears throat> Much appreciated, thanks. Do -de 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 -de. Love it. I love to do it. Yep, but the note was me. So I was the only one who... Who got pissed off enough to find a pack and make their life hell. Yep, yeah, that's again the same problem, isn't it? Here we go. Oh, it's this big guy again. These were annoying. Okay, so we start with these. You just tag it one reactor at a time. That's all you can do. Here we go. We're going to take some damage on this one. Well, if we did last time around anyway. <laughs> it's too easy now. We're finally catching up on him. Ooh. Come on, shields. Keep the shields operational. We just blast our way through. Major, major damage. Not to us, to them. Alright. Looks like they only have two sections left. We have to worry about that one, which is being pulled right now. Perfect. And that one there. Come on, take it out. There we go. We did take some damage in the process. But uh, we did good. Now go. We're blowing ourselves. We're blowing ourselves up. What? What? You mean our missiles are in ourselves? Yeah, for some reason they don't do any damage at all. The uh, devs have made it so that uh, your own ships won't actually hurt you. Your own missiles won't hurt your own ships. For some reason. Kind of odd one, don't you think? Here we go. Full throttle. Here we go. Now it's got that, but I want to take these reactors because I got a feeling we can hit those really easily. Oh, nice. Get behind it as well. Hi. Sorry for the missile spam. No, sorry. In the slightest. <laughs> Any damage? Yep. Who? 
You! Ah, there was no... Bob didn't get any damage. Nice! Okay, let's jump over here. We have an elite. And then a vanguard. I'm going to avoid the vanguard for now. So, take me to an elite. We're cutting for that cash. We've knocked off nearly half of the, half the debt already. We're doing good. Now we go to this area. Come on! Little ship. <coughs> Engage. Yeah, I've noticed that the missiles quite often they hit and they explode, but they don't do any damage at all, which is fine. I'm not sure if our ship hits the other ship. I'm not sure, but I know if our ship hits itself, because I've seen that quite a few times. I'm going to give it a second delay, give that chance, chance to accelerate, because I want these to hit at the same time. And they've been doing this really annoying thing where they're driving at separate times. Go! Here we go! Oh, it's that guy again, which is why we don't want to be driving at separate times. So, targets are going to be, again, um, probably need to do multiple targets on these. Little ship. Your job is going to be target. Probably the energy damage weapons are really annoying. But uh, my thing is you go for the cannon ammo. Whereas. Big ship. You're going to go for the reactors. Okay, let's just go. Let's see. <clears throat> Here we go. Firing. Keep on moving. It has got missiles up, but we have anti-missiles up on that big ship. And we're blasting. Do you focus on that? Because you can't see a lot of missiles in the way. On, blast them away! Keep firing! Yeah, we're just drilling right now. Excellent. Now both ships have the same target. The reactors. Focus all far! This is just he's putting all weapons on the ground. There we go. Now we did take some damage in that, so let's get the repairs done. And go. You just turn around first because you don't have anti missile defense. Stop pretending you do. Come on, big ship. Go on, Bob. Let's go. Ooh, you're new. We haven't seen you before. Uh, da, 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 da. So, primary tank is going to be that weapon. And then that reactor. And then that reactor. Because we should be able to drill right through the ship, hopefully. Okay, it's got loads of weapons on the front. It's going to want to turn towards us as soon as it sees us. <laughs> Lol, that one looks like a sea cucumber. It does a bit, doesn't it? <laughs> and here we go. Full back. And. Target the reactors. They're getting kind of annoying right now. I hate it when ships get smart and turn. <laughs> and go. Four grand worth of damage. Now, hopefully, the little ship's going to go up first. Hopefully, the little ship doesn't get itself killed doing this. Here we go. Here we go. Go, 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 go. Okay, the little ship's going to get itself killed doing this. 
Right. Okay. Since you're the first one in, your primary target is going to be take out the electro bolts, then the reactor. When you arrive, you're going to have missile spam on your side, so your job is going to be just target the reactors. It's got... I didn't even see those. Bob! Take them out! much more damage when you actually take the right weapons. I didn't even know it had those uh, really bad weapons on board. But look at the amount of... Whoa! There was fire burning for the ship. Model TM is basically gone. Two hundred thousand in repairs. Can we scrap it? Forget destroy parts. Nope. Can we scrap the chip? Sell it. Right, we sold the ship because it wasn't worth the repair. <clears throat> so now we only have one ship and it's Bob. Hey Bob! So we're not doing vanguards because vanguards are lethal to us anyway and we only have one ship now. So put me a veteran jump please and Bob's going to go deal with the veterans. Ouch. Yeah. Ouch. 93,000 though. We're almost to the point of breaking even after we lost two 1 million, 1 million credit chips. Well, one and a half. No, we've lost two million. Two 1 million ships. We had to build a, a, a little one to repair to catch up. Okay, get yourself uh, powered up and silly course. Shields are up. Here we go. Go, Bob, go. Right, we have to be very smart about targeting weapons now. We can't just spam them. So, given this ship, target that. Because my personal opinion is that this is not shielded sufficiently to withstand the barrage, so here we go. Will you stop running away? We're getting attacked by the one on the side. It tried. Didn't catch up to us. Really? It's got all that out and left the reactor intact. Thank you. Right. Yeah, it, it sort of came for us, but it never got close enough to actually get to us. But uh, we'll, we'll get it. Because we're going now. I may have to deal with two of them if it's not careful. Oh, it's you again. Will you die? You're so annoying. How's our power distribution going right now? It was closing in very fast. It was. I was watching it, but I was kind of half watching it at the time. But thank you for letting me know. Thank you for the bits. Come on, get in there. I think I got two shield generators really quickly. If we do another shield generator just back here, just to stop that kind of thing from getting through to the power systems. Or we can just kill whatever's coming up towards us now. But yeah, that, there's only like two shields, they went through both shields really quickly. My new armor plating, do you like it? <laughs> right, what do you have on you? 
Two big cannons, two small cannons. Those. Right. Target the reactor, take the reactor, because if we can get the reactors, one way or the other. Stop running away. Come back and fly straight at me. Because I want to hit that. And then that. We got a hood ornament. <laughs> We're still carrying it as well, if you look. <laughs> That's even better. They're big doom lasers that hurt so much. Our, uh, hitting that to the bus. <laughs> oh, that actually saved us no end of pain just then. Thank you. Can we take it with us to the other battles? <laughs> Dip, 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 dip. Sorry, my chat is a bit. I can't see my uh, chat probably now. I clicked on something. There we go. Here we go. Coming in. Ooh, you're new as well. I like this black pattern. It looks like it's a gap in the ship, doesn't it? Okay, so we have a shield generator there. <coughs> it's got a big cannon. We have an energy drainer, energy drainer, big cannon. Take a reactor, take a reactor, go. Whoa! This has in the root. What is, what is Bob's uh, missile defense like? This is not a particularly good missile defense because they're going for the front. I remember now, Bob has uh, a weakness at the front. It's all the debris on the wind team. And we're in profit again! <laughs> okay. Take me to an elite jump. <clears throat> we are in profit. Hold on a minute, MVP. <laughs> it looks like a hat. <laughs> it did a bit look like a hat, didn't it? And I like the way it just sort of fully protected us, though. That was brilliant. <clears throat> Alright. We are now in profit. We are now able to buy stuff upgrades, make the ship better. So, or we can buy a second ship. So, if you've seen any mistakes, any design faults in the Bob build, let me know, we're going to correct it now we've got the actual funding to do so. One of the things I'd like to do is take out some of these doors between the reactors. So I personally think they're using those. To, so that's why they're using this door and that one and that one. You know, they're not using them properly. Sure, we'll find out because that's one of the problems I've seen them doing is they're using that reactor mostly when it's out. Oh, this is not good. All right, we're going to hold our maximum distance. Let missiles do most of the work. So take us in. Missile range. We may not be able to do that though, they have quite a few engines. <coughs> Primary targets are going to be the reactors. Actually, primary targets, if we just take out these sections here, it make it much harder for it to follow us. Missile! There we go. So we do a whole lot of damage to that first volley. We always do. And then we focus our fire on probably the wrong thing, actually, on this ship. But, it does help. We are taking some damage here though. <clears throat> Come on guys, we can do this. Yes. The one down, take it that one. We do it, Come on. Uh, we need to get the other whatever is in the middle of for symmetry. It's a, yeah, it's a, it's a, um, Sensor area, we don't need two of them, so we need something else to put in that spot that's about the right size. And then kill.
kill that one, and that's it. Everything's dead. We need to do a pair because it's a. That battle's always expensive, right? So we need something. This is a, a sensor. We don't need two sensors. <clears throat> so we just need to find something else that'll fit in that gap to that side to, to fill it in. So. What we have that's through uh, well, the missile factory is big because we can put a missile factory there and provide extra missiles, or we could put another reactor in. It may be smaller, but we could put it in. Unfortunately, it's one of those things they chose to make it a three by three, knowing that you can't do it in the caps put it in the center. You only need one of them. What's our FTL um, efficiency like? 74%. What would happen if we were to put, say, another FTL engine there? 92%. Where is the faltering FTL right now? It's on the wings. So we would move those FTL reactors out. Give me an FTL drive and two fire extinguishers. There we go. So it's got something there at least. Let's roll. Are you coming with us? No. Oh, it's a shame. All right. We've got all the doors I wanted, though. Let's see if that makes a big difference down this corridor. Okay, what do we have? What do we have? Uh, you don't have any of the Doom weapons I don't like. So it's just a matter of taking out the two main big cannons, which are, will be painful. Target the ammo behind them, target the reactor, target the reactor. In that order. That would be fine. Now let's we'll see, how are these uh, guys doing when it comes to missiles? Because we're getting quite a slow at these points here. Hopefully all these extra doors will let them go around. If we can cut the front section and move it forward, and add, add in a space for rear-facing shield on the hammer section. We could just take out one of the crew quarters, potentially do that, but... Uh, <coughs> It's got armor there and it never gets hit there, so. It's not really been an issue for us so far. Our biggest problem is we're taking damage on the front right now. We take a lot of damage. When we take damage, it's always here on this front piece. Because these shields go down pretty quickly. Hi! Okay, I saw you coming. You've got one of them, <coughs> and one of them, and one of them, and one of them, and one of them, and all the other things as well that we'd like to see. Well, let's hope you die quickly. Again, no that damage to the back. All the damage is here on the front. Where the where we have we have these like double triple overlays, no problem. But when we have these like single overlays, it causes us a fair issue. So we should be looking at maybe doing something here. Um, because it's here that's sort of failing a lot. Could we fit another shield in there maybe somewhere? Just take a weapon out to do it though, that's the only downside. <clears throat> I 
did that, we'd have to lose the armor. That'd be really bad for us. Uh, can we make Bob the great, greater hammer with a wider hammer for redundant shield in front and have a recess shielding to cover the shield generators? You can't really do recess shielding that well because you lose a lot of space. You have to, the shield generator is four blocks by two. So you lose a lot of space for recess shielding. So if we put it there, we'd have to lose that reactor. Put it there, we'd have to lose the walkway and the, you lose a lot of space for recess shielding. <coughs> I like the idea though. So we could probably try that in some, in a different build maybe. I mean, I could put it there, but it blocks their view. So yeah, it's just, we, we, I think we need to do a full new build if we're gonna do that. I like the idea though. But I think we make it, I think you're like your idea. We make it wider on both sides. And we do double shielding at every point wherever there's a shield, it becomes a double shield. So, double shield there. Let's just do the delete tool a moment. <coughs> delete all that. Just so we can complain we continue to on doing it. Double shield followed by three electrical bolts. Followed by double shield. Followed by three small lasers. Followed by a single shield on the outside. Because of that. Yeah. Single shield on the outside, it's a very rarely hit area. Then these can be extended out to cause that coverage problem. If you can go there, you can't go there unfortunately, there's a downside to it. Ugh. I wish it weren't so big for the outside piece. I can put you there, then you guys can come forward to there. Point defense guns can also come forward to there. And then armor plate. Gets to go like that. Okay, so almost so beep beep beep. But I didn't actually hit the beep though. That's weird. Normally I hear the beep when you do that beeps. Armor plating in place. Okay, and then here we do the same. We have to do all the tidy armor as well, we haven't done that yet. Okay, that's that, that's that, that's that, done. Corridors needed to get to these places. It's good. Uh, the beep lagged about 15 seconds and beeped while you were reading. Ah, okay, sorry. I didn't actually hear it, so uh, I can Point defense. And they're fine. We're going to have this point forward like that. That's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Put three of these in the front. They'd be kind of vulnerable, but uh, they could do that, but don't want to make them vulnerable. So, no. Okay. Hammer. So, first of all, any area like this gets immediately a layer of armor, and because these are quite vulnerable here, I'm going to use a double layer. Mostly because I can. Like that, and then that. Because that will actually make it more protected against weapon fire. These, unfortunately, are too far back, so they need to be brought forward. There they go. That gives them a firing arc that they can actually use. And corridor that piece. Corridor that piece. We're getting extra rooms, you see, we can put stuff in. So, because we're getting a lot of problem with power, we can put some more reactors in place. Um, yeah. Give me a reactor do all there. We have an armor plating top section because weapon fire that'll do nicely corridors there 
Armor plating wedge, not wedge, block, because that weapon's there. And the point defense gun needs to move forward a lot. So there, and then that can be armored there. Like that. Because of this, we can actually go over a nicer slope. Like that. Like that. And then a hammer square. How does that look? That should be extra shielding. A lot of extra shielding in areas where it wasn't before. Only one shield here, but I don't feel this area is actually vital for anything. <clears throat> so let's get them all wired up. Let's see what we got. Let's see if it's any good, shall we? I slow down these sections, I don't know really why. Is it, is it the doors? I didn't uh, get that properly. Oops. Point defense gun. Has no way to get to power. That point defense gun is okay there, but I would prefer it to be forward a bit. You know what? I want to get at the back there. We've got two at the back. We've got one covering the back piece here. We just don't have any uh, point defense weapons back here at all. I thought we had some. Point defense at the back. Give me a door there. And I can put a couple over here, maybe. But it's a bit pushing it for... Uh, Got two there. I don't want to remove an engine for it, so we're kind of stuck with what we've got right now. It's fine. Just power them up. There they go. Now I could, if we have enough crew, we don't really have enough crew for it. I could remove a bunk and put a shield generator facing backwards for you, but uh, we don't really have the crew to remove for it, unfortunately. We have a fire extinguisher we can't get to, though. Okay, let's take it into battle, shall we? And find out. Hello, Smudge. Welcome back. Much, 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 much. Hello, Smudge, much. Here we go. Let's get the shields up. <laughs> hey, Blank Gaming, welcome back. Jesus Christ, Peter, go to bed. It's only 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> Pets the sweet boy. Yeah, you see, if I went to bed, then wifey and Miss Washington wouldn't be able to see this picture. So sweet. Had you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's take one of these guys out and see how well the new additions do to the ship. And that's much. Focus. Oh, by now, by the way, this is how I do most of my work as well during the day. <laughs> With a smudge walking back and forward in front of me. Right, we have missile launchers and a few of them as well. Just two there, there's one there. Nothing major on the back and side though. The floor just gone. Up, you go. And down, you go. Go to sleep. Uh, not even our longest stream. <laughs> No, and we used to start streams an hour later, don't forget as well. Right, we have missiles. Look, we have some defence. We don't have much defence, but we have some. We have big guns coming towards us. I think our best thing here is just to take off the big guns, because they're the ones that are the most dangerous. Then just go straight for the reactors. Oh, we didn't even see those guys. Um, priority targets. Take out the energy draining weapons first, then the big guns, then the reactors. 
Take us in. Here we go. It's running away from us. Here we go. So we're now back to one time speed. Focus the camera there. And focus that camera here and we'll see how the damage goes. We've got a lot more shields now. <clears throat> I think we took that took the full missile brunt there, so I'm really glad we uh, put double shielding there. Come on, we can do it! Yes, okay, that's the energy weapons, energy drain weapons gone. With a gap in our shields. Kill the big guns. Good. And then, then just fire through everything else that's in the way. Excellent. Pretty much what I want you to do as well. Turn that uh, side to me. And let me just rip through your, your armor. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Yes. All explosions from the ammo. 174,000. We drained all of our energy in these banks. I think H Rex really did help there. Um, we took some damage here. This, this, there was a missile volley that just wiped out both shields immediately, and then the cannon shots hit here as well. That did so much damage, that missile volley, but yeah, that did, it, it sort of did really help us out there, that double shielding everything now. This damage was done by energy draining weapons. That basically lowered the shields. So we did quite good. It actually held up really well. So let's go take another one. And I think we are getting close to the end of the stream maybe in about when we completed another couple of levels. I wanna I wanna get our money back to a decent level, so when we come back to another stream in the future, then we can say, hey, we've got uh, some money to spend and build with. What do we have to deal with here, though? That's the back of the ship, I'm guessing? Because, oh, whoa! Yeah, that's the back of the ship! That's the weapons array! Okay, your job is to maintain maximum distance. You are not getting close to this thing. We're coming close slowly, because I want you to hit this with missiles. It's got big engines, so I think our first attack is going to be to take out that reactor and that reactor, just to take out its uh, main set of engines, because they're on the outsides. Here we go. It's going to see us. It's turning around. Again, we're going to try and keep our distance. Because once it starts to approach us, it's going to approach us pretty quickly. Here we go, has it seen us? Lot of energy drainers. It's got two. One there and one there. I don't see any others. They're mostly engines. I mean, they do look a bit like the engines when they're firing, though. <coughs> It's got the normal lasers, the normal actual blaster lasers. It's got cannons and shields, but only two drainers, which is lucky because we're attacking those immediately. But if we can keep our distance, it won't be a problem. If we can't, however, it'll become a very big problem very quickly. And if we if we can't keep our distance, I will uh, tell the ship to target the energy drainers first. Okay. We can't keep the distance, so energy drain to go. Tag it. Tag it. Do it. Yes. Take that one out as well. That pretty much wipes out most of the weapons. And then the main reactor is left. 122,000. We took damage off mostly armor. Nice. Good job keeping distance. I'm gonna ram them. <laughs> That's what they do when you say keep your distance. Smudge raid. Hey, Smudge. Welcome back again. 
Uh, I should start streaming right after Peter ends. That way I can make him. Uh, Mr. Washington Toad, stay up. <laughs> you say it like it's not a breakfast. The only thing I will do when this stream ends, honestly speaking, is I'll go into the kitchen, make a drink, and I will sit and watch a YouTube video or so. And that. So if you were to stream, I'd just watch your stream instead. <laughs> I'm not going to go to sleep because of it. It's much. Can you move? You put your, you hook your tail around my microphone. I can only imagine what that sounded like to people. <laughs> Alright, take us in. And we will only get to about seven, eight hundred thousand before we uh, end the stream. What's the bill to me? I can't afford to subscribe. Aww. <clears throat> this was Amazon Prime, do you? That one. That one. Uh, Miss Washington has to post the as much icon for me. Yeah, just ask to say, Miss Washington, can you uh, post as much for me? And he'll do it because he's a very nice person. <laughs> I can hear the gun firing, don't worry. Missiles, there we go. And then target the weapons I want you to target. The weapons, the weapons, the, uh... Yeah, we're just blasting the car right now, just trying to get through. We didn't strip the guns off to turn into the reactors, for the most part. Tight done. Damage is... A shell must have got right through there. You see why I put armor there though, can't you? <laughs> um, well, well, now I don't wanna. Do you have Amazon Prime? Five hundred and thirty thousand. Ne nearly there. One more round. What's this one? Veteran. I say we give veterans a try. I love the baby. Gotta play taxi for kids. Okay, Mr. Washington Toad, we're not going to be too much longer, so you may have missed the end. But uh, thank you for being here and all the streams. If you if you're not back in time. Engage. Hey, it's much. Welcome back again. Raise the shields. Okay, so let's go for that guy first. Mostly because he's there on my cursor. <coughs> And uh, see what we can do. Do, 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 do. Hello. We've seen you before. Yes, we have. We've seen you a few times. Kill that. Kill that. Oh, no. <coughs> uh, I want a cat, but I would die. Make me not allergic. <coughs> My dad uh, has a really fluffy cat. Well, not fluffy, but just a lot of big fur. And uh, she just got groomed yesterday. Where so they came in, people came to the house and they combed all the fur, got all any knots might be there. She's a bit an elderly cat, so. And so they groomed her and they cut some knots out and they trimmed the fur a little bit and you know, all the normal stuff. Turns out one of the cat groomers is allergic to cats. <clears throat> yeah, she takes a herbal a herbal uh, remedy to uh, be able to do a job. Yeah, she actually takes a, a herbal a herbal treatment just to be able to do a job of looking after cats uh, treating, and grooming cats. It's really weird that there's a cat groomer that's allergic to cats. And uh, I suppose you're sent to abuse the fact that he knows that uh, when I'm live streaming he gets extra treats. He's abusing that fact now. 
<coughs> oh, so ferrets. Ferrets are cool. My neighbor's got ferrets. They're, they're nice animals. Now that one looks fierce. That was, uh, we've had that one a few times before. It's just painted red this time around. But you've got to take out that laser weapon because if you don't take that laser out, it will do some major, major damage. Right, what do we have? Ooh, you, Honey Ran. I don't remember seeing you before. I like the colour scheme. Kill. Oh, I have seen you before. Kill the laser. Kill the erector. That's what we do normally. <coughs> the one we don't want to see is the one with like five layers of uh, of shielding ahead of uh, beams. Because those are just pure evil. Here we go. <coughs> yeah, that wouldn't work for me as I've got a severe reaction. There were injections I could take. I Yeah, possibly. Probably wouldn't go that far myself to deal with it. I'd just probably just avoid the cats easier. But, uh... Hi. <laughs> Random ship driving by. Hello. Have we met before? Energy drainer, energy drainer. Reactor, reactor. I, like, I still like some of the designs though. They are quite kind of good designs. <coughs> I had a friend who had to take an allergy medication to keep his grandma's cat. It was the biggest ginger sweetie. By the cat. <laughs> but it looked fierce. <laughs> Ow. That one must have stung a little bit. I really wish it was causing the bottlenecks here. Oh, it might be a good idea. Splitting these guys up a little bit. So if we move the missile launchers out by one square each, like that. Right? Then we can go into the ammo stuff and say missile factories. Put you there. And there. And then the ammo storage can go. Not ammo storage, missile storage can go back there. Like that. <coughs> With doors. Down the sides. Don't want them on the top and bottom, they don't need to be there. Because that would give them a lot of access to different areas um, and there's maybe more production so we keep up production faster. I'm thinking we get rid of this maybe even and put in there a walkway to get across faster and maybe even a complete crew quarters because we are a little bit low on crew. Uh, yes, the cat, my bad. <laughs> I know what you meant. I was having fun. And that is why you don't build your ship in a circle. That's one of the reasons. Also, trying to steer it is a problem. Oh, did they not put doors on these again? Yes. Game. Give me a door there. Should you move forward a notch? A little bit of game logic just goes to miss sometimes with these. Go forward a bit more. Make the thaws a bit more accessible. Now you're in the thrust around it. Yep. So you can't actually go for because you're in the thrust. Well, that's fine. Just put a door there. You can get uh, through that a little bit easier. Full speed, come on, we've got one more thing to take out. There he is, hello! 
Um, honestly, just take your reactor. I don't even care about your weapons right now because you're so small. All my missiles will uh, just devastate you. Also, turning your back to me is probably not the best thing you can do. Hi! <laughs> <coughs> because if one of the engines goes, it goes. It does. It's <laughs> just doing well. Yep. So much fun. Although, in mind, if you take the tail off right now, all my engines are in the back of you. And there's no, there's no armor at the back. If you were to target my ship, any uh, something here, take the engines out, take out the reactors, ammunition stores, all of this is with no armor around it. There's a little bit of armor here, but they're just sort of more stylized. The all the armors up here. <clears throat> so yeah, you could do some major damage to this ship quite easily if you if you knew the flaw. I look, if we don't tell any of the enemies it. So what do we have left? We have an amateur, don't we want to do an amateur? A vanguard, vanguard, vanguard. I think we're okay. I think that's where we're going to actually leave the stream. We've got vanguards left to do. Vanguards are the hardest ones to do. For that, I would want to upgrade the ship or build a second ship to bring with it. So we can really hit the vanguard ships much harder. Because that's a vanguard ship that destroyed... For a second. It was actually a vanguard ship that destroyed not only... A bob. This this actual bob was destroyed. There was only about four or five pieces in this corner that survived. But it also um, managed to destroy it at the same time. We had a we had the bob. We had the Mac Two Model TM, which in its own right is quite a fierce ship. <clears throat> so we had the Mac Two Model TM and the bob, which we haven't actually saved yet. Uh, save the ship design. There we go. So it was able to take out both of those ships, I and mean, it wasn't until I managed to uh, use the remainder of our cash to bring in an emergency model TM, which is a cheap ship, 300,000, compared to the 1.5 million and the 1 million that it took out. That uh, yeah, we 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 were we were be we were beaten quite badly. Luckily, we had enough money to bring back enough ship to uh, to continue on. Otherwise, it'd have been able to look at the saves. Oh, look at that again. So you know, saves. <laughs> uh, ferrets are cool. I had a friend who owned two. They're so soft. This stuff is so complicated for my poor head. <clears throat> ferrets. Um, my neighbour's got two white ferrets. Love these little things. Um, they have a big uh, cage in the garden to keep them in during the uh, during the summer, so they can have a bit of fresh air and everything. <clears throat> they uh, they picked the lock and escaped three times. Now they've got. Five padlocks on the uh, on the on the ferret cage, so the ferrets can't open it. But not just that. But whenever they take the ferrets out, they put them on little harnesses, take them to the farmers' fields, and walk up and down the field with them. Every time they do that, Smudge hides. He does not like the look of them. You can see that they're white, and they look like something that, he, that like a cat or something. But he's not quite sure what they are. And they move weird. And it really confuses him. He really doesn't like it. He goes and hides for about ten minutes or so. <laughs> but anyway. So this stream has been fun, I have enjoyed the game, and there will be another YouTube series coming this one with a little plan I've been wanting to do with it, but uh, that'll be a little bit later on. But anyway, thank you all for coming out, we'll be having fun to chat before we go. Uh, this stuff is too complicated for my head, poor head. <coughs> it's a, uh, it's how when things interact isn't it, it just gets really complicated sometimes. Uh, I don't know what else to, to stream other than Persona 5, I've uh, been playing it so long it's the only thing I know. <laughs> Yeah, I've been playing it for a while. It's a good story in it, though. <clears throat> but yeah, if you want to put, stream something, um, feel, feel free. I'll, I'll be there to watch something. <laughs> it's been fun. Thanks for streaming. Good night and sweet dream. Sweet dream, everyone. Yep. They're very clever, I'm sure. They are. But ferrets are really are. Anyway, good night, wifey, Miss Washington Toad, Blind Gaming, and DJ, if you're still awake. Good night. But until next time, have a good weekend, have a good week, and I'll see you next time. Also, Ship of Fools is a song I just love. See you later.
surrounded on a ship of fools. Sail away across the water, set the pace, then discover every ocean, every sea. On a ship of fools. Take my hand, just remember you don't have to surrender to the ocean and the sea. 